Test. Te okay. For whatever reason, my microphone wasn't working there. Let me double check. Is it working? It's working. Sorry, that took a moment. I was about to have a panic attack. I was like, what's wrong with my microphone now? Why is everything so scuffed today? Dear Lord. Okay, let me get rid of that. Anyways, hello, welcome. Um, yeah, definitely didn't rush at all to get, that's the time, uh, to get everything going. Totally not. Shush. Welcome. Welcome to Egg Day. Rip mic. Yeah, this mic was. I, I was about to have if a moment. If you really like standing around like this, then why don't you just model for me? I'll design some wonderful clothes for you. Thanks, Shuri. Crap. Well, whatever. Resin's capped. Whatever. <laughs> Again, maximum sus. Sass Queen is here. Yeah, we've got a weird team, which Quora really actually isn't even needed that much. Um, anyways, all of this aside, we have a couple of things to do. So we've got the event to do in a very short period of time. Um, and then we also have TCG stuff to do, which... Look at that stance. Look, just... Just about to cut that girl's leg. Um, and we've got uh, a TCG stuff to do as well. So plenty of things to do. Why am I going over that? And you figure out what the quest is. Um, I'm probably so. I don't know how long this event is, right? I'm assuming it's probably a good like three-ish hours. Most of them probably are. Add in the TCG stuff, and we got like a full stream. Um, I'm probably going to start. Hold up. Is there? Okay, I was testing to make sure my mic wasn't doing anything weird. I didn't have a chance to test the mic before I started. Um, I'm probably going to start with the first part of the event. These events are usually broken up into like three days where you do one thing and then it's like, wait, 18 million hours to do the next thing. And in between, we can go play TCG. So we'll probably start with this, go to the uh, TCG in an interim, you do a deck or something, come back, do another part, go back to TCG, do another part, TCG, and then maybe, like, the mini games or something like that. Um, you have three million coins. Yo, what? You love the potion event? Two hours of event, you think? You haven't finished yours yet, though. Okay. So, anyways, how's everyone doing on this egg day? Um, don't pay attention to all of the quests that I just have not bothered to do. Um... We, it has been a while since I've been into actual Monstat and not just the cat's tail. Because you can just teleport straight into the cat's tail. Like, you don't even you, you don't even go through the front door anymore. You just crash through the chimney like Santa Claus. Uh, and I just have not been in Monstat in a very long time. It's very egg today. True. I had some eggs this morning. And I've realized if you're going to make soft-boiled eggs, which is what I did... Um, why do I feel like this game's music audio is way too loud for some reason? There. Um, if you're gonna make soft boil eggs like I did, um, don't use jumbo eggs. Use large eggs. Jumbo eggs, I found. Is this music egregiously loud or is it just me? Oh, I think I know why. Yeah, that'll probably do it. Okay, I just had to... Something on my end of stuff. Um, yeah. Jumbo eggs, I found, like, the shell tends to peel a part of the egg off more frequently than large eggs. So, that's just me. Doing well, but tomorrow you will be happier because monthly reset. I, I, I wish life were so simple that, yes, a monthly reset is tomorrow, but you could just be like... Ah, yes. My life only needs to worry about Genshin and Star Rails monthly resets. I'll be happier because I'm on vacation. I like how this is, like, one of the few doors we actually have to click to open. Like, Chiori, can you just, like, kick this thing open? Um, oh, look, it's Lisa. Great. Time to get, uh, time to get sussed out here. Um, but yeah, I'm on vacation, so, you know. I've been doing not a whole lot, really. Uh, sup? Oh, 
Oh, it's you, cutie. <laughs> to what do I owe the honor of your visit? She's speaking to the doll, by the way. Uh, egg meat also depends on the freshness of the egg. Ah, uh, does it? Um, be so much better if it reset was weekly. Oh my god, we'd be absolutely nuts. Trying to get a spoonful of- Yeah, I, I- I legit- I don't like that. Like, don't, like, call people- Like, it just feels weird. I don't know. I'm not into, like, pet names. If it's too fresh, it's gonna peel badly. Well, I guess this was way too fresh then. Are you here to peruse the library? Or perhaps you're here to visit a certain someone. We're just passing through to go play the TCG. And decided to stop by for a chat along the way? No, but I heard those gems here. Alas, what rotten luck. Always. You just so happen to have caught me in the middle of some important work. I'll have to treat you to afternoon tea some other time. Wait, you're actually busy? <laughs> About to say. With work? That's not a sight you see every day. The doll's the real cutie, true. <laughs> You're right. The last time I was this consumed with research must have been way back at the academia. I haven't done this much thinking for a long time. It's rather exhausting. Yeah, this is just my students, except they never do any thinking. It's just like, wow, you're making us write something? I've never had the think before, I know. I know. <laughs> if you're that interested, why don't you join in on the fun? It's not fun. No. Nah, nah, research stuff. Actually, depending on what you're researching, it can be enjoyable. What do you say? Want to help me relive my days as a scholar? Nope. Nope. Want to stay up late writing papers into like 7 a.m. and then having no sleep and also being a poor college student who has no money for food and has to eat once every three days? Real story, by the way. I had to live through that. Yeah, no. No, Lisa, I don't. Then she's gonna be like, Yeah, I'm gonna assign you Moby Dick to read. It's Monday. Um, oh, no, 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 it's Tuesday. Yeah, I need this whole thousand-page book read by Thursday. Also had to do that. Yeah. No, nah, Lisa, I'm good. I have my degree. I don't need to deal with this. It's not polite to pawn off your work on other people, you know. Yeah, Lisa's the person who gets in the group work and then does nothing. Is that a no, then? It will be quite the rare opportunity to work together. And, and it'll be even rarer if we did. Rewarded. But if you don't want to... Bye, time to go play TCG. Paimon finally uh, saying something smart for once. I guess this was the event, guys. It's a TCG from here on out. We're leaving. Bye. As you probably know, the Knights of Favonius have long conducted research on alchemy. But most of that research has been carried out in a laboratory setting. The public's knowledge of alchemy is quite minimal. Which we have never actually seen this laboratory. We have no idea where, like, Albedo and Sucrose are at any given time. Like, I'm just convinced they're locked in, like, a weird dungeon down below. Which means that up to this point, most of our research and discoveries have remained quite distant from people's daily lives. We've put a lot of Mora into the research, but have very little to show for our efforts. Oh, that's where all the tax money's going. Noting this disconnect, Jean decided to start an initiative where we'd share the fruits of our labor with the people. For now, that means introducing them to several different kinds of alchemical potions. You have the power of spoiler. What? As it happens, Friendship? I already have some experience with this work. Even though I usually work at the library, I have lent my support in the past to the management of the Knight's Potion Supply. Potioneering was also one of my academic specializations back in the day, so Jean thought I was the best person for the job. But to create potions practical enough to support the daily needs of the people, a lot of adjustments had to be made to the ingredients we use. Why? And the overall alchemical process also needed to be simplified. Basically, what I'm hearing is that Lisa is just like inventing NyQuil. Like, well, that's it. She's like, yeah, for people to be able to have this daily, we gotta like not make laudanum and instead just make NyQuil. We're saving the good stuff for us. Albedo doesn't appear. How does Albedo not show up in an event about alchemy? What is this dude doing up there freezing in the mountains? All in all, what started as a relatively simple research project soon evolved into something exceedingly complicated. So, are you asking us to help you with your research? 
Because, uh, you're not exactly talking to two alchemy experts over here. Quick, grab a chunk of sodium and throw it in the local toilet. There, there, there's, a, there's a story behind that. <laughs> no worries. I've already thought of the perfect job for you two. <laughs> Lobbing the sodium in the toilet. Alchemical practices are becoming more and more advanced, but there's still a disconnect between our research and the general public. What we really need is to collect feedback from the people. Otherwise, we won't truly know if we're satisfying their needs. Right, we're the Census Bureau. But if we want to conduct research and collect feedback at the same time, we need to go about things in a more efficient way. So, I thought the best way to do that would be to open up a potion shop. That way, we could continue to handle the alchemy side of things while also being able to interface with the public and understand their needs. Elisa's Leonard's like, you know how we can solve our research issues? Sell drugs. This is basically it. Lisa, you don't need to open up a shop. Just give me a trench coat and let's fill it with some weird bottles and vials of strange liquids. We'll be fine. We can just stand in like the back alley behind one of the bars and be like, Hey, you want to get some of the good stuff you can't get in the bars? Yeah, the wine is fine, but this stuff is a lot quicker, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, that's all we need to do. Yeah, come on back into this weird alley. We got all the good stuff. Like, that's all. Like, we don't need we don't need a full-blown storefront here. Just put them in trench coats and into the back alleys, and we got them, chief. You just know you're going to spend five hours on the puzzles? What do you mean? Oh, it's like killing two pigeons with one stone. Smart idea, Lisa. Except we don't use stones to kill Timmy's pigeons. We just use Ganyu. Well, of course. And who better to take on this job than one of the most accomplished among our ranks, the Traveler? I think I'm the only accomplished among your ranks. Also, that hair is going through my face. That's an accomplishment. I, I'm pretty sure the rest of the knights do literally nothing. When I was at the academia, students would often help out with each other's research projects. I'm sure my cuties wouldn't want to miss out on the opportunity to experience that sort of youthful enthusiasm for themselves. Look, I'm not too concerned about these puzzles because Genshin has made their puzzles incredibly easy since, like, Inazuma. Like, you remember how everyone, like, lost their mind over the Sudoku puzzle in Inazuma? I loved that puzzle. That puzzle was fairly easy for me. And I just absolutely loved it. Like... I don't know why everyone is like, oh my god, Inazuma puzzles. And then like the, the second Ar Al Al Apple Archipelago event with like Mona's stuff and everything like that. The only one that annoyed me, there was like one puzzle that annoyed me because it just, the shape of it was not what it looked like on the thing. But other than that, like the rest of them were extremely easy. You personally spent five hours on the puzzles. Looking for a way to pawn off your work. Uh, I don't like any of these. I don't want to do a favor for Lisa. I don't like Lisa. You've never seen me play Lisa. <laughs> I like your enthusiasm. When all our work is done, I will personally see to it that you're generously rewarded. I don't want a reward from you. It sounds sus. All of the initial preparations have been made, so let's head to the shop. We'll finish our discussion after we get there. The raven puzzles were frustrating if you made a mistake. I, Oh, I, I think I remember. Were those the ones you had to, like, talk to the ravens and figure out, like, what was what? I liked those puzzles. I liked that archipelago. I think that was cool. And, I mean, it also had Mona and Fischl in there. And they're two of my favorite characters, obviously. How about no? Great. Yeah, exactly. Imagine in an event where we just refuse to do it. Isn't there, like, an entire story quest like that in Star Rail where you can just straight up say no and the quest just ends and you get the rewards? I think I heard about that. Like, somebody's like, hey, want to hang out? And you're just like, no. <laughs> Done. Quest ends. Because I'm going to be real with you. If, if it's a character I don't like, I would totally do that. I, I would 100% do that. Yeah, Kafka quest. I would 100% do that. If ever I, if ever I do a freaking Star Rail, 100%, I don't like Kafka. I would 100% do that and just be like, nah, <laughs> done. We ain't doing this quest at all. That's amazing. You hated what taught to me lightning probe one in the waterfall? I think I know which one you're talking about. 
You couldn't skip the dialogue, so you had to repeat the same five minutes every time. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the Raven ones. Yeah, I know which ones you're talking about. Library rules. Hmm. Don't speak hilly churl in the library. How about that one? Anyways, how's everyone's week been as we're or going here? Also, I should probably tell the story about the sodium thing. So I had a chemistry professor in high school who told us a story about a dude who, I guess when he was in university, and he, um, the professor I had, he was, uh, he was in the bathroom, you know, at the urinal doing his business, right? And then this guy just rushes into the bathroom, runs into like a back stall, and you just hear a poop. And then rushes out of the bathroom. About two seconds later, after this dude gets out, there's this... Poof, like, pieces of the stall are flying past the, the freaking, my chemistry professor and, and everything. Like, while he's just sitting there, you know, holding his stuff, trying to, to pee. <laughs> Apparently, the guy dropped a giant chunk of sodium into the toilet. And if you know anything about chemistry you know that sodium reacts very violently with water and goes boom. Um, so this dude just had a chunk of sodium and blew up a whole entire bathroom with it. And it, it's just funny to think of, Jesus, why is this over here in Narnia? You want us to set up a shop in the middle of nowhere? Um, but yeah, apparently, uh... Uh, yeah, it's sh freaking shrapnel debris, whatever, just went flying past the, the professor while he was sitting there trying to do his business. <laughs> and this week, you haven't been to school because you have scarlet fever. Oof. Dang, I don't remember the last time I even heard of somebody getting scarlet fever. That's rough. World quests are worse than story quests. Eh. Mr. TC Fiji, please upgrade. Update. I will eventually get the more. I have, again, well, you'll probably get like a sneak peek at a few decks that I might use. I have to do some jet decks, even though I really don't want to. So a lot of the decks we're going to look at today are going to be jet decks. And I'll probably pick like my favorite of them. It's just, I wanted to kill those foxes so bad. Um, but I just have to do them just so I've done them. <gasps> this is the shop. This is in the middle of nowhere. Did you see, like, how long it took us to get here? Like, what are you doing, Lisa? That is good, except sleep deprivation. Yeah, I know that sense. Kids these days, oof. Um, in the past few days, I've just been playing Dragon's Dogma 2 over the weekend. I figured it's a nice little relaxing thing, except my computer can barely run it. So, um, yeah, if anybody's been having fun with that or curious about that, make sure you have a beefy computer because i can't even like stream it if i wanted to it's my video card is it's a 2080 it needs to be updated and that game is cpu heavy like crazy wow looks like you've made a lot of preparations already did you do this all by yourself also nobody wants to pick my pawn in dragon quest to dragon quest a uh, 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 dragon's dogma 2 so i'm very unhappy about that it was a group effort. A whole bunch of knights helped out. I know who wants a fried computer for breakfast. Yeah, it's exactly what would happen. Like, it's... I'm I'm getting between 30 and 60 frames, but it's just like... Uh, oof. Jean secured the initial funds to open the shop. Albedo and Sucrose provided the ingredients and equipment needed to brew the potions. And then we put them back into the dungeon. And the logistics company is handling the provision of all future supplies. Who is the logistics company? Who is in charge of logistics in this in this night's thing? Have we met anybody from the logistics company? Because it's not Eula and What's-His-Face, because they're the reconnaissance. It's not Kaya. He's the cavalry captain without any horses. Figure that out. I guess they ride the ducks or whatever. Um... Amber's basically a scout. Klee is just there so that people can watch her and make sure she doesn't do anything weird and, like, blow stuff. She's the one who'd go throwing the sodium into the toilet. Um, I'm trying to think, like, who else is there? Like, who is logistics company? It's got to just be random Muppets. Like, they've got Guy on logistics company over here. Like, that. that's it. 
You can fry an egg on the computer, though. This is probably true. Now, with your help, it's like an additional weight has been lifted off my shoulders. The Knights have been busy spreading the word about our shop over the past few days. So, we should be ready to open once we've finished our final preparations. Elisa, the location of this shop is worse than my idea of trench coats behind a bar selling things out of, out of my pocket. Like, quite literally, it's the middle of nowhere, you have to walk through monsters to get here. Like, it's a trial by fire. Who is gonna be over here? Lisa had no weight on her shoulders to begin with. This is true. Okay, let's not keep everyone waiting then. Why don't you take these ingredients and try your hand at brewing a potion? I thought someone else was going to be doing the brewing. Sucrose, we have to cook. Here our camera journeys begin. Use the ingredients and a little inspiration. I thought that said imagination at first. I was like, what do you mean? Also, these are just like... What does this mean? This music's cool. What is this music? I've never heard this in Genshin before. Is this music that's new to this event? Strength efficacy, and this is... Yo, this music is really pretty. What the heck? She sits in a chair of the entire event, of course. It's up to me to decide who I want to be, and to cut my own path. No one can tell me what to do. This music's really pretty. 3.8 event. Really? This was... Uh, oh, no wonder why I don't remember it, because I mostly played that event on mute. This is... Uh, okay, so this is the, the Oceanid event thing. The, the, the little the Oceanid thing in the bottle or whatever. Oh, now the music's quiet. Okay. Place ingredients and cover more area to increase the tuning rate for this concoction. When the tuning rate reaches 100% or higher, you can concoct the potion and receive the finished product. What? Now check the efficacy. Yeah, I know. Constitution, strength, dexterity, wisdom, charisma. Charisma? Huh. Um, drag the ingredients and place them inside of the cauldron. Okay. Yeah, I get it. I can just uh, rotate. That's weird. And this is just balanced, which means it does nothing. What is this Tetris piece? Oh, there's nothing that can be placed there. It kind of sucks. Yeah, I don't like this. We got a 145% tuning rate, but I wanted, like, maximum, maximum here. Actually, hold up. No, 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 rotate it. Oh, you don't want to rotate th the other way. That's annoying. I was going to try to, like, finagle it on in there. Okay, whatever, get out of here. No, I want to right-click to do the rotate, but it's not going to, it does not want to do that. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> I'm stuck no matter how I do it with this. Whatever. All oh, worth it for three mins. What? This is the pain you were going through. You can click on puzzle pieces to rotate to. Oh, you can? What, really? Oh. Never mind. Confirm completion. Yeah, whatever. Don't show again today. I don't know what... I made a bare bones basic bottle. Oh, great. A very plain and unassuming bottle. Of I like this bottle. What are you talking about? Yo, I'm a weirdo who like collects bottles from like the alcohol and stuff. 
Yo, there's some very pretty bottles, man. And this is a very pretty bottle. Um, like, bare bones basic bottle. If this is basic, these bottles better be, like, in the shape of a Chinese dragon by the end of this. If this is basic. Because this looks really nice. Like, what are you doing? You can play for a while. Oh, I bet. You don't think the event ends after you do the quest. Oh, okay. Complete packaging. Beginner strength potion. It's a level 4 potion. Levels from lucky bonus. Levels from having 145 tuning rate. Levels from quality of base ingredients. Okay. My alchemy level went up. Uh, you will initially have... Look at this bottle. It looks like it's about to teeter over. Like, how are people going to hold these things, like, in their pockets? Um, you will initially have one chance to concoct a potion each operation cycle. What does this mean? By using more ingredients when you a potion, you gain more alchemy level experience and potion ingredient experience, and there's a chance to create an even stronger potion. Make good use of your opportunities to concoct potions. Okay. Interesting. Well, I only leveled up Looks one thing. Looks like you finished your potion. <laughs> Chiori. Now, all we need to do is put it on display for sale. Can I enhance the potion? When certain conditions have been met, you can spend funds, so I don't have, to improve your final potion products. Enhanced potions will be sold for a higher price. Potions, efficacy, and special characteristics will not change. No potions to enhance. Well, okay, whatever. Where am I doing? Hey, when you made this stall, Lisa, did you consider giving me a way out so that I don't have to, uh, like, jump over the cauldron and potentially knock it all over the place? Like, whoops, just spilt that everywhere. Like... Try to sell your potion where? Oh, over here. Yeah. Try to sell your potion. If it's like me, you're gonna suck at sales. It's, oh, is it just gonna auto set the price? I can't like jack this up to an absurd level. Reminds me of when you turned a Nutella jar into a glass. Look, okay. Um, the place where I used to go, oh, used to go, play, well, no, Food Lion, where I typically get my groceries. If you live in, like, the Carolinas, you, you pretty much know Food Lion. I think Food Lion is pretty much isolated to the Carolinas. I don't know if it's anywhere other. I don't even know if it's in South Carolina. I know for a fact North Carolina, though, but I think it's just a Carolina, like, food place. Um, they used to. They don't anymore. Applesauce used to come in glass bottles. And within the past, like, couple of months, they switched over to plastic, which really upset me. I have these glass bottles are basically mason jars. It, it, it's mason jars, but you get you get applesauce with it, too. Like, it was so good. What is this clown core music? Oh, God. I like the other music. They just gave us clown core. This carved glass at Jägermeister bottle is my most beloved decoration. You joke, but that's, like, actually kind of true. I have, like, no decorations in here. I have, like, abacus. That's what I have hanging above me. Looks like we're done with all the prep work. Why don't we take a short break over there while we wait for customers to arrive? Though, in my defense, if you're in the Discord, uh, you've seen that, uh... Genshin student painted a very nice, like, painting, like, Bob Ross-style painting for me that I have hanging up in my, like, classroom. But once, like, summer comes, I'm gonna bring it here and it'll be in my house. And then I'll take it back next year, and then once she graduates, I'll have it permanently in my house. Financial report. Wow, somebody actually bought this? Whoa, we got 600. Somebody paid that much money? Like, what? Total potion costs 100. Why is Paimon looking so cross? Post attention to the financial report and see which potions are selling better. That way you can figure out just which potions are most in demand. Well, there's a strength potion. You made a lamp out of it with the Jägermeister? Or, um, yeah, the bottle, that's cool. Uh, my sister had some lamps made out of wine bottles. It seems like everything is going well. I sold You've one already thing. sold your first batch of potions. Not a bad start at all. As for what potions you should brew next, we'll need to consult the news from the market. Oh, let me guess. You've got this nebulous logistics department on that? 
Check market news in the little operation tab. That means tab. staying up to date on the latest news and trends to try and anticipate people's needs. It's an essential skill when it comes to business. Lisa, this is Monstat. The only thing we need is a potion to cure hangovers, and we've we've got the entirety of this town on lock. Like that's it. Just come with a hangover cure. Congrats, you did it. Like that. This isn't difficult, Lisa. <laughs> Don't worry. I already took it upon myself to compile all the latest news on the market for you. No, you didn't. You got somebody else to do that for us. Good Hunter is coming up with new dishes for adventurers who love battling. So probably strength. The owner of Monset Flower Shop is looking to have their fresh flowers grow more lusciously and extend the time they're in blooms. This is like constitution, it seems like, again. Like strength. I don't know. Like, seems easy enough. D. Luke comes and asks for the same anti-hangover. I'm just that good. L listen, see, I already knew. I already have this on lock. Like, we don't need this newspaper. Get this crap out of here, Lisa. What do you think? Have any ideas on the kinds of potions you should sell next? Like, no mobile game. Oh, it's in Genshin. There's no microtransactions. I mean... <laughs> Imagine if we imagine if you had to spend resin to play the TCG. Go ahead and try to cultivate some herbs then. Bioalchemical processing can infuse herbs with different effects and properties. Using different herbs in the brewing process will in turn alter the effects of the potion. There's a whole bunch of combinations to try. All right, cutie. <laughs> oh my started? god, no. Where? Oh, it's up here. Why is this spread out everywhere? Who are you two? Like, why do we? Are are, the, are they the help, Lisa? Like, did we hire people? Who are they? Why are they just standing here? Who are them? It's not proper grammar, but whatever. Yo. Look, Alex Jones was right. We're putting something in the water here, man. That stuff's glowing. The frogs are acting weird. Uh, different cultivation areas can be assigned ingredients separately. There's a certain number of operation cycles. Your ingredients will mature and can be harvested. Once you complete this harvest, the cultivation area will automatically cultivate the previously selected ingredients. Cultivation process uh, or progress of ingredients will not be saved if you change the ingredient assigned. Okay. After your alchemy level increases, you can unlock more cultivation ingredient or cultivatable ingredients. Rather, uh, you will also go to the be able to go to the Knights of Phony's support staff. Whomst? Harvest all of what? I got what a snapdragon? Oh. This thing, constitution. And what are we doing? Well, we're um Lisa, we have to cook. That's basically what we're doing. Why Genshin overcomplicates stuff? I, I agree with that. It's kind of uh kinda eh. They should increase resin cap. I have no artifacts. They don't need artifacts, just run in there naked. Um ingredient. Okay, it really wants me to throw in the chili, so I'm just going to throw in the chili. You can change the ingredient in the area at any time. Well, I don't want to change it, so shut up. You told me to put in the chili, so I'm going to put in the chili. Okay. Okay. Seems like you've gotten the hang of the cultivation side of things. Those chilies traumatized you? Why? Uh, I should probably mention, a knight from the logistics company has arrived. She'll be the one handling the provision of all future supplies. You should go have a chat with her in a little bit. It's not even an, like, an actual, like, it's just one of the Muppet Knights. And after that, it'll be your time to shine. Yeah, shouldn't it be our time to shine? You know, the three of us? What about your role in all this? My role? <laughs> Naturally, it was to ensure my cuties had all the business and alchemy knowledge they needed to succeed. I swear, if you call me cutie one more time, I'm going to spike your tea with one of these potions, and it's going to be a laxative. Okay, I'll be rooting for you. Good luck. Uh, I knew this would happen.
Um, okay, let's go talk to you. Freda, has anybody ever... I like how it's logistics company in quotation marks. Lisa, you just made this up. Where is she? Where did she just run off to? Does this... She just made logistics company up. And like when we were over here brewing meth or whatever, she ran on back to the Monstat and found the nearest night and was just like... Quick, get over there and pretend you're part of some logistics company. But Lisa, we don't have a logistics company. I don't care, cutie. Get over there and act like we do. Like she just made this up completely. Greetings, honorary knight. Greetings, Paimon. My name is Freda. I'm a knight from the logistics company. It's such made up. an honor to meet the famous traveler and our loyal attendant. <laughs> there is no logistics company. Name every other knight in the logistics company, Freda. Name all of them. If you're in the logistics company, name all the knights. Wow, Paimon's fame Didn't is think really so. spreading across the land. <laughs> um, one small correction, though. Paimon's her companion, not her attendant. Paimon, you're a flying ham sandwich. Get back in my pocket like a Pokemon. I'm gonna spike her tea with Taco Bell. Yeah, exactly. And chili is a great start to laxatives. This is true. The only knight she has to name herself, yeah. <sighs> My apologies. I guess I got a bit carried away after hearing all about your exploits. It's just like something out of a novel. Lisa managed to pick a fangirl to come sit here for us. Good job. Do you want my autograph too? You're practically legends at this point. I'm, I'm a bit jealous, actually. I'm just part of the oh, logistics company, yeah. I'd love to wander the land in search of adventure, like one of those knights you read about in stories. <sighs> Seems like a really fun life. Um, I, I guess. A bird crapped on Paimon's head once the other day, I'm sure. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping, at least. <laughs> no need to hope it happened. Anyway, we've got some prep work to wrap up, right? You say I'm just an ooh girl, oh my god. My orders from the acting grandmaster are to support your business in any way that I can. Your orders came from Lisa. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Goodbye. You're in luck. I just got a new batch of provisions. Oh, just shush and let me see. A cultivation area, potion bottles. Oh my god. Heart stopping. A potion bottle. Are we going to make love potions? What is this mess? Is this going to be like Harry Potter? As if I don't get compared. Look, all of my life, I have been compared to Harry Potter in some way. When I was younger, it was specific a chonky cat bottle. Diona's gonna go nuts. Um, it, 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 when I was like younger, I looked like young Daniel Radcliffe. When I got older into adulthood, I, because I'm a teacher, I get compared to Snape. And now that I have a beard, I get compared to like some sort of love child of Snape and Dumbledore. Like I can't escape Harry Potter. It, there's also a funny story with that because a Genshin student once brought in a Harry Potter wand that she'd got from like universe wherever th that was in Japan when she visited there and I did everything in my power to hide that thing she's like yeah let's just keep it in your room for a day I'm just like no do you know the allegations that I get on a daily basis I am never going to escape being called a wizard Like, I get accused of, like, three different rid ridiculous allegations, and a wizard is one of them. Right, there goes all of our money. Here are wizard sausage. Uh, thanks! Nice face, Paimon. These events do a very cute art. Expand cultivation area. So, are there like days to it? Not and unlock after completing operation. Okay, so we've got to complete one operation cycle or whatever. Then we unlock the next day. When we get to the unlocking the next day part, that's. If you really like standing around like this, then why don't you just model for me? I'll design some wonderful clothes for you. Jory's talking to logistics company night there. Okay, what is this? Your operations handbook and actively, uh, or handbook. Oh, actively, uh, end current operation cycle. Oh. 
resting on Lisa's chair. What does that mean? You can view completion status. Stonks up. Yo, we get cash just from leveling up. Wow, if it only were that easy to get a promotion. Who says you have to use scissors to cut clothes? Leave those rigid rules behind. I much there are prefer days using to my unlock them. Oh, tools. well, yeah. The handbook does nothing else but check the news. Uh, okay, what are we putting in here? So we, we... Chili is there. Other thing is there. I guess we put a shroom in there. Yeah. Let's get some shrooms. Oh, yeah. Yeah, shrooms. Uh, after placing ingredients, so how much is this gonna take? Um, wait, I didn't read that. Whatever. Uh, I think it's the value that was not sufficient to reach the next. It will be converted to a potion of what? Okay. Um. No. This is going to be very scuffed. I actually don't have many of these. Oh my god, I can't do the thing that I want to do with this. This is so infuriating. I don't have enough shrooms. I'm one shroom short. Look at that. Look at that. This could have been perfect. I'm short on shrooms. Oh, that is depressing. Look at that. Look how great that would have been. The dopamine from numbers going higher is crazy, really. Put the uh, next to the vertical shroom in the corner. I think I'm out of... Hold up. Can I... I can't do it that way, and I can't... Hmm. Oh, this would have been so perfect. Um, hold on. We're gonna... I really wish you'd just let me rotate you how I want. Ah, but this is a threefer. Uh, oh, oh, wait a minute. Ha ha! There we go. Think of that one. Yes, we'll unlock other directions. What do you mean, unlock other directions? Let's just put it in the pot differently, Paimon. Figure it out. Isn't that hard? This is the dumbest thing I've ever made in my life, but we're going to do it. I have made another one. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's the same thing. But hey, my alchemy level went up. Increase the efficacy. And we got this. Ha ha. Ha ha. Yo, can I keep adding more of this? Uh, oh my god. Potions you have concocted will be stocked before they can be sold. Oh my god. Potions with exactly identical efficacy cannot be stocked for sale at the same time. Something about market news. Um, you discover a potion of any characteristics that are even more suited. And Martin Pyman will update the record. What is this? Each operation cycle will have some crap. I mean... Here. Yay. What are you clowns doing? Buy something. This ain't this ain't a social hour. K 
Can't use doubles, sadly. Yeah, well, whatever. Oh my god, I can't buy this stuff. Never mind, I was like, oh, I'll just buy the thing and cultivate the new... Bye. Hi, Lisa. Uh, it looks like the potions we're offering don't quite meet our customers' need. Next time, let's keep a close eye on the... Shut up. Look at the money we got. I don't care about this Paimon. Harvest everything. Okay, we got four of these. Um, how much do we have? We have a bunch of these things, so hold up. Let's change that then to these. Okay, what's the what's the news looking like, Paimon? What do people need? I have no idea. Where is it? Lukewarm reception. I don't care. Okay, well, what's the what's the news cycle here? Market news for battling and want to grow. Well, I don't know what any of that's gonna be doing. So duplicates isn't too much of an issue since you can use the handbook track which you've made. Yeah, I think the highest rating is orange stamp. Uh, different ingredients also have 10 different characteristics including warm endurance and so on what two or more of the corresponding ingredients are added the potion may gain the characteristics initially potions can have up to two characteristics okay what is this um this is an endurance that's an endurance that's a warm and that's a steadying um here's Okay, we've got shrooms. Hold up. We, we gotta deal with this business. Uh. Oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh-huh. Look at that. Look at that. No idea if this is good or not, but mm -mm. can't deny. Very good. How long is the event still up for, by the way? Like 15 hours? Works, I guess. It, 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 bask in the beauty of what I've created. Strength and dexterity potion plus six. It's endurance steadying. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Oh, we've just unlocked Sumeru Rose and Sinsin. Sing I'm not get li listen, I once thought I could pronounce these things well and then I learned very quickly I was wrong. You can now purchase Alchemy Cauldron upgrades. Unlocked now after reaching max level ingredients. What in God's name is that? Oh god. Uh, I'm at 12% of where I need to be. Hello? She's just stopped speaking. Improved alchemy cauldron. Enhances the performance of alchemy cauldron. Expanding the area in which the ingredient may be placed when making a potion. I feel like, I don't know. Is this going to be better than... Obviously, I don't want to buy the bottles right now. Or is it better just to have another cultivation area? Probably just this, even though it's going to eat all of my money. I don't need money. Listen, I know how to manage. I know how to manage a business. Throw all of your profits at it. This is this is no longer for profit. Potions are pretty colors. This is true. Cooking something on the computer right now. Mm. Was this? Oh, all. Wait, what? All chances to can talk potions operations I've been used. Can I enhance a potion? Consumed. Well, that sucks now, doesn't it? Now we can't really do much here. 
Hi, Lisa, we're gonna just end the day real quick. Profits. The sales figures are looking good. Let's keep it up and we need to make some success or something. Oh, look. Demand exceeds supply. Well, shut up. <laughs> what do you want from me? Mature ingredients are ready. Endurance and studying are characteristics kind of like substats. Yeah. What's a convincing argument? Um, okay, hold up. What do we have a metric crap ton of? We got a lot of shrooms. We don't have a lot of these and these. What is this? I don't know what this is. I mean, I know what, like, but I don't. But I don't. And then I guess we'll get rid of the, the chili. For, uh, this. This music's very pretty, by the way. I think I said it before when it first played, but I... You know what I've been listening to? Because YouTube randomly... Oh, my. YouTube randomly recommended it to... Oh, my God. Um, do you guys know... I don't really know anything about it. I, I think it's like an anime or something. Just Freerin, whatever it is. F yeah, I think it's Freerin. Uh, YouTube recommended that to me. I did not check the market news, did I? Um... Strength, dexterity, steadying, and endurance. Yeah, okay, that's what we need. Um, whatever this Freerin thing is has some really nice music. Sounds very Celtic-like. Um, and I have been very much enjoying that. Okay, Satan. Ha! Oh. Yeah, that's, a, that's an issue, ain't it? But yeah, I don't know anything about it. Um, it's fragrant. I have no idea what I'm making. But what am I putting in here? There's healing for this. This is endurance, which is what we need. We need endurance. That's fragrant. Mmm, smells good. I don't think we want fragrant because they're not interested in fragrant. Music kind of reminds me of Layla. Uh, oh, the, the song stuff? I guess I can see it. Yeah, it's the Bottle Land event. The anime itself is a very pretty too, is it? Uh, you don't have access to Genshin during please oof. Um, do we want to make a fragrant thing? I feel like this is kind of a waste to make a fragrant, and we should just focus on the endurance and steadying. But that's no fun. I wanted to do my stupid thing. Um, this is, what is this? This is steadying, there's endurance. Where else is steadying? Steadying endurance healing. Did I have something else that was steadying or am I going nuts? This endurance. How did I get endurance and steadying on here? Because you're warm. Maybe I just had endurance. Eh, whatever. I guess we can go endurance fragrant. Who cares? Um But yeah, I've been listening to that soundtrack because YouTube, they're steadying. Because YouTube's been recommending that to me, and I'm like, yo, that sounds very nice. Um, no, no, place it back there. But yeah, that, that, that has been very nice to me. Maybe we just need another one of these, and then we can get the fragrant thing. So what if I remove you real quick, and then put another one of you in there? Now we have that first. Nope, it's it's turning back into fragrant. It's getting smelly again. Oh, we don't have anything to get a three for, do we? Oh. I don't know. Huh. Mmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I ain't good. Okay. 
Let's think on how we're going to do stuff here. Okay. Lots of steadying. Um, charisma. What? Ideally, you want to figure out every stat from market news. Yeah. If a product say cover everything. Yeah. Just giving uh, them fragrance. At least they'll smell good while getting beaten to death. This is true. Listen to your heart. Uh, my heart tells me that this is a very stupid idea what I'm doing. Should I listen to that? Yes. Yes, I should. No, I shouldn't. Crap. See, I don't want to listen to my heart. My heart doesn't do things intelligently. Look at, well, that's 185. My, my heart is not worth listening to. We cannot follow the heart of the cards here, Yugi. This thing is garbage. I really don't like it. Oh, this thing's a three. Why does it have to be a three? Just steadying. What's endurance again? Your endurance. And what else is endurance? Your endurance. I mean, uh, excuse you. I guess we just go back to what we had before. Listen, this is just what it's gonna be, and they're gonna have to learn to recognize. I don't want to use another one of these, probably. I have way more shrooms, so I guess I should just use shrooms. There. Tons of shrooms. My heart also tells me that you should listen to the market news. I'm trying to do, 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 do market news, but look, man. Paimon's the one reading the news to me, and we all know Paimon can't read. It's like a mobile game. They can't solve the puzzle. Listen, I can solve the puzzle. I just wanted all of this. Like, that's the thing. I just want all of this. This is not a matter of solve the puzzle. I just want all of it. Like, I am greedy, okay? What if we, what if we just do... Listen, we're gonna get a little weird with it, okay? What if we just get a little weird with it, huh? Huh? This is five. I hate this. Because that's a five, that makes it very annoying. Well, this is just endurance and warm now. Where's the other steadying? You're another steadying. Arr! Now it's three. Arr! It's endurance and warm. Listen. Listen. Crap. Wait. Crap. We're not making this any better. This is very, very endurance right here. There is much endurance. Eventually you can fill out all of the spaces, but at the start, RNG can sometimes not allow filling spots because of where the x is placed. x are completely random for everyone. Oh. Really? So, what I had before was perfectly fine, and I feel like I'm being trolled on all of the levels here. Um, what did I have? Endurance. See, because this is six. No. Now that's four. Hold up, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting somewhere. Um, what are you again? Your endurance, your steadying. Your endurance. There's a lot of endurance. I need more steadying. What's my other steadying? 
I don't have another steadying, don't I? So it's a just endurance. Crap, we're back in the same position. Why did I think this was going to work? This is the same thing, Stoops. No, oh, no, no. It's the same thing. Yeah, I don't think I can actually... Um... It's just endurance and fragrant at this point. I don't think I can actually uh, do anything about this. And we're using a lot of those. I don't want to use a lot. Actually, do I care? We're growing a bunch of them. Might as well level them up, right? Yeah, I don't think we can actually... Uh, I don't think we can actually do much of this. This is whatever. We're going for it. You should send over the X spot. This thing instead? You guys are asking for this. Remember when there was supposed to also be TCG? Remember that? I don't. No, no, no. That creates a three. This creates... We still have the five issue is the problem. I put this here. Creates a one. That creates two and three. Okay. Hmm, do we want this? We're still left with an extra one. I don't think I see a way to get around an extra one being there in some capacity, no matter how we do this. If you're doing the full event in one stream, I don't think you'll have time for TCG. I will have time for TCG. Do not underestimate the time for TCG. You, you, you underestimate my ability to mess things up horribly what direction can you go in oh that's awful if i do this and yeah, well we have endurance steadying again somehow i think this is just what we're going to have to get like i don't think there's anything else Sure. The perfectionist mind is inferior. There's no way to actually... I think this is actually messy. I don't think we have a way of doing this. Beginner constitution and strength again? Well, this is a little seven. Aha. Huh. Uh -huh. We got money, too. Alchemy cauldron and stackable slots increased. What does this mean? If the two highest efficacy values are the same grade and reach a certain standard, a combination potion will be produced. What? A combination potion will have two types of efficacy, and though the sale price will not increase, it can more easily satisfy different demands in the market. Sure. Uh, oh, whatever. We maxed out chilies, and we got these up some levels. So. We can enhance... We have strength and dexterity, strength and this. We have just regular strength, which I'm probably going to get rid of at this point. Oh yeah, look at that enhanced potion. Oh yeah, enhanced. Um, we're gonna get rid of that probably. Or well, I mean, I mean, I guess we can keep basic strength, right? There, we can keep one basic strength. Then they also have strength and dexterity, and now they can get constitution and strength. They're, they're getting all of the strong. They're getting very strong. It's going to be so much easier now. It is. Wait, no, get back in there. Heck yeah. Super strong. Why is it going to be easier? 
Nothing wrong for a little strong. Okay. I'm a weirdo. I like to make dexterity builds and like everything. What do I want with this? New quality of potion. All special bottles provide the same buff. Okay. So I feel like I probably want this stuff before we bother with the bottles. Um, just so that way we can grow more weed. Uh, we, we have the chinsen, the other thing. Um, I'm going to put in you just so I have you. And then I only have three of you. So we might need healing potions eventually. So we're going to... No, no, no. Keep that in there. Harvest all. There's nothing to harvest. Okay. Okay. They don't have a batch select for potion upgrades for the late game, huh? You unlocked one stackable slot, which means one square can overlap with another flat. Ah! Yeah, that's going to make things easy. Financial report. Paimon, how are we doing? Look at the stonks going up. Ooh, our sales this time were through the roof. We made a fortune. Hey, look, it's, it's the orange. We did the thing. This is what we need. Look at that. 52. They love constitution and strength. They love it. They're going nuts. Okay, if crap. If you really like standing around like this, then why don't you just model for me? I'll design some wonderful clothes for you. Sure, he's talking to Lisa. Um, speedy. So we need dexterity. And trying to decipher information. So dexterity wisdom, it sounds like to me. We need to be smart. Which, I mean, Paimon's working on stuff, so I think we're kind of screwed. Okay, we need smart. Once you have mastered the advanced technique of stacking ingredients, you can overlap things. Okay, so we need smart. What is wisdom here? Um, what is What is this? What is this? Oh, that's that. Um... No, what do, what do these things mean? Efficacy into constitution, dexterity is there. Fragrance is charisma. Balanced, dexterity, strength, constitution, wisdom. So we need this. We need wisdom and dexterity. So we need these. Anything else of dexterity? So yeah, we need both of those. Okay. So this and this. Uh, Chinseng is the only wisdom I have. Uh, in the iron top left will tell you which icon to make status. Okay. It's also a filter system. Oh. Wisdom, dexterity. Let's go. Cool. We'll figure something out. Oh, it just became healing endurance somehow. What? I thought it was wisdom dexterity. What happened? Healing. Healing endurance. Eh? Maybe it... <laughs> beginner dexterity and wisdom healing endurance there you go wow wisdom is main stat yeah healing endurance of the substats there you go i brain thought shrooms are neutral yep and shrooms are gonna go right there beautiful definitely a hundred percent totally not scuffed but whatever, it works. Go for it. Yep. 
a very plain, unassuming bottle. We're going to have to change these bottles. Look at that. Level 10, 190% tuning. Beautiful. We also unlocked love. Oh, it's constitution. We unlocked love. We're now allowed to love everyone. Was it a new color? We've also unlocked dandelions. Dexterity, nice. And we got some coins. It's a uh, green. Okay, we're gonna enhance it though because we can't. So whatever. Um. I'm not gonna enhance you because you're bad. Okay, we are going to get rid of you, and instead we are going to add in you, because this is what the people want. Also, we're going to see about buying more things. Love wins, it's true. Snake, can love bloom on the battlefield? I don't know why he sounds old. That is not Otacon voice. That is, like, Deckard Kane. Stay a while and let love bloom on the battlefield. In fact, we'll even buy one of these things. That way, love may bloom right here in this bottle. <laughs> um, what did we just get that was new? Okay, these things are... Chief, that ain't new. Um... Oh, this is the dexterity. This is love. Um, didn't we need dexterity stuff, though? Because we just used a bunch of it. So I feel like we are going to probably need whatever that is. But at the same time... Oh, they are, there, there's love right there. Yeah, love is going to have to wait to bloom on the battlefield. Sorry. Uh, the enhance option only shows up when you level up a flower, and enhancing is just uh, to retroactively level up old potions. Okay. Fair enough. Lisa, we're done. Oh, well, shut up. Still went fine. Our sales still went all right. They just went down a little bit. Listen, we can't all have wisdom and whatever potions. Okay. What is this? Hello there, honorary knight. Who are you? Heard you're helping Miss Lisa and running the Knight's Alchemy Shop. The manager says that we're now colleagues in business here in Mondstadt. Oh, no. We'd like to thank you for your frequent patronage and loyalty. Are you just giving me a donation? Man, don't you guys just wish uh, you could just have, like, random donations from businesses in town? Don't call me cutie. Jean's asked her subordinates to provide... Oh, yeah, we're just getting taxpayer money, too. My god, look at this. Also, we have more than met our our operations here, haven't we? Are, oh, you're not going to let me harvest all that? That sucks. Um, What do I need, like, less of? You're at 16, so I guess, yeah, I guess you or you, I guess. Um, and we're gonna throw love. Sarah from Good Hunter, the restaurant. Yeah, I figured it out. Different flowers are the same efficacy, have different characteristics. Uh. So, how do we end the day? <laughs> like, how do we, like, go into the next thing? Because we've met quota. I feel like I don't want to spend all of this if I've I've met quota already. Like alchemy level reaches six, and then I can expand this stuff, right? Like every ten cycles unlocks. Oh, so I just keep going. We've met quota, but it does not matter. You know, we just buy all of this, and now it's just improving this stuff. Awesome, but we're also broke. Thanks for all the funds. We immediately spent it on our drug production industry. Okay, I'm going to put an extra one of you in there. I'm going to put another one of you in there. And I guess we can keep our chilies in there. There you go. Okay, we need to make more wisdom stuff, right? Hold on. Unless the market's changed. 
Paimon is the market changed. Dexterity, strength, endurance. Um, and then wisdom and something else. We don't actually know these. So we need dexterity, strength, endurance. And then wisdom and two other things. I mean, what other things could there be, right? So... Relaxing? Okay, my guess is maybe fragrant and relaxing because I haven't done them yet. And then that would go with the market news. So wisdom, fragrant, relaxing, maybe. Wisdom, fragrant, relaxing. Um, wisdom, fragrant, relaxing. Okay. Unrelated, but anyone who really enjoyed the new Princess Peach game. I have seen nothing of that. What is this mess? Okay, Satan. Oh, we're going to be here for a hot minute, aren't we? I just get balanced in here as well. Hold on, I need my shrooms. I want beginner dexterity. What are you dexterity for? Relaxing, healing, fragrant. Oh, we need wisdom. Wait, what's our wisdom? Because your dexterity. I think your wisdom? Yeah. That's healing endurance. Um, excuse you, but I want fragrant relaxing. I don't like it. Okay, we need to get fragrant relaxing here. Relaxing, healing, fragrant. But your charisma and your dexterity, and you're my only relaxing, but I need heal I need wisdom. Uh. So bare minimum we need that. And then there's Fragrant. Why am I putting this here? Wait, what are you? No, no, no. Get rid of you. Out of the way. Uh, your wisdom. Okay. Where can I mess around with you? Hear me out. healing wisdom mindset yeah this is what we need the wisdom mindset wisdom charisma healing fragrant good good we're on the right track Ooh, i'm not liking that though if i do that mm, i can't i was gonna shove a shrew my trick here was to do that but we're, we're up a creek here. Huh. Okay. So we know your wisdom. We know you can do some... What is this? 
Who decided you were a flower that needed to be here? So that's relaxing. But we need healing. And then we need... Well, this is dexterity, charisma. We need wisdom. Wisdom charisma is fine. It's healing endurance. I need healing and wisdom. Crap, I don't think I'm getting the wisdom. Oh, it's wisdom charisma. I already have that up there. Wisdom charisma, healing endurance. I need fragrant relaxing, I thought. I have completely different things that I need. Wisdom, a hundred percent. Oh, I know you're not going to rotate the way I want you to, Mr. Tetris piece. So at best I can do that. It's constitution charisma now. Well, this isn't going to work. Hmm. Double effects are better because they uh, suit more requirements, I think. Well, that's what I'm trying to get to here is just because this is wisdom. And I just need to spam wisdom right now. We need to be wise. I need to make sure that we have all of the wisdom we need. The problem is, is rotating this in a way that makes it not annoying. There, that can kind of work. Um, now we're kind of locked into wisdom a little bit. These pieces just are very unfortunate. And then this is healing, though. And then we get the idea of fragrant. Hmm. Problem is, is that there's always something that's going to create this, this, this is one block here. Oh, you would be backwards from what I need, wouldn't you? The one area where you could do something and you have chosen violence. Huh. <sighs> I do not like this. No, I do not. Huh. There is really no good way of putting this, is there? I mean, that's about as good as we get, but I don't... I don't like it. No siree, I don't like it. Hmm. Thinking ASMR for real, for real. I know this is probably like the most boring thing ever, especially since this is, you know, TCG kind of stream thing, but like, let me cook. <laughs> I think we're just going to have to roll with it and hope for the best here. Here, you can have a heart-shaped bottle because it's like green and pink, which is kind of cool. Oh, we got plus 10. And we just unlocked more charisma here. If the glaze lily, we, we, we glaze in. You can now purchase cauldron upgrades. Nice. You're enjoying it. You like the puzzle. You like puzzles. And usually as long as the rules are clear. Uh, yeah. When the rules aren't clear, that's when things it's get up very to me annoying. To decide who I Chori, please. Um... We'll enhance you.
I mean, I guess I'll enhance you, but I really have no reason to, to be honest. I just kind of did it because I got tired of seeing the window. No one can tell me Man, can we get a bigger stall? Like, okay, what do we want to get rid of here? Strength and dexterity is still going strong, I think. Um, we're going to put this up here and hope for the best. Look, it's got a pretty bottle. Buy it. What can I purchase from you? Oh, nothing other than new bottles, potentially. Um, this is a cool bottle. That's a cool bottle. That's Chonky Cat. The choice was clear. Chonky Cat. Doesn't dexterity and wisdom overlap with the two markets, though? It seems like they do well. Well, because the thing, though, with the, the market, because I was debating that as well, is like the market research, it wants dexterity and strength and endurance, and we have one of them that stuff that like does all of this. Dexterity, strength, endurance. This one, we can deal with the wisdom one. Like, we do have dexterity, strength, endurance up there, right? Dexterity, strength, and this one is... Get back up there. Endurance, steadying. And then this one is constitution and strength? Hmm. Maybe this one's better. There you go. That'll work a little better. Financial report. We did horribly. Eh, we did a little better. And sales are doing all right. Uh, the wisdom, dexterity and wisdom one is still doing better than all of the others. Wow, this one actually did worse than everything else. We spent so much time on it. Huh. Which means we probably guessed the wrong thing for the market news. Yeah, it's still, we don't know what it is. It's not fragrant, and it's not... What do you want, if not fragrant? Do you don't want to smell good, researchers? Like, come on now. They're like, no, we don't leave our houses. How dare you suggest that we want to smell good? Imagine smelling in this economy, please. When did we get you? What even are you? Do I have a bunch of these? What are these? I don't even know what those are. Those are those. I have 22 of those. What do we have for horse tail? I have 17 horse tails. We can throw in another one of these because we're really low on them. What things would help deciphering things? Um, well, I don't know. I feel like not smelling horrible might be a, a, a thing to consider, but maybe that's just me. Can you try the new TCG draft mode from another TCG creator? It's really... You know what's funny and very annoying is that I was legitimately going to make a draft website years ago when this thing first came out. And because I just suck at JavaScript, I was never able to actually do it. So it kind of bothers me that someone ended up doing it before me. Because that was an idea I had ages ago. Very much based off of... um. MTG's draft mode. Um, it's like, man, I wish I could code better. Oh, this is cool. I'm gonna get this because I like the bottle. This is me and my bottle collecting. Like, I had, like, a lot of the, the people who've been around have known because I talked about it. I had a lot of the, what is this garbage? I had a lot of um, stuff for it. Uh, okay. We need wisdom. You know that much is there. Focus! 
Yo, focus. That would be... Bruh. There we go. What do you... So you're focus and balance. And then there's wisdom. So we 100% need healing focus. Or perception. But what is this mess? Wisdom and charisma. We have healing focus. Can we get healing and... Focus perception. There we go. Now we're on to something. Kind of. I mean, this is a nightmare. I'm just going to throw that out there. Oh my god. This is an absolute disaster. Okay, maybe... Okay, we can kind of work with this. Oh, no. Oh, God, I hate it that it does that. We have to get the, the focus in here. Okay. So we can't really mess around with... Huh. I can put one shroom there. And then this is kind of... It's 210%. This might just be the way we go. Focus, perception, wisdom, charisma. This is mostly charisma over everything else, which is kind of... But whatever. Actually, yeah, more X spaces. Glaze lily, derogatory. This is only a, a, two, a tier 2 flower. Fun figuring out spots for tier 3 flowers. This... I'll live. Um, we're going to put it in the angled bottle. Wisdom, charisma, focus, perception. Wow, we didn't go up a level. There, come if on, you this, really this. like standing around like this, then why don't you just model for me? I'll design some wonderful clothes for you. Chiori is very tired of everything. Like... Get rid of you. Put you on there. Um, what did last time's stonks... What went really poorly? That went poorly. And then the strength dexterity didn't do as well. But I mean, it did better than that. So I guess we just keep it. This should be good. Lisa. How we doing? Okay, see, we rose back up a little bit. It's 39, so it's still not as good as this one, which is doing God's work over here. Total potion cost, only 300. Wait, we did it? Did we finally get the thing? Whomst are these two? Wait, why? What is this combo? Genshin's just be throwing everyone together and be like, yeah, sure, they know each other. Hey, why what's not? Up? How? How do you know her? It's been a while. Uh, yeah, Whoa, I'd prefer it to be that way. Wait, you two know each other? See, exactly. Even Paimon's like, what do you mean you know each other? <laughs> well, we haven't known each other long, but we hit it off right away. Guess it was meant to be. One of them said that they wanted vengeance, you know, her, and then they just started fighting. Like, that's it. That's how they got to know each other, through punching each other. You haven't unlocked the next part of the event yet. You just have situations like these randomly where you get special requests. Oh, Christ. I met Captain Beto at Dornman Port. She was here in Mondstadt to buy some supplies, and I offered to accompany her around the area. Genshin, when are we unlocking Dornman Port? Is this like, are we hinting Dornman Port next update? Like, let's go. Wow. You are taking the initiative and making friends? Did I not hear that right? Paimon, just shut up. <clears throat> Given that the two of us just met, I wouldn't go so far as to call us friends just yet. I was just being hospitable, as is expected of a knight. You know both of them are going to get absolutely blackout drunk. Huh? Oh, I thought we were getting along pretty well. You're telling me you were just being polite? Oh, no. I, I didn't mean oh it like God. that. 
I just thought that after my blunder earlier, you probably wouldn't want to be my friend. Oh, you've been getting Dornman Port since 1.x. I mean, listen, I've known about Dornman Port. This is like the most looked forward to area for me other than Fontaine. But now that Fontaine is done, where is Dornman Port? Come on, it was just a little misunderstanding, that's all. Oh my god. You're still beating yourself up about that? Honestly, I'd forgotten all about it. Listen, like I said, just get him drunk. Oh, oh my god. Misunderstanding? What happened? Well, a few days ago, after docking at Dornman Port, I thought I'd treat the crew to some time at the tavern to blow off some steam. You know what I want to know? You know that Newport village or whatever that they talked about? Beto in something or other, maybe it was Kazuo actually, in like his birthday thing was like, oh yeah, we were just, you know, we, we took the boat right up there. How? Look at the geography of that land. How did they get their boat to that new port area? Like there's no waterway large enough. You're on a river. You could take a rowboat. While we were there, an argument broke out between a couple of drunk guys. Things looked like they were about to get physical, so I intervened to try and break it up. And by break it up, she means she just broke both of their skulls. I tried talking to them, but they were in the mood for a fight, and my words fell on deaf ears. So what I say? I had to resort to uh, a more hands-on way of getting them to calm down. What did I say? Yeah, just smack. Mondstadt's in a, a need of an area expansion. Maybe we'll get Dormant Port with Venti Part 2. Uh, I mean, I don't think we're going to get Venti Act 2 for a very long time because I feel like Venti is a character who is going to show up again at the end. You have to keep in mind, right? Venti, by... If you know... And I think this lore is in with Venti's character as well. Barbados from the Ars Goethe is a character who knows of all stories and songs, past, present, and future. Which means Venti knows how this journey is going to end. Like, he he knows of the songs that are going to be sung about the good old traveler after they do whatever it is they're going to do. Also, if you look at, like, the, the words or whatever that's around the, the little angel statue in Mondstadt, it literally says Stairway to Celestia. Like, this is classic hero's journey. We're going to come back here, and that's probably where you're going to get, like, Venti Act 2. Eula was patrolling the area while all this was going down, and when she walked in... Oh, it wasn't a pretty sight. He knows all the Hoyo Mix bangers. Yeah, exactly. He knows, like, all of the, 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 the various songs that are going to come out, their names. So he knows all the future characters. He knows all the region music. He knows the, 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 the Star Rail music. Everything. It doesn't mean that uh, it could be saved for an Act uh, 3. I mean, I guess so. I should probably take it from here. But what we'll actually get is just yet another Yoimiya act. We'll actually just get Yoimiya Story Quest 3, where she shows up at Dornman Port to set off a fireworks show. Like, you know, that, that'll happen. Or we'll get another child event. Um, we can have, you know, another one of those. Or Ito. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Ito's going to show up for sure for another beetle thing. Except this time it's going to be, like, sea beetles. It's going to be beetles on boats there they're gonna be on like little mini rafts bashing into each other like bumper cars um that'll be the next event recently we've intercepted a string of attempts to smuggle goods through dornman port so we decided to step up our patrols in the area on my rounds that day i noticed a group of people i'd never seen before and they were sailors my suspicions were raised so i asked our captain to show a valid entry permit for the port Wow, you're just randomly asking people for their papers, huh? Suspicious. I sense profiling, Eula. Captain Beto said she didn't have the entry permit on her person and told me to check with the port authorities myself. I insisted that she should accompany me there and, well, you can see how things could get heated in a situation like that. And so then they got into a massive wrestling match right there in the middle of the street. Ito trying to save up for her tuition to learn how to make a, a beetle piloted beetle mech somehow. Ito is... Bruh, does somebody keep that clown in line? I guess he knew Senor was gonna become ashes and that's why he didn't do anything. 
Well, I mean, has there been any songs sung about Senora being ashes? Hey, you were you were just doing your duty. It was my fault, really. I should have watched my tone, but I'd had a few too many, and... Anyway, it all worked out in the end. I took Eula back to my ship, showed her my documents, mm. and that was that. Mm. Misunderstanding mm. resolved. I bet. You gonna tell Ning Guang about all of this, Beto? I felt bad, though, so I told her I'd treat her to a drink when we got back to the tavern. You think that counts? I guess so. That's what should know who is for, though clearly he needs a bit more supervision. This dude needs, like... I, I don't... He needs, like, a... Shin, he needs, like, Ayato to watch him, too, and, like... Once we got to talking, uh, we really hit it off. We sat there chatting until the tavern was about to close. Yep, they got blackout drunk. Captain Beto mentioned that she wanted to have a look around the city the next day. I was also planning to head back to headquarters to submit some paperwork, so we decided to go together. I love how they act like, hey, they can just travel that quickly between Dornman Port and then Mondstadt the next day. If we sat there and literally ran on foot between these two things, it would probably take a whole in-game day anyways. Like, don't give me that crap. You hope Colin Beanham becomes playable? Of course she will. If they're gonna make freaking Arancini over here uh, playable, they're, they're gonna make everyone playable. They learned, they learned from the Senora outrage that it's like, you know what, just make them all playable, screw it. Who cares if the logic doesn't make sense? Everyone's playable. Ah, I meant to say earlier, drop the captain and just call me Beto. There's Wink. no need for formalities between friends. Oh, Senora isn't, yes, though. Of course. She uses a TCG <clears throat> card. Pardon me for being so formal. Anyway, as for why we're here, I heard about your shop when I got back to headquarters, and after discussing it with Beto, we decided to stop by and say hello. Oh, that's right. Plus, I'm curious to see what the deal is with these Mondstadt potions you've been brewing up. Biblically accurate angel. What about this biblically accurate uh, um, archons, right? Like, you can have Nahida be bar with the whole, like, weird multiple arms head looking thing. Senora plus Charlotte is very interesting. Um, Senora plus Shenha is something that I've messed around with. I've messed around with Charlotte as well, but I don't think she's as good in that case. Eh, could do. Although, I don't have any health issues, and my ship's already stocked with everything I could need out on the ocean. Don't worry, we'll give you a love potion for you two. Let me think. Oh, do you have a potion that helps with getting to sleep? Um, yeah, it's called whiskey. Are you having trouble sleeping, Beto? No, not me. The minute my head hits the pillow, it's lights out till the next morning. Aren't you special? It's just that uh, I have this friend. She doesn't lack for anything, and she friend. eats right and drinks right, but she just doesn't sleep well. I don't know if it's a case of affluenza or if she just has too many things on her mind. You talking about Ning Wong? Last round damage can take the opponent by surprise sometimes. I mean, maybe. But so too can, you know, all of a sudden swapping to Pyro and then f having Shenha's burst down and all sorts of crazy stuff. You saw that one picture of Nahida and Bar? Oh no, you can't unsee it. Hmm. Wait, this friend you're talking about, you must mean... Yep. She's no stranger to rare and precious treasures, but I'd wager that to her, the chance to relax and get a good night's sleep is rarer than any treasure in her collection. Alright, we'll get started on that order for you right away! Great, thanks for the help. Cool, so we need to make a relaxing potion. Makeup is fashionable amongst young girls and okay, so we need charismatic and relaxing. The dragon spine explorate How's the potion making going? Hope you didn't run into take all You guys are gonna screw me over with this, aren't you? Harvest everything. Okay, hold up. So I need relaxing. I need... Okay, that 
was not what I needed. I need relaxing. I need... Charismatic. And fragrant. I know charismatic, fragrant, relaxing is what I need for this. Charismatic, fragrant, relaxing. Um, and then this thing is probably going to be like constitution and warming and stuff, which we kind of already have. So... I am going to go for the charismatic, relaxing, fragrant here. Um, manic, fragrant, relaxing. Oh, great. Oh, I only have two of these. Okay, well, I got a crap ton of these. Um, and you're fragrant, you're relaxing, and your charisma? Oh, heck yeah. You're relaxing. One's dexterity and charisma. We got fragrant and relaxing. Okay. Now we can get off this and just kind of go ham, right? Oh, I only have one of these. Oh, that's right. That's kind of rough. I, I like these ones quite a bit, so. God, this is the most wonky shape the world has ever made. Like, why would you do this to any... This troll... Oh, it just went to Endurance and Fragrant. I don't want that. I need Relaxing. Crap. Anything else I can put in here? I guess we just go for it. It's just Dexterity and Charisma at this point. Um, I mean, it's 210. Do we really even care at this point? Like, what we put in here? Yeah, sure, whatever. 220, there we go. Everything we could ever want. Let's do it. Um, Ayula actually has more to say before you submit your potion. You can give her one from your stock. Really? Dexterity and charisma. Charm them with flexibility. I mean... I once knew a girl in high school who could, uh, like, bend her back, like, totally backwards and, like, have her hands touch the ground, like, while, like, it, she was very flexible. Yeah, we're gonna do this, so, a dexterity and charisma here. And it's fragrant and relaxing. You know what? Love potion. There we go. Nice. We unlocked special flaming flower. Oh, I'm sure that's going to be great. And then that. And then we got some coins. Nice. Anything we can enhance? Uh, it's studying warm. This is a dexterity and strength, endurance and steadying. I actually need endurance and warmth. Wait, we can just keep upgrading this crap? Oh, no. Tell me you can't do that. What? Hey, you also unlocked a second stacking slot. I did? Oh, nice. What? You can't do what? The, the thing that I just told you about, like, being able to, to do all that? Absolutely not. Um... We don't need you. We do need you. And then, what are you? And you know what you are. Your endurance and steadying. Dexterity and wisdom is healing and endurance. This is steadying and warm. This is endurance and steadying. I'm probably going to take that over that. And then I'm going to put this back on there. 
That totally makes sense and will definitely not backfire. What do you need, Eula? What about you, Eula? Is there some... Uh -huh. I don't want to put too much on your plate. It wouldn't be fair to ask you to make Beto came all this way. Her Any potion requests I have on my end, I'll just submit okay. to Lisa later. Aw, you're so considerate. Oh, uh, you think so? Okay. <clears throat> but I still have a lot to learn. The next time things get... Yep. Exactly. I hate you, I'm sorry. It's just like Tone Deaf Bard once said. Thanks, you two. You're cup. Okay. Wow, so that gave me nothing. Okay, Beto, I'm gonna give you the potion now. How's the potion making going? Try making the three star potion. Too much eh. trouble. Special guests will sometimes drop by and yank. And cut potions. Potion of constitution or that displays relaxing characteristics. Okay, well, it's gonna be relaxing because that's what I just made for you. I mean, unless you want this. Potion quality has reached a quantity, yeah, I know that. I mean, I guess I could do this, because it has constitution. Whatever, shut up and take the relaxing. This is what I decided to do, you're gonna shut up and take it. And you're gonna smell good while you do it. Perfect, looks like my gift is all set. Is it time for your return journey, then? If you're heading back to Dornman Port, I'd be happy to accompany you. Yeah, I think I've gotten my fill of sightseeing, <laughs> so it's probably yeah. time I headed back. Don't want to keep my crew waiting. That was an interesting delivery of the word, yeah. Traveler, Paimon, I'll see you some other time. Oh, and good luck with your business. Yeah, exactly. Like, what was that? On behalf of the reconnaissance company, I'd like to express my gratitude to you as well. With vengeance proceeds the fight. Oh, thanks for the coins. Hello there, Douglas. Okay, I uh, need to reach higher levels, but I can buy the pretty bottles, so I'm gonna buy the pretty bottles. Pretty bottles have been bought. Made the mistake of thinking these said and instead of or, so one of the later requests took a while where it asked for a very specific main stat or substats, managed to do it barely. Oh, well, maybe I have to do it now just to do it because I'm evil and might do that. It'll be like reconnaissance, uh, something, uh, vengeance, blue the knights, blue the lord. Yeah, pretty much. I, I'm sorry. I'm not a big fan of Beto or. Uh, wow, that was awful. I mean, still going off the shelves, but still sucks at the same time. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of Yule or Beto, to be entirely honest. Blanche, who are you? Uh, Monset General Goods. Do we have a General Goods store? Uh, Ugh, Captain. Who says you have to use scissors to cut clothes? Leave those rigid rules behind. I much prefer using my own cutting tools. Girl, I wasn't even aiming at that, and you just cut a bush. Chiori, you're scary, but in a good way. Am I anything from you now? Nope. Okay. We got again. We're getting back and forth sweet flowers here, which is actually really nice. Um, is there anything we can replace? Uh, we have 24 of these things, 28 of these. So, yeah, I think we can throw you on. And what do we say we can place? I already forgot what we had a bunch of. Yeah, you. They're going to take us a while, though. You in these past two events haven't even uttered vengeance or Lauren's clan. In fact, they've really pushing for her to be more softer and friendly uh, to others in your unit and strangers. Yeah, probably because she got so bloody annoying with her whole vengeance will be mine. Be, be, be. Like, girl, shut up. Oh my god, please. Constitution, warm strength. Yeah, we need that. And then charisma, fragrant. Relaxing apparently isn't it. The girls do not want to be relaxed. Which, you know, thinking about it, yeah, that, that does sound creepy. Maybe they want to be swole. Um, focus, perception, maybe? Technique? There's a lot to be said about that. Steadying, warm, endurance, endurance, fragrant. 
They want fragrant and maybe... Techniques, the only other thing I can think of, but whoa, does that have an interesting interpretation. You need that makeup skills, I guess, so fragrant technique. But then also, we do need to make... An... Hold up. Because we do need to make a... Um... Another constitution, strength, warm. Well, I guess we do have that, right? So yeah, fragrant technique, charisma. Technique, frag, frag, charisma. Okay. Beginner Wisdom, but I need Charisma here. And it's not- it's not smelling good. Well, that's Perception. We need more fragrance. We need to start smelling better. Technique, Charisma. Now it's just a matter of keeping it this way. I think we're good. These flowers are so good. Hold up. You're gonna be a problem, aren't you? Uh-oh. You don't flip the right way. Uh-oh. That means we're gonna have to put in more shrooms than we probably want. Ah! Oh, that's infuriating. Ah, oh, why do you have to do this? Hmm. I don't want to mess up the eyeliner. Yeah, you just look like a Mimi from the Drew Carey show. Are any of you guys old enough to remember the Drew Carey show? I guess not just old enough. You'd have to have, like, probably, like, lived in America for that. Why am I putting this here? This is wisdom. I don't really... I don't know why I'm putting that there. Like, what, what do I gain from that? I guess I gain not screwing it up. That might be one thing I gain. Oh, we have... What am I doing? We have two stackable slots, right? Do I... Care about this? Because I have two stackable slots? Well, now it's Constitution, so yeah, I guess I do care about that. Crap. Okay, I forgot that I had two stackable slots. We have to really get that Charisma going. So, um... Yeah, we're just gonna really push that good smelling stuff right here, eh? There we go. 225. Done. Haha. <laughs> um... Rose and Shroom should do it with the overlap. I forgot that I had two overlap. Yeah, that kind of messed with me. Okay. Wisdom, Charisma, Fragrant Technique. They're going to be very wise, is what they will be. Very wise. They will smell great and be very wise. Here, we'll put it in this bottle. Still only two stars. I don't know how to make... 
three stars. Levels from lucky bonus. Yay, we got money. And we've unlocked that new thing. Nice. Yeah, I don't know how to make uh, three stars. Wait, I can upgrade the thing I just made? Oh, no, that's the focus and perception. Oh, now I got it to be three stars. Nice. And that's three stars. And then this is the wisdom and charisma, which is now three stars. Very nice. Technique fragrant. Let's go. Message retracted. Oh, I have no idea what that was. Um... The outline edges in the graph indicates where the stars will be. I think I noticed something like that, but I might not have. Um, okay, hold up. What was our best sales here? This was not. So, constitution and strength did better than this, the beginning strength. And then these were tied, so I'm just going to get rid of the beginner strength. Bye. And now give me... This is focus and perception, no. This is wisdom and charisma. Technique and flagrant. You know what? It reminds me of something. Hold up. I've got just the thing for this. Hold on. What is this? Um, is it in this folder? No. No. Hold on. I, 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 I assure you, what I am going to show you is going to be cursed, but also funny, um, I think. Maybe, probably not. Um, this is not it, but I found this, so um, hold up. It, you know, there's that. That wasn't what I wanted to show you, but um, that's there. Uh, just in case you were um, interested in that. Not what I was looking for. Um, where is it? Some of these memes I have labeled as just weird. Like, what is that going? What does that mean? Is it in this one? I want to say it's in this one. Hold on. Maybe. Oh my god, where did I put it? This is I, this is this is uh, this is taking a while, but I promise you it's there. Um no, nope, no, nope, that isn't it. God, I wish I labeled these things better. There's no way I put it in moods. Yes, I have a folder just named moods, and I feel like that's probably where this ended up without me wanting it to end up there. Oh my god, where did it go? It's very fitting for this, and I can't find it now. Oh, this is awful. Oh, did I? I don't know. I didn't delete it, did I? Awesome streak. The picture will haunt me. Yes. D. Luke looks hot in that. Look, man. D. Luke's thighs are bigger than Barbara's. There's something to be said about that. Um. Oh my god, where did I put it? No, is that... What does this mean? I, I really... Do, did I put it in I don't know images? I had to have, right? It's the only one I can think of. Where did I put this thing? Oh my god, this is so annoying. I'm sorry, I'm trying to find this. It's very funny if I can find it. It's very fitting for this. Oh, where did I put it? I know I didn't delete it, I hope. Wait, come on. There's no way I deleted this. Oh, why? Why is it taking me so long? It's gotta be in moods, right? <laughs> I can't find it. Oh, this is sad. Oh my god. I don't think I'm gonna be able to find it. I think I've just wasted everybody's time instead, and that is upsetting to me. How did I lose this? Oh, 
Oh, how did I lose it? No way. Hold on. I, I'm, I'm like double checking one last thing. It's not in the cursed section. God, there are some very cursed things in the cursed section, though. That is for sure. It would have to have been in, like, weird. Yep, I do have it. Hold up. I found it. It is in weird. Never mind. I just named it something really stupid. We're saved. We're saved. It's in the folder called weird. I just named it something different. There we go. Very fitting. Sorry, it took a while. Hold on. No, no, no. I need you to unlock that. Sausage fragrance. Vanilla fragrance. This is what we're giving them. We're just giving them the sausage fragrance. That's it. Yes, that's what I just spent five minutes looking for, was to give them sausage fragrance. That's the new, that's the new cologne that they're getting. This is what Mondstadt's going to smell like, guys. Mondstadt sausage. This is the new scent that they are going to get. The girls are going to love it. They're going to absolutely love it. <laughs> ah, yes. The lovely smell of hot dog water. Oh, my God. It reminds me. You're going to make me have to find this now, too. There's a paperback paradise thing where it's just... It, it, if you don't know Paperback Paradise, they take, like, it's on Twitter, they take, like, these old 19, like, 60s, 1970s books, and then they just, like, mess with the covers and edit them, and there's one where this dude, it's like a romance novel, is clearly, like, leaning over this girl's neck in, like, a very sensual kind of a way, and they just change the titles to, She Smells Like Hot Dogs. <laughs> so, that just reminded me of that, yes. Anyways, <clears throat> I interrupt your uh, perfectly normal stream for that, um, unless you want any more wildly cursed things, because, oh boy, do I have plenty of wildly cursed things um, that, are, that are in here that you do not want to... These are like getting into the, the, the Twitch streams. <laughs> <laughs> These are getting into the the Twitch stream level of uh, <laughs> degeneracy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna walk away from these because oh boy, are they something? Um, if you if you've ever been to the Twitch streams, you know these are not it. Wait, are there quotes here? I do not think there are quotes here. No. I do not think Nightbot is. I I'm not stupid enough to put Nightbot into the youtube streams man i'm not doing that uh, uh this is this is pure innocent streaming right here you sound like what does that mean what does this mean what is that an eagle what does that mean <laughs> Ka -ka! um oh look this stuff all did 32 um Wow, they still really didn't like that, did they? I mean, it's flying off the shelves, but they didn't like our, our super duper awesome thing. Um, which is saddening. They didn't like the smell of sausage? No, they like the smell of sausage. Charisma, fragrant technique. Mm-mm. They love the smell of sausage. Now we can make a constitution warm strength one that's actually good. And if constitution and <clears throat> Um, did I get anything new? No, I do want more of these, though. I do feel like I'm going to need more of these eventually. Uh. Eh. Whatever. Yeah, quote, yeah, you tried. Nah, try about to try to bring in the most unhinged things any of you have ever seen. It'd be like if JHK walked into the stream. It would be terrifying. Constitution, warm strength. Okay. Constitution, warm, and swole. What is this? Uh-huh. And it's constitution. 
And then there's the swole flower. Huh. This flower is a nightmare. What the crap is that? So we need strength, though. So we do need... Wait, that's steadying. Oh, it's constitution. So I really need strong... And I only have one strong... So... We're really going to have to go for it here. Intermediate constitution. I guess... Okay, time to get weird with it. Put that in there. Strengthening warm. Strengthening warm. There we go. 225, and we only needed to overlap once. Unless we can get rid of the shroom and put something else. It's still going to be 25. Though. Oh my god, though. It goes, like, way off the list if we do that. Yo, it's like super intermediate constitution. Yo, they're gonna love it. Go to the Discord to get quotes. Don't you dare. All hill egg. Oh my god. See how it expands past the fine line? That's how it goes into another star. Ah, yeah. You lost warm. Wait, what? Uh-oh. There we go. Strengthening warm. I'm glad somebody mentioned that. I was about to I was about to I was about to do a bad. There you go. That's fine. So we have intermediate constitution, strengthening, warm. There we go. Look at that. What is the most swole bo The chonky cat, obviously. Potion level four, though. Mm -hmm. But it's intermediate level four. And we've unlocked a bunch of coins. Um, I've unlocked after... Okay, well, that's weird. No, no, enhance. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Give me that chunky. Chunker. I guess I'll upgrade you. Why not? Hey, at least I got it to that. <laughs> this reminds me of the new HSR event. This reminds you, this should remind you of the old shopping event that we had in Genshin. Um, where's my chonky cat? Oh, wait, I can have four? Huh? Oh, no, I was about to say that was new. I thought it was up there. I was so confused. Once again, me confused. Who the funk? There we go. This should be everything we need, huh? You don't know why they localized one of the main stats as strength and one of the substats as strengthening. Well, because the ingredient strengthens the potions so that you can get strength. How else are you going to get swole? I should have bought that before. Um, you know. Whatever. Financial report. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Stonks are up, ladies and gentlemen. Everything is just 32, though, so whatever. They they can't be that big. Also, 900 down, and eh, whatever. Man, if only a business was this easy, huh? Fat Tui. Wait until two days late. What is this? Okay, here's a question. Yo, did they change our... Oh, they did change our pot a little bit. Here's a question for you guys. Do you want me to wait the two days and just do this event all in one? Or do you want me to break it up and do some TCG here? Um, or do you want me to do the TCG at the end? I'm going to, like, pull this. So, engage with your audience. Start a poll. Um...
Okay. That'll make things a little easier. Kind of know what you guys want to be dealing with here. Wow. Well, that was quick. That was an instant 100% TCG in between days. So either like only a few people voted, only a few people are here because I don't look at the numbers, so I don't really care. Um, or everyone just really wants to be here for the TCG considering the fact that that's, um, you know, what the channel's known for. That was an instantaneous TCG. <sighs> Yo, um, we're letting Lisa do the, oh, of course, when I need to leave, Lisa's not here. Of course she's not going to do any work. Thanks, Lisa. Bye. Oh, it was only six votes. That wasn't much. Of course, TCG instantly wins. That's true. I mean, I assume there's not many people here anyways, honestly, looking at that poll. Because I was doing the event. I should have probably did the TCG first. Um... So anyways, I've been messing around with a few things. You guys have seen this stuff before. You've seen that before. This is... Don't worry about this stuff. Um, I was messing around with a few things. These are kind of the stuff that I've come up with. Um, and I'm probably going to change this. I actually want to mess around with changing this first. Um, because initially I had this going on. It's Jet. We're going to be messing around with Jet decks. Um, but I think I want to change this to get rid of Toma. And, unfortunately, this is going to mess with this, which sucks. And, um, by getting rid of Toma, I think I maybe want to put Nahida. Because Nahida is going to be busted. At a go figure. I mean, this frees up four cards here. Um, what does Nahida do with Electro? No, 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 no. So game one usage. Oh, great. Um... So, this does give us a little bit to work with here. Um, is this a meme deck? No. This this deck actually is pretty good. At least the original one was actually, like, pretty good. It could pretty much OTK because but once this pops out and he attacks once, dude can literally burst for nine damage with her thing out, and it's basically you insta-kill somebody. Um, so it is actually pretty good. The other thing I was thinking is to add in, since we have four cards here that we can deal with, add in this for hee hee. Um, and it's like, do I want the gamblers or would I prefer to have this? And then we can kind of choose, do we want arcane or do we want... What's her face? Her. Uh, Nanatsuki. To get this out kind of cheaper here. Um, else we roll with an arcane card. I feel like actually, if anything, screw that. We run this. Because we're going to probably need this. We have crap for dice rigging here. Um, this is good for putting on hee hee. So we kind of do want to draw that. Remember when this was trying to make a TCG website? Uh, yeah, we talked about this earlier. Yeah, and the issue with it was, of course, JavaScript, which is unfortunate. Um, yeah, so this is what I ended up having. Um, but I, again, Tomo was there instead. And so this is always an interesting thing to mess around with here. If we can get the stuff out early and mess around with it. This is an idea for a deck as well. So you've got a couple of good hats. The Noel deck is an interesting one. Again, these are all jet decks that I was messing around with. Um, because this is food jet. Which is a bit weird to work with. Um, so, kind of interesting. Mimir is actually really important for this. So is this. So we can get a bunch of stuff to cycle through here. Um... And it's a Noel deck. I chose Albedo over um, someone like Goro here. Because once he gets the burst up, the dude is threatening a pretty significant amount of damage. If What's-Her-Face's stuff is down, if her thing is, then you're talking 7 damage potential here. And if he reacts with something, that's 8 damage potential. Um, so you are looking at a lot of, like, you're threatening a very strong attack while you wait to get 
uh, jet combo ready for Noel to start swinging. Else, I could always replace this with Ajdaha, who I think is also a very good choice for um for this. So it's, it's kind of up in the air and what I want to do with that. Embrace Python. Chief, I can't remember the last time people have used Python. Like, I I used it. it also, is Python even used for web design stuff? Like, I think that's very different. Um, Good Nuvi is an interesting one here. Uh, again, Jet, but this is a Jet that plays around them two doing a bunch of damage and then him just slapping out some quick stuff once the Jet things go off. It's an interesting one. Um, we aren't actually running the full Cryo Resonance. We're just running the dice there. Um, again, interesting setup here with this one. I've been testing it out with, with these things. With I'm surprised I only have one Nanatsuki in here when I have two of these in, in this. Um, hmm. I feel like having another Nanatsuki would be important, but I guess I just didn't bother with that. Um, whatever. Embrace C. Just see nothing else. Just C. Not C++. Not C sharp. Just C. Huh. Um, so yeah, there is that. These are like the three that I've been working with, so we're probably going to mess around with them. This one was interesting, and the reason why Toma was here and made it interesting is because when he normal attacks, once he's got his BS going, he hits the person on... who He doesn't hit the active character, so he can sit there and put Electro from the off-field character onto the on-field character... Then his burst triggers hitting the active character, overloading them into the character who is just hit with the normal attack. And it kind of jostles the opponent around a little bit. Of course, I mean, if you've got Joyous Celebration, it's all moot point. But I found myself not caring much about him and just being able to just burst stuff down with him if anything that's why i was thinking like nahida would be better or maybe even mona and go into like a weird electro charge like mona or oceanid into like a weird sort of electro charge kind of a thing but with her i feel like i can just start i can just slap the dendro into the electro and then all of a sudden You've got damage plus swirl with her craziness, and you know, not to mention Nahida is surprisingly a massive threat with all of this stuff. And then you add this into the mix where she can get big hee hee attack out for like the same rate as normal hee hee attack. And yeah, you've got you've got a threat there. Uh. The good hat is Scaramouche and both of his mothers. I mean, in this case it is. Yeah, this is an interesting thing. Like, I figured this would be something that I'd mess with a bit. Um, and again, this one is really fun for just, like, doing freeze. And then all of a sudden, she starts doing a big amount of damage. Shen is sitting there with her stuff going crazy. Like, it's, it's a decent amount of, of setup there. And then once they start doing stuff here... He comes out and is just like, ha ha, I have water. So, interesting stuff. So, I don't know. It's a little weird here. Some of them are good, some of them aren't. I probably want to mess around with this one a little bit, just because I just kind of edited it. I had this idea while I was in the shower. So I was like, ha, huh, let's mess around with this. Um, yeah, whatever. Yeah, you can see I've been doing, like, if you look at these records, they're all, like, one, two, three, one, two, three. Like, they're, they're nothing. I just, I get to a certain extent. Like, I did four, and then I was like, crap, I want to change this. So, yeah, welcome to, welcome to what all of my editing and weird stuff is. You can see all sorts of weird crap that got, eventually, I tried this combo, wasn't fond of it. This thing, and then I was like, yeah, what if we go to this? And then I went back and forth for this. Like, I tried so many ridiculous things, and just like, eh. So, let's mess around a little bit, see what's up with this. Um, as we're doing this, though, let's put on, like, some actual music. Yeah, I've been listening to a lot of the Freerin soundtrack since it's, like, been recommended to me. But sadly, I cannot put Freerin soundtrack onto... Whoops, I hit the wrong thing. Onto um, what it is that I'm I'm doing here. So... 
we're going to be stuck with more Genshin stuff. Happy Egg Day. Indeed. Enjoy the Egg Day. Okay. Let's see what we do. It's Nilu Bloom. Well, I mean, at least it's a Nilu playing a Nilu. So we do have to see about how we're keeping her alive because we are going to get hit with Hydro pretty early here. But once we get the burst out, we can just start swinging. Well, you don't go first, though, so that's a problem. Um, Dunyazard, nice. Blast Zone, very nice. This will be alright. This could be interesting. I would probably prefer to get another companion. That's not a companion, Chief. And I would have liked the zero cost one for her. Stay close and so this is live. probably happening than that. Yeah. Okay, we do have the Electro for things. Um, hmm. Anything I want to mess around with? Not really. It's pretty much to see if I get another Electro. I do. I got plenty of Electro, so I can do her skill, normal attack, and be ready to burst, or I can just give them the Bloom. They have to convert there? Interesting. With all my strength. Okay. So they are going to have Quick Swap to mess around with things, which is a little annoying. Um, because that does mean that they'll be able to move around and do a lot of stuff. So it doesn't matter what I do here. Um, I do have to get off of her, though. I think she dies if I uh, Shine down. allow the Bloom and stuff to hit. Fast action. Okay. They're converting a lot for the setup, so that's fine by me. Stay put. So they don't have a whole lot of cards in hand there, so I'm kind of alright with that. Um see, because this hits for the bloom, that's gonna do two and then create the bloom. And if it does two puts us at five they aren't gonna be able to kill i think unless the bloom instantly goes off and i can't remember if it does because it's been forever since i've dealt with bloom decks um and so i feel like maybe i just want to mess around with hee hee instead i am gonna get that down And I'm just going to swap to Hee uh, Hee, because they can swap off anyway, so Electro will be again. there. They'll swap to probably her or her, um, just so that they can get the, the Bloom going. Ouch. Okay. Still not what we need. We can play Jet, but... We, we gotta hurry this up a little bit. Okay, we do have the stuff for Hee Hee. We can see if we get the stuff for... I mean, we have Bestus, so... Okay, we can do a little Hee Hee or a big Hee Hee. Yes, this is just what they're called now. They're Hee Hees. Vrakasha swaps to her. Normal attack. Oh no. Okay, they don't have a whole lot that they can do here. Um, so I feel like almost as if Big Hee Hee might be better. Or we just go back here. Jet going down is pointless at this point. Other than just to get us the dice. Um, Stay close and you will live. I think I'm just gonna blast them with the burst here. Allow Elemental me. skill. Cool. That's gonna give me electro charge if she dies, whatever. Um I could get an extra dice if I wanted to, or an extra die. Is it really necessary? Probably not. Um And they aren't gonna place anything else for black. Oh, they are. Oh, oh, oh blast zone! 
Oh, just realized that's a spicy meatball. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that is. That is a thing. Okay, I'm gonna drop you. Just so I can draw something. There's a Lieben. Okay. Inazuma shines eternal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. The spicy meatball. There we go. Getting rid of that real fast. Uh huh. I should have probably maybe swapped to her just so I could have that stuff ready and going, but whatever. I can easily just use this to get that out. They're going to have to do some big business here. And we have now that. Only issue is I, I don't want to have to get rid of one of these. Um, okay. I'm going to save this just in case I need it. Yeah, because it looks like we're not getting hee hee just yet. Unless we want to swap real fast. They're going to swap to her elemental skill. So they're probably going to try to. Can I just kill with this? No, that's going to be four. Um... But I can quick swap if I want to. Huh. So. Because that'll be. That's only going to be six if I have this down. Because that'll do five and then that. Yeah. Hmm. So, do I want to do this just to get the Electro out, or do I want to just immediately swap in and, and go ham on the damage? Maybe I just want to go ham on the damage here while we still can. Um, yeah, probably. So, I'm just going to do that. Time to broaden the horizons again. Because if I did this, that's five to everyone. That would be five right there. Um, I see everything. So there we go with that. Now they're all taking a bit of a hit. We don't have the Electro down though, so they are going to swap to her. Um, okay, so they we can kind of dodge this though if we really want to like because i can just swap back and forth now well grant they still are gonna have the quick swap so it's like mm, this comes in with three then there's that doing another two which is five so it's like do we really want that or are we perhaps just willing to let her die or do we just let it go to lieben and not care like, I think we can probably just let it go to Lieben at this point. Um, yeah. I'm just going to let that go to Lieben. We get quick swap anyways. We don't get Electro on them. Mm. Positions. Now that's a problem, because now that is... Well, no, because that isn't going to shoot off yet. But that does... She does need to go. Ouch. So there's the bloom. Okay, we get this stuff. It's taking us a very long time to get Jet going, which is really quite annoying. Jet usually is faster than this. Um, I'm going to keep the one Electro. Okay. What do we have here? Oh, Mimir. Nice. I feel like we could get her to pop off, actually. Um, because that's five right there. Because we've got a lot of stuff that if we drop, we can just start going crazy with. Um. Because this could be one. 
we could I think we could get this all the way up if we wanted to. Um, it's just do we want to do that? Cause she would just straight die. And well, I mean, it does put them in a position where they're in a they're in a rough spot themselves. Um, because he can probably start running with it. So let's mess around. Let's find out. We're probably gonna sack her. Probably should have did that one first then, because I might have been able to get the extra, because this is going to go to four, five. Yeah, kind of screwed that up a little bit, didn't I? Whatever, I'm not too bothered by it. Even if we only get three back, I'm not too concerned. Because there's that. Do I just heal her then so that she stays alive? Probably. And hope for another support card. Thank you. Okay. Make yourselves at home. So there's some big damage coming. This dance is for you. Ouch. I guess this does mess around with me being able to like swap and stuff, but do I really care? Are you sure it has to be me? Yeah. <sighs> Fine. Let's get this over with. Behold. Not exactly the best thing. I guess I could always just swap back to her here. Wow, that should have been played ages ago. Oh my, really? Okay, they're gonna do the burst there. Ready, go! God, I wish I kept gamblers in here all of a sudden. Blunder on their part. Oh my god. Y okay. Y yep, okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Talk <laughs> about OTK. One turn kill, one attack kill. My god. Yeah, that's a that was a situation. Good afternoon. What did I miss? You just missed Wanderer literally just one shot an entire team with one attack. That's what you missed. That That's what you missed. Jesus. That was a terrible play on their part to do that. I kind of feel bad for them. Oh my god. It does make me want to put gamblers back in there though. At least like one of them. I was not expecting that. My god. Like one gamblers or something because that was crazy probably should yeah that was really wild um just to just to have one in there just in case now we have to we go back and redo that though but dang that was that was a crazy one bloom decks are always annoying i think really i just got very lucky with the the beginning with the blast zone blast zone helped a lot but bloom decks are, are always annoying ones to deal with. What are we sacrificing for gamblers? Sacrificing just one of those things for it. That's all. Yeah, there's not a whole lot that needs to be done there. Okay, well... I don't need both of you yet, and I probably don't need you just yet. These are fun. I can actually do things with these that are pretty crazy if I get lucky, and I didn't. But this isn't bad. This is not amazing.
Yeah, this is the best starting there. But damages, I mean, they're going to too, because they have that they have to work with. We have to get this stuff out pretty quickly here. The campaign begins. Because that's going to come out first. <clears throat> and then we really have to just worry about the damage there, so. Okay, um... If I want to do hee hee, I don't really want to do hee 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 here. In fact, I might not even play these at the moment. We might just need the burst out first. Oof. Now this might be a situation where we convert some stuff here. Out of the way. Yeah, because they're gonna have this pretty early. Um. I will have six, but I won't be able to swap which is a problem, but I will have this down for next round. Um, I'll risk it, but I do have some doubts here. I am going to convert this. Illusion shattered. So we at least have that going for us. Looks like a, a meme deck. He actually did. Um, absolute mess, but it was fun. What did I just put up here? Okay, interesting, I guess. Um, oh no, we'll lose one, but they'll be able to end first. Uh, but I mean, we need to get our burst out, right? Like. Maybe they don't have burst card? What are they converting for? Lieben? Bonarana? Did nothing? Okay, that was weird. That's coming in, which is nice. Okay. Uh, not exactly the best draws here at all. Like, we are not getting good opening hands here, which is a problem. Um sack everything potentially for the burst oh my god that's awful i think we have to like go there but then he can just swap off because he's gonna be able to sack everything for it or we just sack two different things i could always nuke this teamwork is dreamwork there's the burst No. How much would I have here if I did this? I'm gonna do something weird here. Um, am I gonna? I have to be able to sack two cards though, don't I? Crap! I have to be able to play two and sack two. Or at least sack one if I get this to work. That's going to be one. Now it's going to be two. Tubby, you're not helping. You're not helping. Um, but at least you're out cheap, I guess. So I can sack the Tubby. There's three. We draw that. And then we sack you. Of course, if he just swings, like, that's five damage coming in. So I do have to actually play this. Um, like, this has to be played or she just explodes here at this point. Sucks, but it is what it is. Now you shall perish! We do at least get that going. The other option was to just let her die. Um, and I didn't know if I want to do that yet. This should leave her just one. Do you have an extra die? No? Okay... Uh huh. Fair enough, I guess. Um. 
Hmm. How do we want to play that? I think I just leave it. I just leave it and go first. What does the stone do again? When you put when you play three cards in a round, it draws a card and gives you an Omni die. It's actually really useful. Um, but and see, the thing is, is this person, I think they have either really bad cards or they're just making very silly mistakes because their deck is actually scary. Like their their character cards are actually a threat but they're playing it in the weirdest way imaginable. Like, truly, this is the weirdest way you could be playing this. Um, like, I don't really know where they're going with it. And I don't know where I want to go with it. Do I just want to let her die? Like, because that's a thing. I could just do that and then just move straight into here. Um, like, because that's an option that might be worth considering here. I think I might just do that. Just get down her skill. Potentially. Or just not even get down the skill. Well, because we do want the skill, don't we? Mm, this isn't going to be useful, so I can probably convert you. There is no escape. And we just have that down. If they want to go for it, cool. Because then we'll get extra dice from that. I'll make the pale flame smolders. Cool. Okay. Now we have to choose. Do we want to go here for big hee hee blast? Because we can do big hee hee blast, or we can do this into skill. And then just start normal attacking, potentially. And then just save the hee hee for later. Also a possibility, but I don't know if I want to let... Well, I mean, this is burst. Or again, there's big hee hee skill. And if I big hee hee skill... I feel like he's probably the safest choice. Are you sure it has to be me? Yes. <sighs> Fine. Let's get this over with. Behold! Boom, look at that. What is the hee-hee? Hee-hee uh, is doing hee-hee things. The Elemental. pale thing smolders! Still a lot of freaking damage, though. Like, you gotta give him credit for that. That's a crap ton of damage. But now I can do this. And it's not like they have any spare dice or anything. Like, what cards are they playing? I haven't seen them play an action card. Okay. I was about to say, what are your action cards, my dude? Because I'm very perplexed by this. Ouch. I was about to say, I didn't want her converting yet. That would have been bad. Oh my god, can we please draw the right cards? This is the slowest game ever because these card draws are abysmal right now. Like, I'm getting so unlucky on these card draws. It's actually insane. Pale First. flame, lay waste! Ouch. Okay, we gotta think here. I can just kill. Now, now that he's done that, I can literally just kill. Because this thing's gonna do nine. Like, you're, you're just dead. Yeah, you're just dead. Unfortunately, you're still here. 
and that's scary to me. Wretched vermin! I never but you're out of the way. For redemption. Yeah, I think I can kill still though. The wind rises. Skill, okay. I did this. If I did this onto him, I could kill him. I still have enough to do that. Um, if I ran over to her and did this, um, or did the burst, the burst wouldn't be enough, right? The burst would only be doing six. Um, I mean, it might be smarter just to run over here at this point. Uh, or we can just wait. And, I, I think we just wait and let her clean up. Behold! Because that's going to give me this. So unless they have something like I haven't lost yet. And even then, they're not going to be able to kill. He's going to go down unless they swap. But even then, if they swap, they've got to they've, they've avoid stuff. Also, if they swap, I could always just be like, okay, just wait for Lieben to play. Just play this, switch it to something like Hydro or whatever, something that's not Dendro or Animo, and then just let Lieben play it. Wouldn't Nahida kill after the... Uh, I don't think so. Um, I think we'd be a little off on killing both. I mean, he already went. Am I fine with just doing this? Or do I want to just, like, ensure the dice at this point? Because I could just go for the kill. Maybe it's smarter to just go for the kill here. Yeah. This is just my luck. And now we can just swap right to hee hee. I've been waiting for you for ages. And now he he's poised to, to kill. Even though we've got the most scuffed draws, there we go. Yeah, we don't actually need, like, a lot to kill with this. Like, we can just convert to whatever, so it doesn't even matter. And it looks like we're gonna need to. Here you go, into bed. It's pretty late. What time is it? Oh my god, it's already four. We've only Storm done one fury. day. I actually have to, like, after this, finish this event. Here, I mean, just uh, one shot. Go, go, go. <laughs> Everything. You're Let's saying we're quicken, off. though? Maybe. I might have done the math wrong on it. It's no big deal. But there you go. Um, Yeah, this deck actually seems kind of cool. I actually have to do this event, though. Like, oh my god. I don't know if you celebrate, but happy Easter. I don't remember who this person is. I'm sorry. I am going to send them a thanks. I don't remember who a lot of the people on my friends list are because they don't talk to me much. But yeah, we have to go back to doing this event. Sorry. The, the, this is, we only got a couple of rounds out of that, but you can see that this might be a deck that I make a video out of. If the bloody jet combo could actually happen like i when i was testing it out before the jet combo happened quite a bit but now all of a sudden it's just like no now i feel like i should just go gilded you still win yeah one way or another it's just a matter of like did i want to 
You know, what's the bigger threat, though, right? The Wanderer or the who can't really heal himself or potentially the Bennett who could heal himself if he manages to stall long enough to get his burst. I mean, it, it, you know, it's, it's kind of a thing here. Where are you going? Give me your meat. No foxes allowed. Yeah, you thought. You forgot the Chiori's got that speed. Yeah, just keep in mind, this is what happens if anyone tries to rob the potion shop. We got our guards here. They look like their eyes are closed, but they ain't. Okay, hold up. We gotta turn the... Crap, I hit the wrong button. We gotta turn the music off and go back to the... It's back to, to making more meth. I mean, totally not doing anything remotely bad, illegal, or unpleasant in the... Who just added me as a friend? Um... Or, uh, anything of that nature. Sorry, we, we have to take a moment to appreciate the Chiori. Okay, now we wait two days. Alcohol time. Yes, exactly. What mail do I have? Probably the game being like, you know this event's about to end soon, right? You might want to you might want to do something about that, right? I actually really do love this like clock background thing. Like look at that. It's really pretty. Genshin occasionally has some nice things. <laughs> Is he going? Who Actually, who is this dude? Is there a chance to play? I mean, theoretically, I guess if you, like, magically queue in. I don't hey, try to... We just keep getting swarmed with more and more customers. It's been non-stop work for so long, Paimon's starting to feel a little bit lightheaded. Paimon, welcome to working retail. Obviously, what we need to do now is just hire some underpaid interns to work for us and just really embrace the capitalism. Yeah, don't worry, you're getting paid in experience, kid. You'll appreciate it. Just pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Yeah, when I was younger, you know, I didn't complain about $2 an hour wages or anything. What? Inflation? Everything costs more? Nah, you kids are just complaining. Back in my day, we used to have to go everywhere on bikes. Now you kids want nice cars. Yeah, uh-huh. Just don't be so needy. Yeah, see, Paimon? Just do all of that. Welcome to the the boomer era. Um, but yeah, when it comes to, like, randomly matching into me, I don't actively try to do it because there's a lot of people who are obviously, like, not in the NA region, so it's not fair to them. And I typically just, like, don't tap the glass is, is how I kind of interpret it. Um, but if it happens, it happens. You've gotten one match. You have? When? I don't even remember that. Anyways, business is booming. We've got a lot of orders. I'm Notice how she's doing nothing. Hey, Lisa, you want to do something other than sip tea? Uh, oh, she heard. Uh, maybe we should hire some help. You somehow sounded like a male version of Marge Simpson. Homie, we need to go out there and make more potions, else Bart won't be able to afford college. Yeah, it's about the best Marge I can do. As if Bart's going to college, though, let's be real. Taking a break, cuties? Don't call us that. I was just looking at the sales data, and it seems like you two have quite the talent for business. The potions seem to be flying off the shelves. I like to assume that my other voice that I did sounds more like Danny DeVito. Oh, Lisa! Perfect timing. We were just talking about how we could use some help around the shop. Oh, are the orders piling up already? Having trouble keeping up? Yeah, we need more of this quote-unquote logistics team that you just pull out your rear to come and help. Yep, we're officially swamped. Paimon never thought we'd get this many customers. This was a jump scare and a half. Oh, you don't even know all the weird voices that I can do. Yeah, this is, this is nothing. There, Elisa's the one who's writing up the business report and research paper. Elisa is sipping tea. She's got someone else writing this stuff for her. Well, I can't say I'm surprised by the success. I was actually anticipating this kind of response. 
While you two were busy with the shop, I was talking with Freda about some possible ways to make the business more efficient. After observing your work, I made note of several improvements we can make to the brewing, cultivation, and sales aspects of the business. And we didn't think of doing that beforehand? Wait, so you've been doing things behind the scenes this whole time? Hymon, don't believe her. She's gaslighting you. Hymon kind of thought you were just slacking off. You're right. Hey, now. I'm actually pretty reliable when it counts. Such a lie. So how are we supposed to put those improvements in action? She's writing it in her mind. Yeah, you know what? I have an entire best-selling series written in my mind. Uh, J.R. Tolkien, George R. Martin, Martin, none of them can compare to the greatness of this one thing that I've written in my mind. Okay? All right, just, just keep that in mind. Bestseller. You'll, you'll, you'll hear about it. You'll read it telepathically. Well, I discussed things over with Freda, and the two of us came up with a plan. Let her do everything while I do nothing. I'll let her give you the details, though. Of course! Why don't you go and find her? Also... Okay, I like how they paid attention to detail and actually, like, put the sand a little bit on the wheel. Like, that's actually, like, a nice attention to detail, because this thing would have a heck of a time rolling on through the sand. Traveler! Paimon, hello! Is there something I can help you with? Apparently. Well, we've been a bit swamped lately, so Lisa recommended we find some ways to increase our efficiency. Uh, yes, I've discussed that with her as well. Currently, there are three areas you can improve. Brewing, cultivation, and sales. Yeah, I know. We've, we've been over this. Increasing your efficiency in these areas will make it much easier to run your business. Wow, that sounds just like what we need! Let's give it a try, Traveler! Yeah, just just, in, just improve it. Guys, this is how you run a business. You When something's not doing well, you just improve it. How? Just just, just do it. Just improve it. Like, it, it's that easy. Like, clearly Lisa's put so much thought into this that all we have to do is just, just improve. Looks like all the preparations needed for this upgrade have been made. Please, try it out. See? Just easy upgrades. What is this? Lucky Wish, rank one. Oh no, are we gonna pull a five star? I didn't realize you were pulling today. Uh, when concocting potions, the chance of a lucky bonus increased at 30%. When a lucky bonus is obtained, the level of potion will additionally be increased. Okay. The 30% chance a lucky bonus happens to additional harvest. What is this? Amount of potion type stock increased the. Ah, uh, yeah. Base potion sales volume increased to two volume bottles? I'm just going to do that real quick. Uh, what else do we want here? Uh... Just wait till the high tide comes in. Uh, uh, that Boof is not going to have a fun time. Oh, great. You say that, but you generally have full-on fleshed out his stories in my head. Me too. Do you think I'm joking, Try? I've been writing these things, like, since for over 10 years. Like, planning them out and stuff. Um, like, you have no idea. The, the amount of the amount of things in my head is, I, I'm not exaggerating by any stretch of the imagination. There goes all of our funding, by the way. Rare swift swimming fish. Oh god, so we're gonna need dexterity. Yai publishing house. Um my Inazuman in Christ, this is Monstat. No. I don't wanna think about Yai. It's holding a light novel contest and authors are searching for inspiration so what do you need focus um focus and like wisdom or something i don't know uh swift swimming there's gonna be dexterity and so let's mess around a little bit with this we are going to need dexterity dexterity and wisdom i think is a good idea healing and endurance but whatever um strength and dexterity 
Dexterity and charisma. And then... There. Okay. Let's go grab the weed. You sure need focus. Me too. It's a lake. What's a lake? Oh, oh, the high tide. Oh, whoops. You can expend funds to consume special alchemical fertilizers. Oh, for the love of God. Funds consumed will be decided by the amount of operation site. Oh. It's been like two days. You guys haven't. My God, that's a lot of money. You're just going to wait. A forward focus. I mean, yeah, we can have a forward focus roll up on in here. Yo, Lisa, which potion does that? What is the point of this? Can't you be inside? Why are you standing by? Sorry, I'm just complaining about everything. Um, what's the, what's this? Oh. Boy, wouldn't it be cool if there was a get everything button? Well, that was riveting, ho yo. You can accelerate flower growth individually. I could do that. Or I could look at the market news. So we need dexterity and probably constitution because you're swimming. So dexterity, constitution, and then Christ knows what's going on with Yai. I don't care about Yai. Dexterity, constitution. Um, constitution, dexterity, probably want endurance, and fragrant. Perception, maybe? Okay. Uh, yo, what? I'm sorry. These things are wild. Anyways. Um, dexterity. We've got endurance and dexterity. Now we need... I only have one perception, and it's a charisma perception. Like, what? What? There's dexterity and charisma. We don't want that. We want dexterity and endurance, which we'll be able to get. I just need the perception. That's going to be the tricky part. How am I going to get perception out of this? I don't know what that is. Um... Okay, so we do have perception, dexterity, and... Dexterity and what? Guys, what did I want? I have dexterity and charisma. Didn't I say endurance or... Yeah. It's endurance, perception, dexterity, charisma. We need to up this. Um... And they're a small indie company. They can't afford to make collect all button. I'm I'm sorry, I forgot. Hoyo just can't afford that. They they they've only made a few billion. They can't afford it, guys. Collect all costs. They haven't made the number yet, okay? They're still brewing that one. I tell the customers uh, there's some carrot in the mix and it always does the trick. What? Um studying. We have perception, we have endurance, we just need dexterity and... Guys, what am I looking for? Dexterity and constitution. Yeah, we need constitution. I'm like, what am I, like, trying to make? Dexterity, constitution. But now it's constitute. now it's strengthening perception, and I want endurance. So what's endurance? Your endurance. Endurance, strength... What's dexterity? Bruh.
Intermediate Constitution. Okay. This is so scuffed. Whatever. Intermediate Constitution, Dexterity, Endurance, Strengthening. Let's go. You better be right. Um, what do we want to put it in? We're going to put it in that. Okay. Some things went up some level. Ooh, we got this madness. Oh, wow. You can finally turn the other direction. Thank you. Jerk. Nice. Nice. Okay, so we're getting all them intermediates. God, this music, like, reminds me of what a, like, third-rate car salesman would sound like. Um... A dexterity and charisma? No, we don't need to be charismatic. We need that. I'm sure this will totally work out all right. There's nothing... Nothing will go wrong with this. Trust. See? See? Flying off the shelves. How... How dare anyone? Intermediate dexterity and... Intermediate wisdom... It, Screw it. Why do we even... Why even... I... Don't even need to make new potions. Why do we even... Why do we even... Lisa. L you're micromanaging now, Lisa. Oh, God. Sucrose is here. It, we, we, we screwed up. And Lisa? Now she's gonna really want to cook. This is true. I think the last time we saw you was... Kalei event? When was the last time we've seen Sucrose? No, it was the... Guys, I don't remember the last time we saw Sucrose. On the way here, I overheard quite a few people talking about alchemical potions. Weren't you involved with this? At first, I was worried something might have gone wrong with the herbs. But judging by the way people were talking... It seems like they were pretty pleased with the results. TCG Quest was the last time? No. No, it was the Kalei event, right? Like, because Kalei event was the one with, like, the wind bloom and stuff was after the TCG. You think when Sino Tainari and Kalei visit? Yeah, I think there was that. And I was one. Didn't she didn't show up to any of the food things with that weird event, did she? <laughs> Sucrose, your bioalchemical expertise was exactly what we needed for potion making. Yeah, are you are you saying that I don't know what I'm doing, Lisa? Because you can get on over here and do it yourself. Yeah, we've been able to make potions with all sorts of different effects. Yeah, we've just been putting random drugs into them. <clears throat> you mastered potion making in such a short amount of time? I guess that's expected for someone of your talent, Traveler. Don't worry, we just got that one textbook that Snape had in, in the, the sixth Harry Potter book, and it told us how to do everything. I wouldn't be surprised if she became a potion master one day. Yep. Still, if you manage to master potion making in such a short amount of time, we should be able to start teaching the public about it as well. Sucrose, half of the public in Mondstadt are alcoholics. Are you sure you want to teach them how to mix potions? Wait, was that also a part of Gene's plan? Gene is... Guys, Mondstadt's economy is literally alcohol and drugs at this point. This is what Mondstadt's based off of. Man, it really is the town of freedom. It, it truly is just Amsterdam. <laughs> or at least how people view Amsterdam. I'm sure Amsterdam has a lot more than that. Yep. It's something she and Mr. Albedo talked about. 
As I understand it, the goal was not just to create and sell potions, but also to teach the principles and practices of alchemy to the people. It reminds me of how I had a roommate. I've probably told stories about the roommate Meathead, but I'm not going to tell all of them because there, there are some terrible stories in there. Um, Meathead thought that Japan's economy was entirely anime, manga, and video games. I kid you not. He was like, oh, I just thought that's what their entire economy was based on. I'm like, dude, have you never heard of, like, a Toyota? Like, you never heard of, like, one of those cars, man? Like, trucks? Have you never heard of, like... Man, back in, like, the 70s and 80s, everything was made in Japan. Then it eventually ended up being made in China. But it's like, dude, you really think an entire economy is based off of that alone? By the way, dude was a political science major. Just want to throw that out there. It ain't freedom if you're not high. True. Like, I'm... Yeah, this, this guy was... This guy was a thing. Thanks to your shop, the public's understanding of alchemical potions has increased quite a bit. Perhaps, one day, they'll even be able to make simple potions themselves. Ah, we don't want that. Hmm. Without the proper training, though, those potions could be dangerous to use. Oh, yeah. That's You're the right. point. With Lisa there to mentor you, Traveler, we could rest assured that nothing would go wrong during the potion-making process. However, when it comes to the general public, we have to think of a way to ensure that any resulting potions would be safe to use. You never thought about classes? Like, come on, it's not that hard. I just checked, yep, it was Windbloom 13 months ago. Was it really? Dang. So, Mr. Albedo is planning to establish a set of criteria to evaluate various levels of potion-making ability. People will have to pass the exam that corresponds to their level of proficiency before being allowed to brew their own potions. So, how can you make basic potions if you have to pass the exam first to be able to make basic potions? Or is, like, making basic potions just like, yo, can you mix a cocktail? That's basically alchemy. Let me guess. You would like us to also take part in this exam? Uh, yeah, it, it, exactly. It's time for your various, like, end-of-year exams. Yes. Although, it would probably be more accurate to say that we would like you to help us finalize the contents of the exam. All of the answers are D. In order to ensure a proper level of difficulty, we need to first collect the relevant data. That's where our mock exam comes in. If you could take it, Traveler, your results would serve as a very important reference for us. What if I just fail all of it? I actually had a teacher in high school who his final exam, 90% of the questions, it was like a 100 question quit, uh, like test, 90 of them, quite literally, the answer was D. Probably using the alchemy table of Timaeus, dang. You will, of course, be compensated for your efforts. You better. <laughs> what a great idea. I must admit, I'm very interested. Oh, Wonderful. Then, let me explain a little bit about how the exam works. The exam has four levels. Beginner, intermediate, advanced, and expert. Oh, no. I feel like this is like taking like language exams all over again. To pass, all you need to do is brew a potion within the time limit that satisfies the main objective. Time limit? Satisfying additional objectives will earn you extra rewards. Okay, all of this is starting to sound pretty official. Paimon's nervous all of a sudden. Just do what you normally do and you should be fine. If you don't pass the first time around, you can always retake the exam. Uh, so, no need to put too much pressure on yourselves. Nah, man, if you don't pass the first time around, you fail and you have to retake a giant class until you eventually get the pass. I think there was some sort of an exam that was like that, where if I didn't pass, like, the first time, I would have to, like, retake an entire thing, and I wasn't going to be able to try to retake the exam for, like, almost a year. I think it was my Praxis exam to get my teaching license. I think that was what it was. I think it was the Praxis exam. Time limit is just finish the exam within a certain number of cycles, not an actual timer. What? Oh, retakes are allowed! Whew, that's a relief. Yep. Just let me know when you're ready. What? Alchemy exams are tests intended to assess some crap that goes on. Okay, additionally, potions produced during the exams will not be saved. Oh, okay. Will instead be refunded the agree- Okay, 
Um, each stage comes with the do the thing and complete the thing to increase the test rating. Test. Or, or, what if we just like C? Talk a potion of intermediate or higher grade with efficacies include constitution. Haven't we already done this? This is intermediate in potion level plus five. Potion displays at least one characteristics. Use no more than three types of ingredients. Oh, that's gonna suck, isn't it? So, yeah, whatever. Dr. Po can we see all the other stuff? Okay, I was about to say, because if I couldn't, that'd be really important. So we need constitution. Constitution, one characteristic, only three things. Cool, what's my constitution? Uh-oh. Well, it's certainly intermediate, that's for sure. Watch me end up going, like, too far and Sucrose being like, Sorry, your potion is just too strong now. We got all this. We only need at least one characteristic. We got that. Um, it's advanced. Is that... You can talk to a potion of intermediate or higher grade. Okay. Okay, easy. Oh. I mean, sublime mastery, like, oh, it's an, oh, it's an intermediate level reaches at least plus five. Well, I got advanced, so I was already way above that. Never mind. Missing a third degree. I didn't need to use no more than three types of ingredients. This, because it was advanced, it went above intermediate level five. So I actually did get all of this. Wait, or did I not? Hold up. What, there weren't stars there. I don't know if this did well. Whatever. Your movements are quite practiced. Are and they? your potion meets the requirements as well. Congratulations on passing the beginner exam. Hmm, that was a piece of cake. Nothing. Wow. I really thought it would be more difficult for someone so new to potion making. Yeah, but listen. I'm me. Alright. I believe I've collected all the necessary feedback. Looks like we'll have to make some adjustments to the level of difficulty for the actual exam. Oh no. Because we're the test subjects, these exams are all going to be insanely hard and everyone else who's just a Muppet is going to fail. I'm going to head back to the lab now. See you later, Traveler and Paimon. Bye. Thanks, I got, oh my god, a metric crap ton of everything. Sublime Mastery. Is this like the highest rank? I don't know. Knights of Favoni approved profession to, to, to do the thing. Okay. Well, we just got a crap ton of money, so let's go spend it all. That's how that's how things work, yes? Purchase supplies. Freda bought new, brought new supplies. Oh, I thought you said bought new supplies. I was like, what money? Oh my god. Um Yeah. Well, uh, less people uh, to make rather, let's say, experimental perf Yeah, in, in performance enhancing. Oh, yeah. Yo, man, in Mondstadt, we have the little blue potion, if you know what I mean. A ribbon. I can just waste my money on this. Ah, oh, yes. I wasn't done. Uh... What is this? 
Sale price of all potions increase. Oh, it's exam stuff. Base potion sales volume increased to four volume. I don't know what this means. Like they just buy four of the same thing or. Maybe we just save our money for now. We're, we're doing fine, right? Um, have we done anything for the day yet? Or Okay, so we have Dexterity, Wisdom, Endurance. Bro, what? And then Wisdom, Technique. Focus, probably. The potion sales just increase your sales number in stocks. Okay. Stonks. So we have Dexterity, Wisdom, Endurance. And then Wisdom, Technique, and I'm guessing Focus is what we want. So let's just make Wisdom, Technique, Focus. This is definitely a smart idea, Shush. I, uh, very smart idea. Totally won't be able to do anything with that. So we're gonna get rid of that. Any other wisdom? No, no. That's that. We we have no wisdom. Um. What is technique and focus? Okay, it's just those. To bring everything back. Crap! I feel like if I put too many shrooms, we're gonna have a problem. We only have one of those. So technique focus, it's wisdom. Wait, didn't we need something else? Or no, this is just uh Demand exceeded supplies complaints. Oh, demand exceeded supplies complaints. Okay. Huh. Yeah, it's endurance instead of technique. Yeah, that's what I thought. I mean, this is just balance, right? Like, we could just put this here. It's no big deal, yeah? Endurance focus. Now it's strength and wisdom as opposed to just wisdom. So, it might be a little better to have that, right? Your brain is too dead for this event. Oh, don't worry. You've... If, if you came in late, especially, yeah, you've missed a, a great deal of many things. Can we do this out? Change anything? It is still endur- Oh, it's endurance focus. No, hold up. We need technique and focus. Crap. So we still need technique. And I think we only have one technique. And it's this disaster. Unique focus wisdom. Yeah. 
and it, it goes back to that. Mm, that's so annoying. Um, we have to find something that we can... Well, we'll get it. I've got an idea. I think maybe this. There we go. Technique, focus, intermediate, strength, and wisdom. Technique, focus. There we go. One on GitHub. What? Have you heard about random deck uh, builder? Yeah. I, it's very annoying, again, the fact that... Because I, I, I had this idea from the beginning. It really annoys me that I've had this idea from the beginning. Literally had built the stuff. But I just couldn't do, have the time for learning JavaScript. Or I would have had this thing done the first update. It really upsets me that that happened. Because I literally had the stuff. I was posting the code and stuff even in Discord like over a year ago. That very much annoys me. Oh yeah, this should be fine. Uh, a gorgeous gem bottle. Here, we'll put... Oh, that doesn't really look good. Eh. Yeah, for Quill, for, um... I mean, it doesn't really match the colors, I'm going to be real with you. The Quill for writing. There we go. And we can put it into... Well, that actually looks quite nice. Nice. And we've just unlocked special mint. What do you mean special mint? Special violet grass. Mist flowers. Some money. Alchemy cauldron. Stackable slots is increased. Nice. It's up to me to decide who I want to be and to cut my own path. This might help no you complete your work more easily. What, you, what is this? Place any alchemical shop ingredient within to al analyze their special characteristics and increase the corresponding ingredient level. Okay. I'll deal with that in a minute. Um, we need to upgrade this. Still hasn't hit very high there. I'm gonna upgrade you. Kind of sad I can't go back and like mess with their levels. Or not their levels, their um. Their bottle decorations and add in the extra stuff. Um. Oh my god, could this be any slower though? Okay. Um, we have really got to think about what we're doing for... Oh, what? Uh, directly... Um, you can directly consume ingredients to obtain XP towards... Okay. But I get to uh, consume ingredients? I don't know, but hold on. First of all, harvest time. Second of all, what do we need to actually be doing here? Um, what needs to be going in there? We have 22 of you. We need to think about the new stuff here. What are you? You're a constitution. Um. Okay, well that would- Okay, this is teapot levels of- Okay. Well, I didn't see that coming. Um, how much Sumeru Rose? I have not used a lot of you at all. You're only 10. I don't want to do that with you. You're very important, though. You're like my corner piece. Uh, what about you? You I only have six of you. I have 29 of you. Have I used you for anything? Okay. Alamire consumes ingredients, and it requires a lot, especially for higher tiered flowers. Um... Needs enhance all button. Uh, 
I mean, you can still make your own. Yeah, but it'll take me too bloody long. That's a problem. I don't have the time for it. This is what happens when you work a full-time job. And, like, it, it takes a while to do things. Um... Chief. Yeah, I feel like this isn't worth it. Crap, what were we gonna put on here? I kind of forgot. <laughs> You're not using current state. What's wrong with you? Um, okay, what do we need? What sold really well? Let's look at that. So, Dexterity and Wisdom plus one potion did well. Wisdom and Charisma did well. The Constitution and Dexterity potion did not do that well. For whatever reason. So, now we're going to put back... Where's the other thing? We're going to put that in there. And that'll make it better. I don't know why Strength and Dexterity did so bloody well. Especially since this thing's only a two-star. Okay, we should be good. Stonks! Okay, what do we got? Yeah, yeah, look at that. That's the good stuff right there. Mm. It's more for late-game leveling, uh, just to hit advanced or expert-grade potions. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, now we're into the good stuff right there. Look at that. Give me the give me the mun muns here. That's unfortunate. But give me the mun muns. You only have eight K. This is increasing production, which we sorely need. This is potion slots, which we sorely need. So I'm going to put in the potion slots there. That we need more than anything. Okay. What do we need market news? We've got focus. Yeah, so dexterity, focus, endurance, wisdom, technique, focus. Um... Dexterity, focus, and endurance is probably the last thing we want here. Yo, wait, grab the weed. Dexterity, focus, endurance. So here's a fun question for people. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's not. Oh, what's everybody been doing in Genshin of late? What have we been up to here? I think this kind of has to go here, right? Like, how else are we going to deal with that corner? Um, What's everybody been doing in their various farmings for things or TCGs or whatever it is? So what do we need? We need a dexterity, focus, and endurance. So we have endurance relaxing. We need where, where's the focus? We need more of you. focus there. Golden Troop Jail just constantly farming, dear lord. But you're relaxing. Um, so we've got a lot. How many dexterities do we have in here? Like, just between the two of you. Uh, oh, and 
now it's just dexterity. Um, I mean, I'm fine with just dexterity, but we kind of need more. God, those pieces are so good. It's intermediate. It's almost, almost enough. Now it's advanced endurance and focus. There we go. Advanced endurance, focus, dexterity potion. Struggling through chasm quest? Chasm quest, really? That is an interesting one. Man, this is just straight up dex potion. This is insane. Um, It's a little hyper specific, though. But it is an advanced one, so I'll take it. And we can put it on a... It's not very dexterous of it, is it? God, this one just looks so pretty. Chunky cat. Put it on thin bottle. Wow, I'd barely. We didn't get crap from that though. Advanced drugs indeed. And now we can throw the advanced drugs in there. There we go. Look at that. Just farming and catching up your low-level characters 80, 90, since you're skipping a new Kazuo banner, since you already have them. NC6, the four stars. Uh, yeah, I just got into TCG, but soon to be returning to leveling characters once the new banners drops. Yeah, this is... I feel bad for the people who just got into the TCG this update because, my God, it, it is just jet deck. Like, it is, it, you, you're you constantly experiencing jet decks. A weirdo putting any shape bottle gives level up potion except the one that looks like a typical cologne bottle. Well, I mean, you don't want to be smelling like dexterity now, do you? Stonks. Look at that. That one's really doing it. The strength and wisdom is... Advanced dexterity is doing... Well, it didn't... I mean, it's giving us a lot of money, though, so... You know, who cares? Lots of operating costs, though. We, we've got a quite a... we got a, quite a hefty amount of overhead. Oh, Mom thanks for the... says you have to use scissors to cut clothes. Leave those rigid rules behind. I much prefer using my own cutting tools. He's been leading the cavalry company on a long-distance training march. Yes, it's a march because you don't have any horses. Probably because you guys have a terrible economy and had to eat the horses. Ordered some delivery for the company. Oh, it's not delivery. It's DiGiorno's. Um, oh my god, Kaya, you wrote me a novel. I don't care, man. Sorry. Sorry, Kaya. Why are these two together? Aren't you gonna Traveler? sneeze? Paima? Huh. Looks like you're running a business. How is he not like sneezing all over the place? Like what? Hype magic is so common now. What is hype magic? Why do people come up with really stupid names for things? Like I'm sorry. Genshin's community comes up with the dumbest names for stuff. I I'm sorry. I, I hate to say it, but man, like, I despise how people come up with really, really dumb things. Like, hype magic. What does that mean? Like, uh, the dex and strength probably have a lot of overlap. Yeah, that's probably why. Oh, hey, Diona. Antonia Diona. Clark. What brings you to the shop? Again. How are your allergies not happening? I could smell what you were brewing from all the way oh. across Cider Lake. Bards have an extremely keen sense of smell, you know. She is not having it. Again with the nonsense. Don't listen to him. We were actually in the middle of looking for some cocktail ingredients. Again, also I'd just like to point out, Genshin loving to just throw random characters together for whatever reason. Diona and Venti? 
Draft, get your daughter away from this drunkard. What are you doing? Like, why do we just let her out wherever she wants? Margaret is getting ready to run a new promotion at the Cutsdale, so... She asked me to come up with some new drink ideas. Oh, no. Don't underestimate Venti's thirst for alcohol over any inconveniences. We are brewing potions. There's no alcohol in there. A cat that hates drunkards and a drunkard that hates cats. It, it's um, definitely not a match made in heaven, that's for sure. No one makes more sense than Beto Eula. Yeah, at least they live in the same town. The bard over here is performing at the event. When he saw me getting ready to leave, he insisted on tagging along to help. <laughs> well, what better way to be the first to try your new concoction than by helping you collect ingredients? Well, that explains your enthusiasm, then. You're only that generous when alcohol is involved. Yep. Anyway, I was having some trouble coming up with new ideas for ingredients to use. I've already experimented with just about every ingredient you can find around Mondstadt. Even the weirdest ones. Diona, have you ever experienced with, like, pigeon crap? Just like pigeon turds. Go hang around Timmy. Just throw some turds in there. Like, come on now. It might, even if you magically make it taste good, people are gonna vomit from it. The bar saw me struggling and told me he had an idea. So, we split up for a while. I didn't get my hopes up. But, sure enough, he came back a little while later with a rare ingredient I'd never used before. Ooh, what is it? Some sort of secret? Come on, bring it out so we can see. <laughs> it's a bird feather I found on a ruin in Dragonspine. Uh, why were you up there? Experiment with human flesh, Tiona. Oh, great. Once again, you know, we've talked about the various allegations I faced early on when it was, you know, me being accused of being a wizard. One of the other ones is me being accused of being a cannibal. So uh, thank you. There's a whole entire story along with how at one point I was accused of being a cannibal and had to like explain to the admin of a school I worked at that I was not a cannibal. That's a fun one. It was once buried in the snow and is still cold to the touch even now. I'm sure it could be used to produce a drink with an entirely new sort of mouthfeel. Ew. Whoa. Well, if anyone can find something like that, Paimon supposes it'd be you. Unfortunately, this ingredient is not easy to find. We'll probably use up the measly amount we discovered with just the recipe testing alone. Yeah, that's why Venti's here for Don't it. Don't worry about the ingredients, Diona. I'll figure something else out. You should head back so you can get a head start on working that mixology magic of yours. I even wanted to know how a misunderstanding that came to be. Um, once we get through the dialogue, I'll explain that story. It's a fun story. It really is. That's a, again, there's three things I am constantly accused of being. Wizard is one of them. Cannibal is the other. And this is like potions. Now we got to unlock the third. Uh-huh, because the sooner I get started, the sooner you get to take advantage of the fruits of my labor. <laughs> Isn't that right? How do you talk without your mouth moving, Diona? You're an expert ventriloquist. Uh, well, just think of it as a way to pay me in advance for all my hard work. <laughs> I'm not a wizard. That still doesn't solve our problem, though. Traveler, Paimon, do you have any ideas for a new drink? Um, you know that sludge from, um, the chasm? Have you tried using that? Huh? Infuse drinks with different effects? But doesn't that bring us back to the ingredient problem all over again? Is there any proof you're not a wizard? Now you're asking me to prove a negative. I haven't burned all of my oh, students to ashes yet. Saying? That's proof. If you've seen some of my students, the fact that they haven't spontaneously combusted is proof enough that I am not a wizard. Ahem. You're looking at one of the most popular duos on the Mondstadt alchemy scene right now. Our potions are one of the hottest commodities in Tibet. What is this? What are you reaching for? P put your hand down. What are you doing? Where are you looking? I don't like this. Ugh. 
But what do potions have to do with drinks? You can add them as an ingredient, of course. Potions can add all sorts of different effects. For example, with a little alchemy on your side, you could even make a drink that can heal a broken heart. Paimon, you pulled that out your rear. We haven't been making those potions. Just because we've been putting them in heart-shaped bottles doesn't mean they do that. Do you want a potion that can help you focus on smelling good? We can do that. Wow. I never knew potions could do something like that. Yeah. Hmm, I see. How about a potion that makes people never want to drink alcohol again? Could you make something like that? We're back to the pigeon crap and chasm goo. Oh, that's right. Even if we could make one that discourages people from drinking, it would only last for a little bit before wearing off. Ugh, what a shame. And here I thought I'd finally be able to dismantle the entire Mondstadt wine industry in one fell swoop. You're better off trying to go back to convincing Clee to just literally blow it up. It's okay. We'll try to see if we can find some other ways to help. Actually, I've always been curious, Diona. Is there a particular reason you don't like alcohol? Venti, just read her story page. Obviously, you don't read the lore, Venti, Mr. I know all of the lore and all of the songs. It's right on her story page as to why. Clearly, someone didn't do any reading. Meaning there's an astronomically unlikely chance that they could. Yes. Klee would do it for free. Apparently, Klee and her have talked about doing it, and Klee was like, nope, can't do that. We'll get in trouble. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Ever been around a drunk person before? Yeah. Let me tell you, it's not a pleasant experience. Look, there's different types of drunk people, Diona. Sometimes you've got the happy drunks. drunks. They're all right until they vomit in a toilet. Sometimes you've got the angry drunks. You don't want to be around those ones. Get those ones out of your life. Then you've got the drunks that are like, I love you, man. And it's like, they're the weird ones until they go vomit in a toilet. So, you know. Yeah. Ah, so your gripe isn't really with alcohol itself, but the fact that it makes people drunk. Hmm. This may sound a little weird, but I wonder if it's possible to use this mysterious alchemy craft of yours to make a drink that prevents people from getting intoxicated. Speaking to the drunkard incarnate, yeah, exactly, Venti being here. So huh? you mean a potion that can keep someone sober and awake? Huh, sounds like something we could do. What do you say, Traveler? Perfect! <laughs> I can this girl is good of her R rolling. The more alcohol those drunkards consume, the more sober they'll become. I, mean, I wish I could roll R's like that. They'll finally have to say bye bye to their days of drunken depravity. I just realized Diona's hands are like little paws. It's decided then. Please make me a potion that can keep people sober. Is that like gloves or is that just like her actual hands? You know, the... I can't do that. I have no idea how somebody rolls ours like that. I gotta say, I'm starting to get really curious about what that drink's going to taste like. Water. Nivellet, we need you real quick. I need you to be here so that you can um just give us some pure water. Oh no. Oh god, speaking of water, uh, are in poor health. They hope to find a way to extend their lifespans. You're old, man. You're holding down the entire social security system. You know, this is like Japan's system all over again. Sorry. Sometimes it's, sometimes you just gotta, gotta take the bullet. A number of injured uh, by monster attacks will stop going outside. It's on the rise. And Barbara is looking to replenish the medicine stocks. So, constitution in both? Healing? She should make alcohol-free drinks and make it if sound really like it's like not. If you standing around like this, I mean, then why don't you just then their life stand this ain't a... I'll design some wonderful <laughs> so, Yeah, exactly. You. We're back to the star rail. Or, don't worry, I'm not even... Again, I once thought that I could pronounce things in, in Chinese semi-well. So, no. No, I can't. Anything we need of wisdom efficacy or that that displays steadying. Healing endurance. Yeah, shut up. Wisdom technique. Wisdom healing. Well, I feel like steadying is, is better here, so. 
Yeah, take that one. Wow. I can't believe I'm holding the key to shaking up Mondstadt's entire wine industry in my own two hands! Wowza! This is why in the Discord you say cool and all of a sudden... Well, no, wowza. It's usually meowza. You're, you're, you're changing it up on us, Diona. And so I guess we'll be Hu Tao's number one enemy next to Baju. Yeah, I guess. You're decent at saying Chinese words. Have you ever heard a native speaker say them right in front of you? You will rethink that thought very quickly. Because I thought I was great and I'm like, ain't even gonna try. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm gonna head back and start developing my new drinks right away. You think so? <laughs> Yeah, it is... it is... concerning. Wait! Don't leave without me! I thought you were gonna let me be the taste tester! Of course! <laughs> Operation Eliminate Drunkards has just begun, and you, my friend, are my first test subject! <laughs> and just like that, another problem solved. Jesus Looks like you've Christ. done it again, Traveler and Paimon. Alcohol that doesn't make you drunk. It's mocktails. Ooh, if I'm able to develop something like that, I guess there really is a type of alcohol that I can get behind. Diona, it's just mocktails. We, we, we've had this before. Like, uh, also, I guess this would be very good for your store, your, your cafe or whatever, because then people are just going to keep trying to buy stuff. To, it, whatever. Assuming people drink to get drunk. I don't know about you. I've never been a person who drinks to get drunk. Like, I who are you? Like, I just drink to... Drink. Well, mostly my drinks are mostly just for, like, alchemy, improving various things. Um, we can make that move faster. We could increase... Well, no, we can't. We could not do this one and make it so that we sell more, maybe... How much does... Yeah, I think we do that. So we sell more. I mean, I could theoretically go six bottles. Or we can get the ingredients production up a lot more. I mean, maybe we can do the ingredients production later and then just max the sales here. Uh, Operation Eliminate Drug first test subject. We are testing new drinks or planning an assassination. Man, Senora better come back. Reminds you of when you had a mocktail um, with, uh, was it tahini in it? You didn't know what it was until you got it. I've never really messed with mocktails. I've always been just regular cocktails, but... No... Wow, this is not as fast as you make it seem like it is. Um, okay, we don't have anything new yet. We do need to rethink what we're going to make, though. Oh, yeah, so Cannibal Story. So Cannibal Story is a fascinating one. Um, so what do we need here? We're going to want constitution and healing in both for sure. Um, and then we'll figure it out as we go. Um, so one day, I was teaching um, constitution. I know for a fact I'm going to want healing. Maybe endurance. Maybe steadying. Maybe like strength or something. Well, why would I want steadying? Right? We can only have two of them. So, do this. Um, so, yeah. One of the classes I was teaching, Jonathan Swift's A Modest Proposal. Now, if you know about A Modest Proposal, then you know that the main thing the dude is talking about, Jonathan Swift is talking about satirically, because it's satire, is... Um, Where's the healing stuff? Oh, wow. We only have one healing. Is um the eating of Ireland's babies. He's like, yeah, eat babies. That's basically the, the gist of his, his 
proposal there, eat babies. Um, and his whole entire thing is about how you can eat babies. Um, so that's cool. Uh, and we, this was back during, um, online stuff. So online, we were doing online stuff and I, I just kind of was like, okay, I told them it was satire, but I didn't give them any context. I just told them, okay, go and do your thing. So they're reading, they're doing their stuff. And then I get this message from this girl who's like, wait, is he talking about eating babies? Cause again, I didn't tell them that's what it technically was about. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, he is. And it's like, you know, and she's like, oh, my God, that's disgusting. Oh, my God, blah, 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 blah. I'm just like, I mean, have you tried it? Like, you know, don't try it and knock it until you try it, you know. Might be, might be a thing to, to consider then. Um, oh, we need constitution and strength. Uh, and she was just like, oh, my God, no, that's gross. Oh, my God, wah, 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 and all of that jazz. Um, hmm? I'm kind of messing this up here. Oh, that's strength. I need constitution. Uh, and yeah, so she was naturally, like, flipping out over all of that. And eventually, it led to the point where she was like, Oh my god, he's trying to, like... She, she I guess, flipped out and, like, told the admin or something that I was uh, trying to, I don't know, like, convert her to some sort of cannibal cult. Or something. Um, that's healing and steadying. What did I need? I need healing and endurance. What's my other endurance ones? You. Okay. Um, what other endurance ones do I have? Your endurance. Uh, yeah, she's just like, oh my god. He's like trying to convert us to like... Because other kids started getting in there as well. And this was all typing and everything. And he's like, oh my god. Um... I mean, constitution, shouldn't it be constitution and strength? Um, I know I'm screwing up the story because I'm trying to, like, focus on two things at once, and it's it kind of a nightmare. Um, it's constitution and wisdom. What? Where's the strength? I, I need strength here. Um, but eventually, so what happens, and I didn't realize this for, after a while, but she eventually was just not in the class and i was like okay I, I guess she moved or something i don't know she just kind of disappeared um constitution and wisdom my wisdom this is strength how did wisdom come into this um and you know a couple weeks go by and then i get a knock on the door um a wisdom will help against dementia true i get a knock on the door and admin walks in two of them and they walk in carrying like binders and stuff it, like this is something this looks like something out of law and order they, they come in there with, with binders and they sit down there's like so we've heard an, an interesting uh we, we heard that you were um teaching a certain text and did you remember uh, talking to a student about um cannibalism and it's like yeah a modest proposal well this student you know said something about how you were uh, trying to persuade her to eat babies and like did you mention any like famous chefs and of course i did um because i was like oh yeah you know you could saute them and stuff like that and it's like i'm just like who is this kid like we're not going to tell you the person's name like i know exactly who it is and immediately said their name um i just wanted to see if they were going to tell me they weren't but i guessed it right anyways and they're just like um, yeah, um, so I had to sit there and eventually persuade them after they're going through their files, I guess, on me and cannibalism, um, and persuade them that I was not a cannibal. So, yeah, but that story has stuck with me, and I, for whatever reason, am frequently compared to Jeffrey Dahmer for no bloody reason. Um, healing endurance. This is constitution and wisdom. I really wanted, again, constitution and strength, but healing and steadying. Can we get healing and endurance? There we go. We are out of shrooms? Oh. Uh-oh. That bad. This is only intermediate, though. Eh.
Ooh, I actually can't place it there. Ruh -ruh, scoobs. That ain't gonna work. Well, it's constitution and wisdom. Um, we have healing and endurance. What kind of binders? Like, your your black binders, they looked again like something out of Law of Order. We're out of shrooms. We need to grow more shrooms. Yep. Reminds you of when you had a... Mo oh, yeah, I already read that one. Whoops. Um, I know I am not a, I'm not a cannibal. Uh, no, so I had to persuade people that I'm not a cannibal. It was an experience. Cool, we're going to do this. This is scuffed. Um... Chonky cat. Don't worry, the cat will keep you alive. That's level 10 intermediate, at least. Can we enhance it? No. Quick, we need emergency shroom fixing here. Um... I only have nine. What about you? You have 16. Okay, we need shrooms. What about you? You have 10. We need shrooms. What about you? You have 16. We need shrooms. Are you a cannibal? No, I am not a cannibal. God, we we, we 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 can't. This is not how this works. Um, oh God, what do I want to put in here? There's wisdom and charisma. There's just straight dexterity. I don't think we need the straight dexterity anymore, so I think we can just chuck that. And instead, go with the this one. Um, strength and dexterity, strength and wisdom. <sighs> yeah, I guess that's what we're gonna do for now. Let's hope for the best. Oh! Demand exceeds supply. Uh-oh! Yeah, we needed that. Sales are looking pretty good. Ooh. Oop. We, we dropped a lot there. Oh, demand is indeed exceeding supply. That's a problem. The strength and wisdom and wisdom and charisma need to go. What went wrong? Oh my, yep, it is constitution, endurance, healing, and constitution, steadying, healing. Are you... Uh, you'd love to imagine this straight-faced old person flicking through their paper, genuinely trying to look for signs of cannibalism. He wasn't that old, and there's, again, there was this other woman in there with him. There was two of them. Like, if one admin comes in, you're like, okay, admin's coming in, they're doing whatever. When two admin come in, uh-oh, that's when you know there's a problem. A lot of constitution. Yeah, we need a lot of constitution steadying and healing here. Because... Move. So everything with constitution in it. Wow, so just this would have been nice. Um, wait, what stuff needed to go off the list? Intermediate strength and... Strength and wisdom and wisdom charisma needed to go. Chonky constitution... And then more constitution. Check the weed. Weird mix of constitution and charisma incoming. Hey, listen, we're getting some strange things here, okay? Oh, yeah, give me the shrooms. Okay, what are we putting there instead of shrooms now? Yeah, we're going to need these because that's constitution. And we're about to be using a lot of constitution. And then, where's my other shroom? And probably, like, healing or something, right? Or did we say steadying? I don't even remember. Whatever, we're going to put this there.
I hope it's not for an old man. Look, man, he's gonna be feeling real spry. That's not the right thing. Okay, so we need constitu- we have constitution endurance healing, don't we? We made this one, right? No, don't cut the thing. Constitution endurance. And do you have a favorite animo character? Uh, no, because I don't like animo characters. <laughs> like, you, you pick the, the one that I actually don't like. What is this one? Healing and endurance. So this is healing endurance constitution. So we do have a healing endurance constitution. Healing endurance constitution. Now we need healing steadying constitution. Healing, steadying, uh, constitution. I should have known steadying was there. People, want, the grandpa wants to fall over. We have only one healing, don't we? That's really rough. Well, this is constitution wisdom already. Well, we definitely need constitution. Oh, I forgot that's there. That's rough. Um, See, so yeah, we definitely want constitution. Oh, this is strength of steadying. We need steadying. Get rid of that. Do we have any other steadying? We have this for steadying. Uh, healing, steadying, constitution, wisdom. We need to see if we can push that constitution further. Advanced constitution, healing, strengthening. There we go. There we go. Um. Random shroom, go. Healing, steadying, advanced constitution, and there's nothing else. There's no other thing in there that we can put in there. Like, do we have any other, like, wisdom that we can put in there, maybe? Doesn't look like it. Uh, wouldn't matter though, would it? No, probably not. Yeah, put in just a random shroom. There we go. Wait, what? Oh! How did this happen? There we go. Done. Um, if you had to guess, your favorite Hydro is Farina, and your favorite Geo is Chiori. Wow, what a what an accurate guess. I don't know, Farina's gotta, like, duke it out with Mona. Like, I just find Farina to be a very relatable character. Chiori is just Sass Queen. I like Chiori. I like her independence. I haven't done her story quest yet, though. Maybe that's something I can stream at one point. Like, maybe that's another stream idea. Chiori story quest, if people are interested in that. I mean, how do people feel? Like, there, there aren't a lot of people here. Usually, I get, like, 30 to 50 people. I get the feeling there's probably like half of that here at most right now. Like, how do you guys feel about um, here, heart thing, so that it's good for your heart so grandpa doesn't die. Um, how do you guys feel about like these streams that have a mix of doing other stuff and TCG? Well, a little bit of TCG. Usually the other stuff kind of gets in the way. Oh, we just got a massive peach. Dexterity, Wisdom, Charisma, mm -hmm. Coins. It's very hard to guess. Yeah, I know. I wonder what, wonder what gives it away, huh? Okay. Man, this little strength potion has been has been really really doing its best. Man, an enhance all would be lovely. 
I think somebody had mentioned that earlier. Hoyo really, uh, I know, small indie company, but just saying. Are you like diversity? I mean, that's what I had originally wick when I started streaming many, many years ago with like Twitch streaming and stuff. I tried to be like variety, but then no one arrived. Um, so, you know, there was that. Okay, what stuff did the worst here? No. What stuff did the worst? Other than that, it's the strength and dexterity potion. Beginner strength and dex. Strength and dex can now be replaced with... Uh oh, we can only have two... Wait, why can't I ha- oh. Oh, 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 because it's just a constitu- Ooh. Uh-oh. <sighs> constitution and strength, then? I mean, they really want their constitution, so. You told us about cannibalism accusation, which would not happen during normal TCG stream. This is probably true. We likely would not have gotten that story during a normal TCG stream. No, th see, this is the Twitch stream level of stuff because things get unhinged. I'm gonna waste my money on this because I make very smart financial decisions. Um, very smart financial decisions. Yeah, the, 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 just the Twitch stream is where you get the actual just straight unhinged things with like Paimon and a Panini press. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh, wow. That went far. Advanced constitution, just straight constitution just went nuts. They loved just straight constitution. Great job, <sighs> Jeans Astro. Who says you have to use scissors to cut clothes? Leave those rigid rules behind. I much prefer using my own cutting tools. Numbers go up equals happy. True. How has the potion making been going lately? What's my favorite TCG street uh, stream? What team at the moment? I need to make a new taxation deck. I really liked my old taxation deck with Senora, Cube, and Mirror Maiden. Like, I thought that deck was very unique. I thought it was really fun. Um, I, I would like to make another one, not ne with, with different characters, but same general archetype, especially now that we also have um, Meripede as well to go along with it. Like, I just really liked that style of deck. Um, in terms of just, like, favorite, just, like, character card combinations, I, I don't know. I'm not, like, I like Senora character card. That's probably one of my favorite character cards is Senora. Um, I like Mona because she's Mona, but she is used a lot, like, a, an absurd amount. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other character cards that I really just really like i like baju i guess I, I think he's pretty cool um but other than that i don't know i'm not a huge fan of a lot of the character cards to be honest probably because i just use so many of them or i i feel like i don't even use a huge amount i feel like i use the same ones over and over and over again because the ones that i want to be creative with they just don't hold up against any meta deck that ever shows up um and it's not often that I run into the meta decks of recent. At least that's nice. Um, but like, I, I can't rem I can't remember the last time I had somebody play NEC when I was testing something out. That was weird. It's like I haven't. What was this two updates ago? Um, two or three updates ago, rather. Uh, so that was weird. Um, but yeah, I don't really like. I haven't had much of running into them, which is nice because I just. But it's been jet decks. It it's been jet decks is pretty much it. Jet and Gilded. Mostly Jet. So, it's just like... You kind of get bored with it. I don't like it. I don't like when there are broken cards that are broken to the extent that they dominate how the entire deck is built. Like, because we can think back of like, oh, I haven't lost yet, right? That was a broken card. For sure. 
It was a broken card, but it wasn't to the point that it, like, you didn't build your entire deck around I haven't lost yet before the nerf. It was just like, okay, I have I haven't lost yet, and if I get it, it's a good comeback card, which is why I actually didn't like that they nerfed it, because I thought it was a very good comeback card, um, and you really had to know how to play around it. It, it, it was quite nice. Um, but then, you know, they tried pushing everything to be aggro. Um, that didn't work out too well. I mean, well, actually, yeah, it kind of did. Uh, but now we're into this mess. Um, so, but like, again, you didn't build your entire deck around I Haven't Lost Yet, despite it being broken. Or the same thing with, like, Bestest Travel Companion. For the longest time, that card was in every single deck because it was just so high value. Um, but you wouldn't build an entire deck around it. Jet and gilded you build entire decks around you don't see people running gilded without um yelling nanatsuki they are together always pretty much it's very rare you'll ever see them not for some reason um just because and the oh well we nerfed gilded so now it costs three of the same dice we, we had this debate in discord a while back that, that's pointless completely useless doesn't matter absolutely useless because unless you were just really unlucky and had to play it in the beginning for dice rigging, you played it with Yai Nanatsuki for either one cost or for free. Pointless. Then you throw Liar Song into the mix. I I've complained about this in Discord a lot about how cards like Jet and Gilded even got out of beta. I'm convinced the people who are in Genshin's beta who play the TCG don't actually play the TCG in the live game. Because when the live version came out for Gilded, everyone, myself included, and I didn't even... I had, like, an hour to get the cards before bed because I had work the next day. Everyone figured out Gilded is busted within 10 minutes of it being out. We're like, wait. Gilded plus Liar Song. This is broken. Gilded plus Liar Song plus Ajdaha. What? Like, it, it's stupid. It's stupid how busted it is. And so every deck was built around that. Then you get Jet and Mimir and that one card. What is it? The, the site of whatever it is that it lets you. I don't I can't remember the thing. The, the, the st st stupid little flying thing from the desert that wants to be an R&R but isn't. Um, that thing that removes um, summons. Now every deck is built around these things. Like, Mimir, when Mimir first came out, I was like, haha, Mimir's funny, you can do funny, mean things, it's kind of random. Mimir's meta. Mimir is that strong. The, the Sayata Flowers, yes, that thing. There you go, you guys knew what I was talking about. That, like, M these decks are meta now. They're that strong, this card is. This, uh, Mimir was a meme. We literally, when it first came out, called it Melu Meme. It was a meme. It's now meta. Like, I don't mind silly things becoming strong, like Mimir, but your entire deck is built, built around Jet. And it's not just your deck, it's your opponent's deck. And everyone's deck is built around Jet now. Like, I remember when they buffed Chef Mao and a lot of food decks were coming out. I wanted to do a Dunyazard Super Friends deck which is basically just Dunyazard and a bunch of companion supports. And I was like, mm, kind of works, but eh, a little inconsistent. It's meta now, to the point that it's like not even unique. It's just ubiquitous. Every deck is running this. Doesn't matter your character card combinations. You can run the most absurd crap imaginable, but if you get that burst down with two or three jets, your opponent might as well just concede unless they're running some insanely well set up stall that they can sit there and basically survive an OTK. This sets up for every single deck in the game can become OTK. If it lands that, that jet combo, congrats, you now are an OTK deck. I, like, I, who thought this was a good idea for the meta? Or just for the TCG in general, because it makes everything the same. You know what your cards are in your opponent's deck nine times out of ten, or at least you know the vast majority of them. Because the second you start seeing Mimir go down, and a lot of cheap support cards go down, you're like, ah, oh, crap, they're running Jet. You see the, the Sayuta Flower thing come out, or Sunyata Flower, rather. Why do I say Sayuta? What? Sunyata Flower come out, and you're like, it's Jet. 
you see any of these cards come down, you're like, well, it's Jet. If you see Tri Element, you're like, ah, probably running Gilded. Like, it's baffling how this got out of beta. How nobody was like, yo, this is too strong. It's going to be everywhere. It's ubiquitous meta. It's insane. Um, yeah, exactly. Jet deck. It's a deck that's built around Jet card. That's all. Yeah, that's it. You can put... You could build it with triple hydro in there if you wanted to. Like, and it could still probably work. Jet is a support character that gives two to three Omni dice after the burst when five or six support cards have been... Or yes. Then using... The Why did we get a definition of Jet? Did, did somebody ask what Jet was? Oh, what is Jet deck? Yes, somebody did. Sorry, I was like, what? why are we suddenly giving the definition? <laughs> like, what? Um, Mimir technically makes your deck bigger. It does make your deck bigger, but it makes your deck bigger without necessarily drawing cards. That's the thing. You're not drawing cards. You're just spawning them out of the ether. Now, if they made random companion cards, random support cards and food cards, and then put them in your deck... No one would run Mimir, because you'd have to draw the things. Now this just puts them straight in your hand, so at bare minimum, you can use them for tuning. I just did that with the Tubby thing. We saw that happen with Mimir and Tubby. I, I, I got a Tubby, didn't really have the, the stuff for Tubby, tuned them. Free card, tuning. There you go. Also can work well with um, Sumeru City. You don't use Jet, eh, eh, to be honest. Never used it since it came out. Congrats. I, I really, a lot of my decks, I haven't used it, but of recent, I've been doing it because I feel like I need to make a freaking video on it because people are going to be like, yo, where's Jet deck? Like, so, as soon as you saw a Jet in leaks, you knew she was going to be busted. I don't even pay attention to leaks, and I typically don't recommend people to um, because things do change. Um, but, again, beta testers, what are you doing? Why did you think this was going to work? I, 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 Hoyo, what are you, what, what's the game plan, Hoyo? Because every time you make a change to this TCG, I feel like it's, maybe we move two steps forward, but most of the time we just fall right back down the stairs. It ain't even a, two steps forward, one step back, it's two steps, ah, oh, crap, somebody stepped on a banana peel and we're back down at ground floor. Like, what are we doing? You get rid of one busted thing to add in another busted thing? Do we know how balancing works? Have you done a video on Jet Deck? No, I haven't. That's what my... It, I don't know how, when you um, got here, if you got here earlier. I just did a couple of TCG matches in between the days. Sucrose is like, why is he... Why, why are they just standing here staring at me? They're not talking. Um, <laughs> Sucrose is going to lose it. Um... But no, I just did a match just a, a little while ago with a jet deck. We never got... No, we got one part of the jet combo off because we just pulled the most ridiculous... We had the worst card draws ever. But we still won because character... Nahida's just stupidly broken. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's baffling. There's this entire... The, the TCG's baffling to me with how they're making stuff. But no, I'm going to... Probably the next video that I make is going to be of jet deck. It has to be. Just want to learn more. Uh, uh, y yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, I will make a jet deck eventually. It's just, yeah, that's it's the next thing. It's just I, I hate doing it. We can only wonder what's next. They could make something that's more broken. Well, what's gonna happen? Hoyo has done this. If you paid attention, they do this all the time. They'll nerf something, and then release a competitor to it. It's like, oh, we nerfed this one thing. And now we're releasing something that can basically do what that one thing used to do, but kind of different. So that there's now options, as they say. It's like Gilded. What's the competitor to Gilded? Jet. Except they didn't think, yeah, what if we just run both? Huh. Crap. Whoops. Must have just slipped the intern who came up with that one's mind. You feel like the Prince Cup ends up being the balance testing? Nobody pays attention to the freaking Prince Cup. I'm going to be real with you. All of these tournaments, no one cares. There's not even a competitive ladder in the TCG, Hoyo. Do you think people really care about the same, I don't know, 16 people showing up watching them play cards? No. No, they don't. They really, really don't. My dude, like, 
when you, I can't, guys, name somebody who just streams regular Genshin or makes videos of regular Genshin who actually also likes the TCG. Somebody who's not specifically TCG based who actually likes the TCG and streams or plays Genshin. I can't. I can name like one VTuber who does. That's it. One person. This, to the TCG, doesn't appeal currently to the vast majority of people in the game. So what are they doing? Like, I'm not saying scrap it or anything dumb like that, but maybe we should rethink it a little bit. Maybe we should add some features here that could make it more appealing. And it's not like I haven't told them. Holy crap, have I told the devs all of this? I've had two-way communication with the TCG devs before. And they're just like, well, right now we can't implement that. Okay. Or we'll think about it. Think about balancing first, I guess. Jet is going to get nerfed eventually. Yeah, just how Oceanid was going to get nerfed eventually. That only took a year. So, um, yeah, that's to answer my question on... What was the question originally? Like, what's my favorite TCG deck or something right now? Something like that? Yeah, figure that out. <laughs> Not Jet. I'm just doing it because I have to. Whenever a tournament shows up, the next patch or two is usually when the nerf comes. Except Ito took a while. I... It, it's just stupid. It really is just stupid. They don't know what they're, they're doing. Anyways, let's continue with this. Close, you're back. <laughs> yeah, we've been standing there for a whole day while we've been talking. Yeah, we're working out some kinks on the TCG. Well, you just need to keep practicing. You'll get the hang of it in no time. What's my favorite cryo character? Layla Ganyu. Yeah, probably one of those two, yeah. As for the intermediate exam, just think of it as a practice session and you'll be fine. Well, ready to begin? What are we making? Oh god, conduct a potion with strength and dexterity both reaching. What do you mean, conduct a po both reaching a grade of intermediate? Oh, so I need both strength and dexterity at intermediate. Intermediate plus eight, at least two characters, no more than ten ingredients. Oh, bring it. Okay, so strength and dexterity. Um. Strength, dexterity, has two characteristics, no more than ten. Oh, yeah. Uh, what is that? Oh, my. Yeah, yeah, that'll do it, won't it? Wow, that's some nightmare-looking setup right there, that's for sure. Well, we've got intermediate strength. Now we just need intermediate dexterity. Yep, intermediate strength and dexterity. I don't know what this Tetris piece is, but... And it's relaxing and warm. We're pretty much done right here. This isn't gonna do its thing, is it? I hate you. Oh, why do you have to do this to me? Okay, advanced strength. Now we need to get that dexterity up, though. That's a problem, ain't it? Advanced strength and dexterity. Steadying, relaxing, advanced strength, and dexterity, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we got him. No more than ten ingredients used. Guys, how many ingredients are here? Because I did not count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think. I think I'm good. 
at least two characteristics also requires two main stats. It's pretty much impossible to not fulfill. Yeah, eight or nine. Yeah, I think I'm good. Sublime mastery. Got all of it. There you go. Everything's there. Yep. Let me see. Yep. Looks like your potion meets the requirements. You've passed once again. You know what? I realized it. Sucrose's beta testing for the potion exams is just like how Hoyo does their beta testing for the TCG cards. <laughs> We're getting pretty good at this. Now nobody's going to enjoy what comes out. I'm so glad I asked for your help. Please, take this for your trouble. Uh, that's a bunch of money. Uh, upmarket offensive, rank two. Yes, we're being very offensive in our marketing. Okay, what do we got here? We haven't really even unlocked any of this stuff. Um, what's this? Unlock number of market reports gained simultaneously. Don't mind if I do. So we're just gaining a ton of market reports, I guess. There's this ingredient experience is increased there. Um, when obtaining ingredients, I'm just gonna upgrade efficiency. And I guess we unlock that and upgrade it a little bit. And now we're broke! Awesome! What's the most annoying deck I've played? Annoying deck? Well, I mean, if you look at my video and the videos in the, the comments, the Hat Guy Shenha Nahida deck that came out a while back, that apparently has ended friendships. So, you know, that's cool. So, um, yeah. That's certainly a new one. Okay, so what did we need now? Oh, wow. Oh, we have another thing. There have been frequent disturbances in the desert lately, um, and a guardian of our village is leading other guards to defense against monster attacks. Christ, do I care? Defense against monster attacks, and we're in the desert? I mean, it's defense, right? Like, what do you want? Endurance? We definitely don't want warm. Do we have cooling? Um, endurance, strengthening, strength? Coco Cube, your beloved. I like how you... The Coco Cube deck is fun. I like the Coco Cube. Like, Coco Cube's nice. Since you unlocked the new market report, market news is updated with a third quest. Yeah, I got it there. Um... So, endurance strengthening. Do I really not have, like, any real strengthening here other than you? Uh, that's concerning. Okay. Okay, we do that. So it's beginner strength and constitution, which is fine. Uh. Thing. Intermediate strength. Now we need more constitution. Do we only have one constitution? about to say like where's my constitution intermediate constitution and strength again with steadying what else did i want endurance and strengthening oh uh. Sweet. 
so close. We really need to get that that strength up though. It's interme it's so close to being able to like push through. It's advanced constitution. Oh my god, can we please get the strength? Strength. I have no good strength. It's just advanced constitution. Strongth is an issue here, so we really need to get the strongth down. This gives us a lot of strongth. This gives us a l heck of a lot of strongth. But I feel like that's the strongth we have to be we have to be focusing on. Double. Oh my God! How did I not see this? Look at that! What a what a setup there. Intermediate strength. Okay. Now, how do we go into Constitution and a lot of it? Uh -oh. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Well, that's an idea. I have the sudden urge to sneeze and I do not like it. It's advanced strumpf. Now he doesn't need constitution. Advanced strength and constitution. Steadying and fragrant. Uh -huh. My, you smell very good on this battlefield today. Mm -mm. The monsters are going to love it. Oh my. The wonderful scent. Um, okay, what's a strong potion? We going Chonky Cat again? Oh, yeah, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. That is... That is strong. Heck yeah, and we get the coins. I can now uh, purchase cauldron upgrades again. Nice. Oh, my. Okay, since you guys decided to ask me this, what is... I guess we should have done that. What's your guys' decks that you've been playing against or have been playing or playing against? Like, what, is, what has been the things that have been going on there? I'm doing this in the most haphazard way possible. Noel the goat. I, I do have a Noel deck idea. I just feel like it's my weakest of the three decks, maybe, that I've been messing around with. Um. If you really like standing around like this, Jory, please. Uh, is there something I wanted to purchase here, or am I crazy? Do I? There. Did we grab the... Wow, we didn't even grab these. That's cool. Well, hey, we got the bonus harvest from it, so that's nice. 
Uh, you're learning TCG at, with her as your main focus. I mean, Noelle is good. I do like Noelle. Unfortunately, again, I do think you're going to be playing Jet decks. Like, Noelle with Jet actually makes sense. Like, I can understand Noelle with Jet. Oh, crap. We have Constitution and Strength. Oh, yeah, we have this Constitution and Strength. Oh. That's Constitution and Dexterity. Where's our Constitution and Strength? Oh, get rid of you. Of course we're going to put you in there. Um... And then I guess we put in strength and wisdom. Sure. This looks so pretty. Yo, if we don't get this stuff for the teapot with all the cute little bottles, I'm gonna scream. Strong chop! Okay, what's been doing well? The intermediate constitution and wisdom potion is still going crazy. Um... The Advanced Constitution and Strength Potion is not doing as well as you want. There's Intermediate Strength and Wisdom. Uh -huh. Interesting. Big Stonks. I like Klee Tainari combo. All reminds me of when I did the Klee Tainari Mona deck. Maybe I should revisit that deck at some point. Captain of Alila's ship wants to improve the constitution of new sailors. Oh, Lord. Opera Troop. Why don't you just say their name? Beto and freaking Yinjin. Uh, and ready to purchase a batch of makeup? Oh no. Academia students are busy for their finals. Quick, everything off. Sorry, we are not stocking any potions. You get a bottle. I think it's a unique bottle, though, and not any of them that you sell. That sucks. What if I want to make a whole gigantic, like, shop thing? Do we have anything in here? Oh, yeah, we can improve the cauldron again. Cauldron has been... I wasn't done with you. Um, We could max out this. Okay, unlock that. 50% of a lucky bonus that I could theoretically get. Or I just get a bunch of XP. Probably the XP. <laughs> Jesus. That's a lot of stuff. Okay. What do we need to change here? What do we have a lot of? 26, the wind wheel things. Yeah, let's change you to a peach. What about you? I have 30 of you. Oh, let's change you to this. You, I have no you. Man, I want to be... Remember when this channel was also supposed to have tea, uh, teapot videos on there, too? Yeah, wonder what happened to that, eh? Um, so we need constitution still. But we also need charisma. And... Calm their spirits and focus on research. So we probably need a, a calming wisdom thing, right? So, a focus, relaxing, wisdom... And then, I don't know, I'm going to go Charisma on this one. Or, well, if it's Rax, I'm going to do Wisdom Constitution. Well, we already have Wisdom Constitution. Screw it, Charisma. We don't have much Charisma. But you're not charismatic people. Go figure. I am not charismatic. I'm, like, the least charismatic person you'll ever meet in your life. Um, This is with Perception. This is Fragrant. We need a charisma wisdom here. Beginner charisma wisdom. Nope. That's more charisma. This is nice. So now we're at intermediate charisma. That 
is such an annoying shape. What is this? Hoyo, you're being wild with your shapes again, Hoyo. Like, what is this disaster? Cool, I guess. Um, huh. It's technique and fragrant. What did I say I wanted? Because it wasn't technique and fragrant. I wanted relaxing and something else. Relaxing and focus, I think? Do we have any relaxing? Ah, yes. The peach. And it's dexterity, apparently. We, we, we gotta rethink this. This is... We have dexterity. I don't want dexterity, but I do want relaxing, and I want a lot of it. But both of my relaxing are dex builds. And then maybe I guess we just stay with relaxing tech. Just go with the wisdom one, maybe, instead. I see a mushroom slot there, maybe. Well. I don't know if I do that, I don't. Huh. Well, now we're going in the charismatic. I don't want that. We, we want wisdom here. We must be wise. Okay. Intermediate wisdom. And it is relaxing and technique. This is so incredibly scuffed right now. Like, it is advanced wisdom. I mean, I can do that. It's technique relaxing advanced wisdom, but I can't put anything else there. Huh. I feel like I almost also want the dexterity, too. Advanced dexterity wisdom. Um, this probably isn't doing a whole lot for me, but... And now we just shroom it up. 270. This is insane, some of this stuff. This is the, the clunkiest ever. Students probably need some dexterity to finish assignments before a deadline. I mean, I guess. This is wild. Advanced dexterity and wisdom. Yeah, um, and it's technique and relaxing. So we have no focus, though. You also don't have pure wisdom yet. Uh, yeah, well, I don't need pure wisdom yet, do I? Like, the double will be fine. Okay, we're going to put something very wise. It's a very wise bottle. It's scuffed. Look, man, we might be taking a bit of a burn here on this day to try to figure out what we're doing. 
What is this? To be upgraded? Oh, yeah, to be updated. Yeah, sales. Okay. So we know we need constitution and stuff. We know we need makeup. So we need constitution, charisma, and then wisdom stuff. We have plenty of constitution, right? Like, there's constitution, healing, steadying. That's probably helpful for seasickness. Um, there's the new dexterity wisdom, because, you know, that's smart. Didn't we have wisdom charisma? We do have wisdom charisma. Um, with focus perception. This is healing and flagrant. Um, this is focus and perception maybe would be useful um constitution wisdom healing endurance any other charismas dexterity charisma this is the dumbest stuff i've ever done in my life i swear <laughs> any other like healing things that we need what is strength wisdom technique and focus Huh. Okay, when in doubt, go for the most expensive. Constitution and strength. Let's go. This is it. Let's see how it works. Sales down. Yep. But not terribly. What's the biggest one? Intermediate constitution and wisdom potion. The advanced dex wisdom potion did pretty well. So constitution and wisdom did well. Um... This one just didn't sell a whole lot. Advanced Constitution gave us a lot of money, though, because it's super expensive, but it didn't sell a huge amount. But it's still going well. Like, it's all in all. Yeah, we're down profits, but it's still going. Oh, my God, Candace. Thank you for the money, Candace. Something about village and drinks. Oh, my God, here we go. Hello, everyone. What are you doing here? Whoa, is that Master D? Oh, D. Luke, what's someone as busy as you doing in this neck of the woods? Hi. Elzer told me the Knights launched a new commercial endeavor that turned out to be quite the hit. I think he was a bit surprised by the level of success, so he told me to come check it out. But seeing as you two are the ones in charge, I'm really not surprised at all. The Knights definitely chose the most reliable people for the job. I swear, Sean Chiplock, who's the voice of D. Luke in the English thing, this dude's in like everything. He voices two characters in Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. He voices Reen in Trails of Cold Steel. He voices D. Luke. The dude is literally everywhere. Elisa, reliable, sure. Look, Re Lisa's reliable in her mind. Uh, Elsa is the manager of Don Winery, right? Huh, Paimon thought he didn't get out much. Wonder how he heard about our shop. Wait, are we that famous already? <laughs> no need to sound so surprised. The winery keeps us all very busy. Elzer only takes the time to brief me with this sort of intel if he thinks we are faced with a real threat. Oh no, people are gonna stop buying wine and instead buy potions? Huh? Bro, I don't think you understand how the industry works. Also, aren't you busy being Batman? In such a short amount of time, you've been able to establish complete production and supply lines, and even receive orders from all around Tevat. That's just the power of friendship. If you were in the wine business, you'd already be one of our biggest rivals. So why aren't we doing that? Whoa, wh threat? Rival? Trade war. Oh, you sure seem eager, cutie. Don't call me that. Looks like you really want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the number one wine merchant in all of Mondstadt. Are you just itching to see whose business prowess would come out on top? A deluxe the potion where because you didn't realize their quests are or instead of and you barely passed it because otherwise he asked for a very specific stuff. Hmm. Interesting. A competition with the traveler. That's not a bad suggestion. You're extremely knowledgeable and well-traveled. If we were to become competitors, I'm sure you'd throw many a challenge my way. Probably even some I've never faced before. Also, just like to point out, I kind of have hair like D. Luke. Like, typically, this is how my hair looks, except it's not bright red. But I usually have it in a ponytail. But this is very much just, like, my hairstyle here. 
Mine's probably not as floofy in, in, in the back there. It's probably thinner because old, but you know, my, my hair is typically in this style. You've caught up with you in the event. Well, congrats. I know I'm moving at the speed of snail. Did playing the TCG in the middle help or hinder this? But I was really just using the wine industry as an example to emphasize your success. Our two industries aren't exactly fighting for the same market space. Actually, the success of your potion shop is good for the winery's business. Good for your business? Paimon's lost. You were just talking about how the two industries were separate and now they're suddenly connected? I only started after the TCG. Listen, if you get to this frame and put your cursor right here, it's like we're holding hands across the universe. Isn't that cute? No, don't hold my hand. How <laughs> dare you? It's convoluted. Sweaty hand holding across universes. How could you? Alcohol is a commodity. Not again. That what did I do? Did, did I make that joke before? In order to have free time, though, you have to get off work early. For the alcohol industry to thrive, consumers need to have both the time and the money to spend. I mean, stopping intoxication, I'm not sure if that would help or hinder the wine industry. Again, like, a lot of people who go to, like, bars and stuff don't necessarily go to get blackout drunk and, and just drunk in general because, like, how are you getting home, right? Like, so I feel like on a... Ca it would help with casual drinking. It would also help end alcoholics. So, I feel like it's all good. You made that joke before in the lantern, right? Okay, hold my hand then! That's exactly right. See, even D. Luke agrees. <laughs> Your potions allow people to work more efficiently. As they get more popular, people will be able to complete their work faster. The more free time people have, the bigger the market there is for a commodity like mine. go out and enjoy life if you're super busy all the time. We're helping one of D. Luke's business rivals? I mean, I guess, but if we gave him the same thing, then I guess we're just going to both. It's not like we have a, a contract with Fiona. I never thought about it that way before. There sure are a lot of layers to running a business. Guess this means we're in the more making business together then. Hey, why don't you try out one of- hmm. I do Shut have quite the interest in the effects of alchemical potions. Well, since you offered, please make a potion that can reduce the anxieties of the user while also improving their attention to detail. So calming reduce perception? Reduce anxiety while also improving the user's attention to detail? That almost sounds a little contradictory to me. No, Lisa, it isn't. You can be calm and perceptive. You don't have to have a mental breakdown, you PTSD experiencing college student. No. I must admit to being curious. If my cuties do manage to make this potion for you, D. Luke, how exactly do you intend to use it? Well, I mentioned before that people with ample free time are an important consumer base for my industry. But actually... The same is true for people who are incredibly busy and overwhelmed with work. After a period of high stress, like a busy workday, it can take a while for people to fully decompress. It's also common for that type of stress to leave people so exhausted that all they can do is spend the rest of the day in a daze. True. That level of stress and exhaustion makes it hard for people to derive pleasure from things they usually enjoy. True. Like... Relishing the flavor of their favorite food and drink. Or even wanting to make food. <laughs> you can say that again. Yeah, this is this is all very true. Welcome to burnout. Paimon's definitely been there before. Sometimes, after a really long day, Paimon will be so tired, but she just can't relax. Not even her favorite snacks would hit the spot like they usually do. Paimon... When do you do anything to get tired? Like, guys, what does Paimon actually do? Like, there's no way it's... She never sits down. So it's not like she's that... The only time she has not been floating is when she's sleeping. So it's like, the floating doesn't take energy. Oh, my poor little cuties. Oh, shut Sounds up. Sounds like things can get quite tough out on the road. You know what? You just earn yourself some extra snacks at our upcoming tea party. Once this is all over, I'll personally see to it that you get the chance for a proper rest. I, I, 
no, no, I'm good. I'll go hang out with Mona. Uh, it's fine. You can go get on that boat and get on back over there. Uh-uh. I'm sure talking 24-7 must be exhausting. Uh, truthfully, yeah, it is. I'm going to be real with you. As somebody who also, my job is to speak, there there were times before where I would used to, I would used, I, I tried doing this and I gave up very quickly, where I would do my job and then come home and try to stream. No. Absolutely not. I, I was too fried. No way. Not all sedatives make you sleepy, Lee, so that too. Bye. So basically, you need us to make a potion that decreases tension, but increases attention. So that people can enjoy the finer things in life, no matter how busy or stressed they are. I uh, did Pyron get that right? So, medical marijuana. Mixed with, like... What's the what's the thing that people that f college kids take to like that they shouldn't like I forget the thing of it what is it God I, I just ruined my own thing what was it it was uh, God what is it I can't remember Adderall there you go not heroin I said college students college students aren't there taking heroin what what are you on about what college are you going to Jesus Yeah it's just medical marijuana late in like. Adderall laced together here. Exactly. <laughs> Wine is what? meant to be savored. <laughs> Drinking it without being able to appreciate its subtle notes and characteristics is a loss, not just for the winemaker, but for the consumer as well. Honestly, I don't even like know what heroin does to you, like on a like psychological. I mean, obviously, it messes you up really bad. You should not do any of this, obviously. But, like, I don't even know what it actually, like, does. I feel like it's probably, like, top tier worst drug you could probably take outside of just, like, maybe meth. It's expensive for college students. The Adderall or the heroin? What What's next, cocaine? I mean, that's when they get to the bar. Then they can, they can do a few lines off the table. <laughs> Remember when these streams used to be, like, friendly for the whole family? Yeah. A little Timmy's gonna be, Mom, uh, what, what does he mean when he says do a line off the table? If we can increase the alertness of those too exhausted to perceive the subtle notes, but decrease the restlessness of those too agitated to raise their glass, then we can be sure to reach a point of balance where all can enjoy their wine to the fullest extent. This is a worse version of opium. Yeah, I know that, but what, like, what is opium doing? That? I mean, it's a painkiller. Opiates are painkillers, but like... I've never taken painkillers. When I had my wisdom teeth removed, they gave me painkillers, and I just never took them. They're like, yeah, you should take these so that you can help you eat and whatever, and you'll be fine. I'm like, nah, I'm good. I just never took the things. Partly because I can't swallow pills, but... Well, it's definitely a unique request. Seems like this would be a tricky challenge for any potion maker. We should get to thinking then. First things first, let's figure out what ingredients to use. Eh, just slap whatever in there. What do you need? How's the potion coming? Have you finished? Shut up. Potion with constitution and wisdom. Efficacy. Or that displays focus and relaxing. Um. <laughs> have fun. They won't even let you give a wrong one. Please give it a try. You mean give it a try? <sighs> I thought you might need more time, but it looks like you've already found the solution. Nice yeah, job. Yeah, here, please drink this funny liquid. He is. Wow. The effect is even more apparent than I imagined. Your many talents just keep on surprising me. Great, we just drugged you, Luke. On behalf of Don Winery, I would like to make a bulk purchase order for this potion. Oh, and don't worry about the delivery side of things. Elzer will send someone to pick up the potions once they're ready. I like how she comes back once all the work is done. My plan is to enlist the help of artisans to infuse candles and fragrances with the effects of this potion. Those what? products will serve as complimentary gifts for customers to enjoy during wine tasting. So Litter, he is just trying to like get people high. He actually is just creating drugs. Awesome. 
If you tried this with matching main stats and sub stats, you have a balance between three different stats to make sure you get the sub stat not as part of the main. Yeah, it, it sounds like a nightmare. Like once I once I saw what it was looking for, so it's like not nah, screw make that. Chemical potions part of the wine drinking experience. Yep. Was be quiet, Lisa. Sure well, there's still work to be done, so I should probably head out. It'll take in any case. Bye, D. Luke. It's been a pleasure working with you. Oh, Bye, D. Luke. Oh my God. Have some time. Sure. I'm not going to. Wait. We'll see you next time. We're not getting high in your bar, D. Luke. Thanks for the cat. Wow, that's it? That's all I get from you? I thought you were supposed to be more rich than that. D. Luke's holding out. Okay, hold on. We gotta check this guy. This is taking a while. I was supposed to end like 30 minutes ago. Oh my god, we hit every single one of them in some capacity. Um, I don't even know what to make at this point. We have Charisma, Technique, Fragrant. We already have that, I think. We have Wisdom, Steadying, Focus, Constitution, Healing, Relaxing. Like, maybe another Charisma one? Like, we don't have very many Charismas, so Charisma, Fragrant, Technique again. Why do we bring our kids here? We're selling drugs here. Uh, what is this? Maximum number of characteristics that can be shown is increased by one, and potions gain five bonus levels. What? So I can have a three characteristics now? What? It's kind of nutty. Yeah, we're just going to do that real quick. That's the wrong button, Chief. Um, charisma, Technique, and Fragrant. Can I already have a Charisma, Technique, and Fragrant? I don't know. Charisma, Fragrant, Technique. And we're just going to get a very good Charisma, Fragrant, Technique. I mean, not with this setup we aren't, but like, you know, kind of, right? God, some of the most wonky things. It's very unpleasant there. We have intermediate charisma, that's for sure. Uh, you do have the exact charisma potion with the substats for the Monstat makeup request. But it'd be much lower level than what you can make now. Yeah, so maybe I should just remake that, eh? That'd be, that'd be probably better. You have intermediate charisma and it smells good. That wasn't creepy at all. Intermediate charisma... There we go. Now we've got advanced charisma. Um, it's perception. It perception fragrant technique here. Um, what the crap are we doing with this? Oh, that's rough, ain't it? It's advanced charisma again. We need the wisdom. We need to get wise. Oh, we can't get wise. Mr. Wise Guy here ain't gonna get wise. That's rough. Crap. 
crap, that's in two spots. No, 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 no. Well, that ain't helping, ain't it? Uh, huh. I don't know how we're gonna get the, the wisdom there if you want charisma wisdom. If I just want wisdom. Uh, well, that sure ain't helping, is, is it there, huh? Advance charisma, maybe with some shrooms? Quick, shrooms, balance it. By the power of mushrooms. Advanced wisdom and charisma. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. This is scuffed. And it's technique, perception, and fragrant. So now they'll be able to read their lines while also being skilled and smelling good. There we go. Um, love potion with... That looks pretty. Ooh, that looks even better. That also looks not... Mmm, yeah. Mmm. Ah, oh, yes. The scent of the sausage. Now... The opera troupe can also smell like sausage. <whistles> Potion level 11. Lucky bonus definitely came in. Heck yeah, give me that money. It looks like a tropical drink. Honestly, yeah, I can see it. God, that looks good. I bet I could make a drink like that with a little bit of blue curacao in there. Oh yeah, you could easily make that. I think I've made a drink actually that looks like that. That's very tropical tasting. I think I have, yeah. Actually, now that I really think about it, I think I have. I think I've made a, a drink that was... It was a gin drink, I think, because I really like making stuff with gin that I think had gin and, like, blue curacao and some, like, citrus and stuff in there and some other stuff that I had going on. Um, yeah, that's good. You mean... Up to three plans can be saved for each potion type. Number of saved plans has reached the limit. And one saved plan must be discarded. I guess this one then? Yeah, screw this one. Thing. I'm just gonna level up the stuff that's on sale. I don't care. Oh my god. This is taking a very long time. I did not expect this to take this long. Oh my. I think I have anything money-wise I can do here. Okay, what did the worst? Constitution potion? That did worse than dexterity charisma? I guess they really want that charisma. So advanced constitution potion. With the... Whatever... In that one. Advanced constitution 5.
this. Why can't he even put you in there? I need to get rid of one of the other charisma ones. Uh, wisdom and charisma. It's probably you, and then I can put in you, yeah. And that's of all the dialogue. Yeah, the dialogue is also there. If Dory was in this, everything would be like a hundredfold. Oh, yeah, can we get Dory to, to run this? Did I grab my weed? I forgot. I did. Um, I'm not doing that. Oh, my God. I really need more of those things, don't I? <laughs> Business is still booming by a lot. The advanced wisdom dexterity potion, the advanced wisdom charisma potion. It's doing all right. Sales are, are certainly going. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, how many of these do I have? I have seven. Nine. Thirty-one of the mist flowers. Okay, we gotta get rid of these mist flowers then. Oh my god, yeah, I'm running like a million of these things. Okay, what do I need a lot of? Probably these. I don't even know what these are. Are these charisma? Like, what are they? Oh my god, we have 75 berries. How long has this been going on for? Guys, how long have we just been letting me have 75 berries? Um, excuse me? Like, that's a bit much, don't you think? Hold up. Berries... Let me see if I can upgrade this real quick, and then, um... Berries are about to start looking like my pockets. Actually, do I have enough for this? Oh, we're gonna find out with this. I should have grabbed that. There. That's maxed out, and then this is coming soon. God, I hope this hasn't gotten, like, boring after a while for all of you being here, because... Should be able to get the level 2 from this, right? Yeah. Boom. We've maxed out our berries. Nice. Um, berry new shape is interesting. Everything else either reflects or moves this side. Very straight up remove square going from three to two sides. Oh, that's cool. Berry sound, um, kind of cracked. I do. Let me put it in there. I do like the idea of the flower being maxed. I haven't even used you, so I feel like I want to. That didn't take much, did it? Wait, why am I... Oh, because I can keep going. There's three levels, what am I thinking? Yeah, so we're able to max some stuff out now pretty easily. You have a bunch. I'm probably only going to get you up one, though. Same with you. There, that's a lot better. Do I even need to... I need to actually check the, the market news because there might be new stuff. There is not new stuff, guys. I don't think I need to make anything at this point. Like, I don't even think I need to, like, raise ingredients or anything. Yeah, I guess I could get the alchemy level higher and, and try to go for that. But, dude, we have a full... 
Like, what do we even need here? Like, what, what do we want? I don't need anything at this point. I'm just gonna wait. Can I just, like, enhance stuff instead? Yeah. Yeah, now I'm just turning stuff into exams. Could just make an experimental potion. I mean, I could, but... I was thinking, like, do I want to make, like, a new strength potion? We haven't done stuff with strength in a while, right? Like... Strength? But, like, what would we want with strength? Eh, screw it. Just strength. It's not like we don't have the stuff. But all these are maxed, so it's just like, what am I leveling here? Screw it. Let's put whatever we can in here to make whatever it is that we create. Oh, wow. Yeah, this literally does just take away a whole entire thing. Like, what? And this turns into a more sane shape, kind of. Yeah, we're just going to see whatever we can come up with here. Uh. Kind of forces that, doesn't it? At this point, I'm just playing Tetris. Like, I don't even... Like, I'm not even... What am I, like, doing here? It, I'm just, like, playing Tetris and then, like, Strong... intermediate strength and charisma what a ridiculous idea this is look man if we're gonna beat up those monsters we're gonna look really pretty doing it we just got advanced strength from putting in a charisma piece that makes sense <laughs> advanced strength and charisma that's perceptive and fragrant um I don't know what else to put in this. Like, nothing else really fit. Wow. Oh, yeah. Perception steadying fragrant or focus perception steadying? And it's strength and charisma. We do have one extra thing here, but this is also 300%. So, yeah, what a ridiculous build this is. Sure. Um, let's put it in the most basic of bottles with the most basic of things. I guess since this is a basic bottle, I probably did nerf myself a little bit there. But hey, I got the level 14, so there you go. Alchemy Cauldron stackable slots is increased. I was hoping that could hit advanced. I don't know why I have the urge to do this. I really shouldn't be. Fun event, honestly. It's not bad. I, I don't have an issue with it. Wow, this is still two star. That sucks. Can we, like, get rid of that one? Yeah. 
This turned into an advanced potion, dang. And that turned into an advanced one, nice. Is there anything past? There's gotta be like five star potions, right? Like, we gotta be able to hit five stars, yeah? Do I want to put my strength and charisma business in there? Strength and charisma and replace anything? What wasn't selling well? Advanced constitution potion? Yeah, expert is five star potions. Oh, great. Let's get her the constitution potion and do strength and charisma. Guys, where's the constitution potion? I don't know which one it was. Which one was it? It was the one with the blue ribbon. But somehow dexterity and wisdom is up there. Whatever. Let's stock it and see what happens. I barely went up. This one's about the same as the last one. It's just a more expensive potion. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, well, Academia, we still need the Focus Wisdom Steadying. An Exhilaration Pancration. Hey, guys, you remember the Pancration card? Yeah, me either. Clearing out monsters in order to protect miners. They want to remain calm. Boost their physical capabilities. Okay. Why do I feel like half of this stuff can remain? When analyzing ingredients, you may consume other types of ingredients. What? Take all my weed. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm at some weed. Let's just accelerate all of that again. Thanks. That's some good weed. What else needs to be leveled up here? Uh, anything that deals with, like, strength? Oh, yeah, you. Oh, my God. We can put in anything we want. Yeah, I'll just put in 50-something of you real quick. Yeah. Sounds about right. Uh, once you bought all upgrades, you kind of just accelerate everything. Yeah, it is insane. Seeing as most jet decks always have a, a lot of cards in their hand, Pancration could uh, just be used to make them overdraw and destroy their important cards. Uh, yeah, possibly. If you can, like, bait, bait it out properly, yeah. Okay, here's an idea, right? I have an idea. What do I need a lot of? And what don't I have a lot of? I have 35 of you. I don't have a lot of you. I don't need you. Thanks, Chief. Eh, screw it. Accelerate everything. What do I need this money for anymore? Give it all to me. Everything. 
Now, what do I need to build? Build, yes. What do I need to make here? Market news. So, we still need wisdom, steadying, and focus here. So, let's mess around with our sales stuff. Yeah. Constitution and wisdom should stay. Yeah, I feel like constitution and wisdom should be the only thing that's staying right now, because we still need... What is this? Well, no, we need wisdom, focus, and what? Wisdom, focus, and steadying. Can I think filter this? Yes. Wisdom... Focus studying. Strength and wisdom. There we go. And then focus perception. Okay, so we've got two of them for them. And now we're going to need monsters. So we need something about calm and maybe like... And we also want endurance here. So we need... Who's your favorite character? See, no matter the price. So we need like endurance and we need calm... Endurance, relaxing, focus, steadying, strengthening, not wisdom, constitution, strength. Oh, so half my thing. Awesome. For a store in a corner of a lake, are we, are we sure getting a lot of leeway NPCs in the middle of the shop? You're also getting people from jail. Just want to point that out real quick. Is this one steadying and fragrant? Constitution healing and steadying. What's this one? Constitution strengthening and warm. There's a strength and... Yeah, that's probably fine. Yeah, I never throw those in there. Who cares? But we need... I'm not remaining calm as we clear out monsters or boost their physical capabilities. Um, I mean, we can go for something that's calm then, I guess. We're clearing out monsters. We probably want relaxing, steadying, and then constitution strength. That's dexterity. Wow, we really started off lovely. <clears throat> and we can't slip that under there. Awesome. We can do that, however. So right now we've got intermediate constitution, that's for sure. Huh. Okay. We have advanced constitution. Strength and steadying. We're running out of spots here though. Oh, yeah, we also need relaxing. I kind of forgot about that, didn't I? Strengthening, steadying, advanced constitution. I might be able to get a bigger constitution, maybe? Hmm. 
I mean, this is kind of like basic. I don't know about that one. That's strength. Can we get the big boy constitution? Expert constitution just happened there. I don't know if we can get expert strength. That doesn't seem like that's going to be a thing. But we just got expert constitution of strengthening and steadying. Shrooms or the berries, one of the others. In that case, shrooms, but then... Is there anything else we can do? Strengthening, endurance, and steadying. Yeah, the shrooms. That's actually pretty good there. Um, and it is expert constitution. I don't know about any more strength though. I think we're kind of out of the out of the park with that. Here, I'll put a shroom in there. Three hundred and five percent. I mean, we could get two. Can we get like a double in there? Is there a way? I don't think I can get anything on. Three, depending on the, the wonkiness of the shape. Unless I was to pick another one of these. That would work. Yeah, there you go. Expert, indeed. It's just a straight constitution, though. Um, Chonky Cat. Level 6, Expert Constitution, nice. We got that up a little bit of a level. Oh, we just got the Constitution and Strength one up. Nice. We've got we got two experts now. The Eggbert. I was thinking Egg because two, three Eggbert here. There is there was rather an American like film critic named Roger Ebert, and I gave my students my AP students very frequently. I give them this thing where they analyze the rhetoric um, he does when he's analyzing Transformers: Revenge of the Fallen and absolutely just like nailing it. And I swear to God, these students misspelled this guy's name in so many ridiculous ways. I don't even know where to begin with it. Um, oh, we can't put the Chonky Cat on there. Well, that sucks, now, doesn't it? Um, why do we need strength and charisma? Oh, it doesn't matter, right? I guess we we're just kind of stuck. We would have to... Oh, we have to get rid of you for you. Obviously. Um, well, uh, the kids, for whatever reason, mess up his name. I have seen Robert Ebert... I have seen Roger Ebert. I have seen Roger Albert. Figure that one out. But the best one I think I've ever seen was Roger Egbert. That one absolutely had me laughing hysterically. Roger Egbert. Yeah. So now seeing Egbert reminded me of, of that. Financial report. What do we got? The stonks are way up. I don't know. What, what does this crap even mean? What does this pie chart mean? Ex oh, it's operating costs. Maybe I should, like, look. <laughs> Expert constitution potion going nuts. Yeah. Lenny, I don't like you. Oh, no. I wanted to see my re that's not the report. I wanted to see my report. Oh, I wanted to see like how accurate I was. Now we have to wait two more days. Temporary closed. <sighs> do we have enough time to do more TCG guys? Like it's already seven. I've been going for six hours. How much longer is this? I just realized the map. That's kind of cool. How much longer is this event here? Because um. <laughs> Like, I kind of want to eat dinner at some point. Like, I want to play more TCG, but at the same time, we probably need to, like, 
wrap this up soon. Also, I'm pretty sure, like, half of you are probably asleep at this point. Like, so, you know, just, just throwing that out there. Um, like, how long is this? Because we still have one more day, right? Like, let me check here. Oh, I just realized I could have gotten this, like, a year ago. Whoops. You are time blind. Probably around one more hour without skipping. Oh, we are getting various bottles. Oh, the bottles are for upgrading the... They're for upgrading that. Um... Once again, collect all. Oh, yeah. They, they, they just didn't think of it. And then we have the last things. Merchants from other nations have arrived at your shop. Oh, dear Lord. That, that does mean Dory's going to show up. Um, I'm going to try to do it like a couple more TCG matches. It's supposed to be a TCG stream as well. Like, I didn't realize this was going to be this long, guys. I really didn't. Um, sorry. No, no, wrong thing. This is gonna this is gonna annoy me. There. There, we did a couple of matches with that deck, which was cool. Oh no! Crap, I forgot. I didn't switch my deck. Whoops. Sorry, poor person who poor Diona. I feel sorry that poor person is just like, bruh. I just wanted a TCG match. Whoops. Um, I messed that up. Well, let's mess around with Good Nuvi. Good Nuvi is a freezy deck. Um, which probably wants more of her, to be honest, but whatever. Um, it is quite the thing. Um, it's kind of fun. It's kind of cool. It's kind of weird. So, uh, yeah. Six hours is crazy. You remember that it took you, like, four. Keep in mind... I am also doing the TCG streaming and being an all-around menace to society. Would you were speed running for rewards? Yeah, speed running, I could probably do this in like three hours, honestly. But I feel like I could go very, very quick with this, probably. Okay, we are up against an uh, overburn. Ooh, with a lot of this stuff. Uh, were, were you talking about cannibal? Were you, why are we talking about cannibalism again? We do not. We do not need that. We do need this to load. This might add some extra time. Um, again, she's just like not nah, chief. You don't get the play. Okay, we get to go first. That's cool. Um, don't want you this early. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Actually, do I want him this early? Probably not at the moment. Because I want something to draw more cards. Wow, that was terrible. Awesome. What exactly is teamwork? Cannibal wizard. I'm not a cannibal wizard. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> this is this is a okay to me. That isn't. Obey. Shattered. I could do something crazy right now if I wanted to. I don't know if I want to, though. Oh, thanks. Ooh, nah, I want to. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what? I want to. Screw it. <laughs> Cryo incarnate. Swaps to Klee. Okay, we get to go first. That's fine by me. Ouch. Nice. Uh, okay, not terrible. Not terrible at all. Okay, that's good. This is, we, we can work with this. If the Klee wants to okay. play into that, the Klee can play into that. I am fine. Dunyazard for them, so they're probably going for... Okay, they're probably looking for quick swap more than anything. So, where are we going? Monstat heal onto her. They really want to get her stuff out, so... Yep, they do have the quick swaps. They are going for it. That's not going to leave them with a whole lot, so I'm kind of all right with that. Now you shall <sighs> okay, we get that. The burst is coming out. They do have the means, again, of the quick swap, which is annoying. Um, if we converted something, we could just get the kill off. I'm kind of all right with doing that, just getting the the kill, converting for the getting the kill here, because then what? They go to kill, and then well, I mean they could potentially kill with this. So I don't know if I want that. Um, you know what? This is kind of the weakest link here right now. So I'm just gonna do that. Manifest and go for there, because that will kill, and then it's wherever they go. Probably her, but that that she's not looking hot there. So dead. Detached from the war. She comes out as expected. Okay, we can start doing some stuff. This would be nice. This is like solo Shenha. <laughs> um, they need to. They're just waiting to get her healed up here more than anything. Um, but I don't think we are gonna solo Shenha this to be real. Oof. Okay, we can at least burst. Now you get to go first. Heal onto her, sure. Burst is gonna come out. They'll be able to quick swap, that's fine. Pain, pain, go away! Ouch. Not too bothered by that. Um Dunyazard comes down. She comes down. Uh, you can come out onto him for three, which or for one rather, which is pretty nice. Uh, this will do two. I mean, they might have send off waiting for it, but like, who's really running send off anymore? And I'm not sure if I'm too worried. I'm actually fine with Cryo her dying. Incarnate. So, unless they have like, watch him a bob. Uh, fresh winds, but doubt it. Heals to her, cool, okay. Don't Element be skill comes out. Um, 
do I really care that much? Like, you've got one die left. Sure, she'll explode and die, but truthfully, you know what? Screw it. Have you just been on Shenha the whole game? Yep. This has just been Shenha absolutely running, wreaking havoc here. I mean, she's going to die here, but she gets a lot of heals. So actually, she might not. She might not actually die. Jesus. But we get this going. So we're going to be up on him on dice. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. Interesting. And now Nuvi's got the old tenacity going on for him. So, opponent gave us their dice, I see. I don't want your dendro dice. I don't want that crap either, actually. So, he's coming in. That's going to be coming in. This is happening here. We get to go first. We've got another Vurkasha. Um... I don't know if I want to play anything yet. I think I'm fine with just doing this real quick and just taking it to the face. Obey. Yeah, they can kill with a normal attack, I guess, but... I am. Okay. I'm not too concerned. Heals onto her. They're really trying to keep them alive back and forth here. That's, uh, that's very nice. Fast action, okay, as expected, that's gonna come in. I mean, My I guess curse. their plan is to just swap around, but that's cool. The pleasure is all mine. You can attack here if you want, or you can swap back. Nope, they're gonna go for it, that's fine. They do have the burst there, we got the extra thing going down. Um, I could play this for two and then start doing stupid stuff, but I don't know if I really want to just yet. So, we're just going to get the freeze in. Settle down. Okay. We get burning, which sucks. But then this comes in, so... Thanks. I mean, I see where you're going with that, but now you're going to get hit there, so. Okay. Like, they have to swap off, right? There's no way. They're just letting her going to... I mean, I guess the freeze, man, if we had another means of doing more damage here... Um, hmm. I'm just gonna place this right there and then. You're trembling. Do that. That's only at two, but we can make stuff happen, so I'm not too worried. Gonna heal the four. Out five. I mean, she's still in a very rough spot. Thank you for Vorkasha. Ouch. It goes to two there, so... And she's still rocking all of this. Mm, kind of a hard spot for them here. I'm gonna be real. Uh, I don't need... Well, actually, I can use this for her skill card, so I don't even care. I can keep that. We can just use that for a skill. The rest are, would prefer Hydro here, but... I eh, have to do with what we got, I guess. Okay. Well, what are you gonna do? 
Another Mimir. They're probably going to try to go for a jet combo here. Yeah, you're going to need that honor. But it looks like they're like Mimir food. They don't even have the jet combo. Um, Chief, I kill. Like, I'm not sure what your your end plan there is, because that's just lethal the there. Smolders. I mean, yeah, that's gonna do some damage, but. Okay, elemental skill there again. Um, let me just put this on her. The pale flame smolders. Okay, so even if they do kill here or anything, it's not that big of a deal. They're, they're looking for something to stay alive, but they've got Cryo coming in, so... Vonorana for the dice. Eh, gonna be a rough one there. Uh, let's see. Gonna do that. Gonna do that. Ooh, that's nice. Gonna nuke you. And this is gonna be... Well, now it doesn't. I was about to say, if it has less than him, eh, but it doesn't, so... But I can still play it for zero, so why not, right? So, we're about ready to send off a jet combo. The healing on Klee was wasted. Yeah, it was very wasted. And like, yeah, this is going to kill, but it's Yao Yao versus a Kanat. Not even, because she's back. Whoops, forgot about that. Yeah, it's Yao Yao versus... <laughs> Does this do three? It doesn't even do enough to kill. She straight up wins because she has the damage reduction. Or wait, no, does it have to be higher than three? Hold on, is it higher than three? Because a normal attack will kill. Uh, pain for pain. Uh, yeah, it has to be at least three. Oh, crap, she does die. I was hoping she'd just be able to, like, murder right there. Oh, that is so unfortunate. That is not going to save you. You know a freeze is coming. Like, what are you going to do? Yeah, the normal attack kills. Congrats, but... For redemption. That does not matter. Um, cool. Literally doesn't matter. I'll take the, the tides couple beckon. of dice. Yeah, it's, there is no way out of that. That's unlucky for them. Interestingly enough, we didn't use our crystals that we had in our hand. And we had the crystals in there um, for a while. Like, sometimes I find myself using these crystals a lot. The, uh, the stones here. I find myself using them quite a bit. And they're really good. If you get the right opening with, like, these, this, into something like... Dunyazard, there, Mimir. Like, you can get some crazy openings that you can... I've triggered two of these simultaneously in the opening round before. Like, I've done some crazy stuff with those in the past. Um, Just not in that match, apparently. Okay, we'll try to do one more and then... Oof. Oh, this is very similar to it, except I run Yelon. This is very similar to a deck that I've done before. And they get the start first. Oof, that's scary. Um, we're not gonna use you, not you. Okay. I will do as you command. Is this one? This is the. It is okay. 
Okay, can we roll well? That is the question. Um... Not as well as I'd like, that's for sure. Okay, so we know they're gonna do the shield. They're playing. That, that that's there's no way that ain't jet. Not now. Uh, this is like some crazy card draw jet going on here. And we do not have a very good opening for this. I'm not sure I'm feeling about this one. Okay, they're leaving. Interesting. And Vonar Yep, it's a jet, ladies and gentlemen. Who would have thunk? If you're doing that, ladies and gentlemen, your opponent it's like how to recognize when your opponent plays jet. There you go. Yeah, they're gonna have more dice than us, which is gonna be annoying, that's for sure. But we are ready with her burst, so that's at least something. Um, do we move straight in the noob? Kind of hard to say here. The dice are shaping up to tell me yes. We have this. Ouch. Okay. How do we want to play this? Hmm? Do I just go for the card draw? Do I go for this? I want to play this first, probably. But again, they are up on dice, so it is a bit risky to play this kind of a thing. Um, so I do have to be kind of careful here because of just how far they are on dice. And it's like, what am I really going to end up hitting with this to get three cards off? I don't really know. Maybe wait until I attack first, but then I'd want to play Vurakasha just in case. No, I do think we play this. Now, the question is, do I do it this way or do I do it with getting rid of Noob's stuff? I think I get rid of Noob's and just focus on her for now. Verakasha's there. And we're gonna do it this way into this. It's gonna be a bit of a weird order, but you'll see. By ordinance divine. They might have send off. It might just be wasted effort here. Okay. We get Dunyazard. We Don't get be scared. That's good for what we're going for, really. So let's see what we get from this. A cryo die. Okay, so we can at least keep up in that regard. Um, hmm. Do I want to play the die then to activate that? Maybe. Uh, yeah, let's try the die here. So we get one there into Dunyazard being probably the safest choice. Oof. Into you, maybe not the best choice. Manifest! I probably should have played that. It's not well, I can just attack again. They're playing a lot of ramp here for sure. They're just waiting to get this stuff ready. They haven't done anything with him yet, so maybe they're just waiting for... And we know it's Jet. There's no way it's not Jet with how they're playing this. They might just be waiting for the kill here, which is probably what they're doing. Is waiting for kill. Um, because I can 100% see that being a thing to be concerned about there. Is the kill. So, I am going to stall out with Shenha here. Ow. Q. 
Okay, that's not terrible. Also, not bad. Should I keep the hydro? Maybe. Oof. If we got three pyro, I would have been able to use that. But that didn't happen, and now we're dealing with 12 dice. And they've got quick swap into him. Sure. Okay, that's going to at least draw us a card. So we get this, which isn't half bad. Okay, that triggers off. Nice. Um, hmm. So, they're going to have a lot of stuff coming down here that we're going to need to worry about. Okay. Honestly, I kind of just want to see if I roll the other pyro at this point. Ah, no, that was bad. Okay. Shouldn't be that big of a deal, though. You're trembling. We aren't even on the dice right now, which is useful for us. Rain outline. Elemental your fate. skill. Okay. Sure. Um. Do I want to give them all of the dice in the world to start swinging here? I mean, else they end up doing the burst, so I feel like we almost have to. The pale flame smolders. Okay, now they're back to seven. They're gonna end up going to her. Nope, they're going back to stall with her. Interesting. Are you? I don't really want to kill and get... Well, at the same time, I don't want the shield. So, huh. How are we playing this one? Because they're going to have a lot to go off of here if we aren't careful. Um, can we do something with this to get out three cards, maybe? But it's like, what do I want to nuke? Do I want to nuke my card draw? Um... I mean, I guess we are drawing quite a bit here. So maybe we just nuke that real quick. See what we get. Tubby into Lieben into an extra die. Okay. Interesting as to which one might be best to put down here. They have, I haven't lost yet. That would be a problem, probably. I'm sorry, Professor. Elemental skill. Oof, this is going to be lethal on whoever it hits, isn't it? I haven't seen gamblers yet, because if this comes down, that's going to be three pyro, plus that's going to be... Do we have anything to heal up, maybe? Um, hmm, three pyro... It's gonna be five plus the two coming in. I think we can still get around this though if we go this. And just wait it out here. So let's see. Play a tubby. Draw one of you, which is nice. Uh, that's going to be helpful for that. Mm -hmm. Going to play you. Going to play you. I could nuke it to get her out for this next round, which is probably a decent idea. But I can always do that next turn anyways for free, so why waste it at this point? So, yeah, I think we just let that go. We're not going to get any extra dice. So let's see what they have going on here. Can they do 10 in 1? I know this combo can do a lot of damage. Um, but I don't think it'll do 10 in 1. That might kill. There's that. 
And that fires off. Yeah, no, that's not going to kill. We're good. Smart choice on their part. If we get any kind of quick swap from this, though, their Hu Tao is going to be in a rough spot. We are going to take quite a bit. Of, actually, we might die to that now that I think about it. But no, we'll heal up a little bit here. We've got Verukasha. Ouch. Actually, no, the Verukash is on her. Derp. I have her thing is what I have on her. That hits there. Are we going to convert into... Oh, we're going to convert the Pyro. Thank you. Oh, I forgot this is going to happen. Sidira Burst is going to murder you. And we have all of this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's going to be a spicy meatball. Mm-mm-mm. I wasn't I wasn't paying attention to the the thing calculating how much that was going to happen. You are in a unique spot. That's for sure. Um okay, how do we want to play this cuz we can play you for one. We can play a bunch of zero cost things. Um huh. How about we get rid of you? They have 12 dice, but they are their their carry is about the drop dead. Um, we play this. We play you for zero. Um, that's not very helpful right now. And then we just burst you in the face. All must burn. And then once he she dies, uh, we come out and freeze kill. I mean, you better have fresh. You do. Okay. I never asked for redemption. That's only at two, my dude. So what's your what's your plan? Because that's going to go to two, and then you're going to swing again for three, but you're going to die. The pleasure is all mine. You're not going to get that. Witness that's the cool. Power of that's not going to go off. Ouch. Yeah. And you're frozen already. I could just shatter. I, I, yeah, I could have shattered killed as well. They realize they're dead. Again, I, I, what they're playing is very similar to a deck that I have. It's just if they're running Sing Cho instead of Yelon. I would run Yelon. Dice rigging and all. Okay, let's finish this event. Can we teleport to it? Oh my god, we can. Because it's like almost 8. This has been like a 7 hour stream. Yeah, so you can see a couple of decks that are gonna... Wow, has that really been the time, too? Oh, Seems a you. merchant is here. Uh, Paimon's not sure they're from Mondstadt, though. Let's go check it out. Hey, excuse me, do you have a permit to sell here and be my competitor? Uh, get out, bye? But yeah, that was... That was a, you can see the two couple of decks that I'm working on here between... The hat guy one, and then the new V1, the kind of value here that can be done. Even though we are up against some very wonky things in and of ourselves, um, yeah. I'm just gonna let this stuff play out before I go and buy stuff. Whomst are you? Hello there. The name's Atufe. I'm a traveling merchant from Sumeru. Of course. Great to meet you. Whoa, you made quite the journey! This news of our humble chef is already spread to Not thanks to you, Paimon. <laughs> I have to agree. This venture of yours is becoming quite well known. In fact, many well-informed merchants have heard word of your potion-selling endeavor. But most people are still not willing to take a risk on such a rare commodity. If you ask me, though, when the opportunity knocks, you've got to be ready to answer. That's how you make the big Mora. Okay, Dory. Although 
the general public still doesn't know much about alchemical potions right now. With a little effort and marketing on your side, you can carve out a nice space in the market for yourself. Once that happens, the mora will just keep on flowing. Once you've generated enough demand, you could even increase your prices tenfold. <laughs> With that kind of profit, you could even take the rest of the year off if you wanted. I mean, do you know how much more we have? We have like almost 60 million. I've been spending some building Chevrolet or whatever her name is. Tenfold? Are you serious? <laughs> as long as the demand is there, people will pay anything. You could say it's a sort of mutual agreement between consumer and supplier. Um, not really. Uh, people will not necessarily pay anything as long as the demand is there, unless there is a monopoly and that demand is on a necessity. So, no. With the way you talk, Paimon can't help but be reminded of a certain other more obsessed merchant. Yeah. Wait, you did say you were from Sumeru. Oh, Maybe no. you know No, her. we didn't need to Ever invoke her. She's gonna show Wait. up. You mean Lord Sangama Bay? One of the most famous merchants in all of Sumeru? That, Dory? You know her? Yeah, yeah, we know the munchkin. Oh, wow. Lord Sangama Bay is one of my biggest idols. Her business Ooh. sense and dedication to making Mora has always been one of my greatest inspirations. Ooh, I mean, if you ask Twitter, um, you might as well have just said one of your biggest inspirations was Andrew Tate. Like... Ooh, you went to a you went to a dark spot there going with Dory. People hate Dory on Twitter. Granted, I don't have a big issue with Dory all that much. She's just a grubby little gremlin, but she's a, an amusing little gremlin. I was even lucky enough to visit the palace of Alcazarzare once. It truly is a magnificent sight. One day, I hope to be just like her. Huh? Up to my ears and more more than I can count. <laughs> I mean, the reason why she's up to her ears and more more than she can count is because she's like two feet tall, but okay. Uh, looks like we lost her. Uh, should buy my Bye. Then? You're right. I seem to have strayed off topic. Back to where we were then. I believe I was telling you how we can make some big Mora together. Why is she so hated? Um, that's actually a good question. I don't really think I know too much. I think there are some people who are like, oh my god, she appears to in like a way that I, that looks weird or something like that. I don't know. They didn't like her attire for some reason. They thought it was stereotypical, I guess. Um, they didn't like how apparently she got Kave in debt or something. And I guess people just generally find her annoying. I'm not sure I know all of it. Like, just describe- You hear the clown core music? Like, that's the Twitter clown emoji popping and describing these people. Like, it's a fictional character. I get that people hate her. I don't. I mean, I hate Hat Guy. I hate Raiden. I hate Yai. I hate Arachini, who everybody's like, Oh my god, step on me, daddy. Like, you know, I hate all of those characters. But I have reasons for it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Seems to be a uniquely new outfit for a Sumero NPC. Yeah, I guess she does look a little unique. The large backpack. Wonder if they're planning to use her in future events or TCG. What is she going to bring to the TCG? Is she going to like... I, just, I, I don't even know what she could do. The idea is actually pretty simple. You produce the potions, provide me with a regular supply, and I'll help you sell them across to that. Listen, potions in the TCG, and she makes potions cheaper, like a Timaeus or a, or a Wagner. What if they just added potions to the TCG? It would basically just be food, but it's a whole new different style. Whole new different thing. Then you could have food and potions, and you could stack them and be extremely stally. But remember, you can only have 30 cards in a deck, so figure that archetype out. If that sounds good to you, then we should talk more in depth about what kinds of potions to sell this time around. According to my keen market sense, these are the kinds of potions. Shopping, uh, uh, bringing potions to you, you, you can help sell. To what? These distributions will not change their area of operations. These. Knowing their sale and financial statements to see if your business tactics are. What are you on about? You want me to sell my potions and, like, do I get to keep them? 
Or is it just another way to make money? It's just constitution efficiency, that's all. What is this select distribution stat? What does this mean? Celebrity endorsement? What does this mean? I, you're not telling me what any of this does. It's all constitution. Limited time and celebrity endorsement. Let's go. It's another way to earn money as long as you have the potions. Yeah. Did that just like stop? Did I like lose my potions from up there though? I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> Market new Oh, it's the same bloody thing. Constitution, technique, strengthening, strength, wisdom, steadying. Because once again, I think I'm fine. Got anything new? Yes, you do. Sales expansion contract. Shop decorations. Why do I care? Engage an additional distributor. Well, we'll just save up for that, I guess. You still have your potions uh, normally. Okay, that's what I was like. Are we just like selling the ones that are meh? I mean, we're done there. We just may save the money, I guess. Let's go check on the weed. Anything that I need? I need mint, apparently. Probably don't need mint now. I think I got some mint now. I don't need to worry about that one. Um, it's a lot of stuff that wants wisdom. Like, at this point, I can just do this stuff just to, like, level the stuff up. Like, I'm, I'm kind of in my, my, my rich era right now. Congrats. Got that maxed. Um, hmm. Let's go grab some more mint. That's not mint. Where's mint? I'm not sure if this is how you're supposed to do it, but this is certainly the cheesiest way of doing it. Where's my mint? This is this is how you actually get things min-maxed here. We literally just go through the rest of these and do it if we really wanted to. I'm sure this makes for the most riveting thing to watch. Watch as I click accelerate a few more times, guys. Huh. So, um, what's everybody's plans for next week, yeah? Anybody have a vacation or anything? Because I know, I mean, I have vacation, so I'm going to have to write a few things and then do a few things for uh, the TCG stuff, obviously. And I'm going to play a Dragon's Dogma 2. Anybody playing any cool games um, of recent? That's another interesting thing to ask while we're just sitting here producing copious amounts of weed. 
FBI, open up. Gee, you'll end up harvesting more mint than you picked up in your backpack. Impossible. Yeah, it is impossible. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's done. Um, let's see. We've got dandelions. That's the wrong button, Chief. It's 72 of you. I don't think I need that. Yeah, I've just been playing a Dragon's Dogma 2 on my spare time, and I'll probably do that a bit over my break as well as making videos and stuff. Been having a time with that, even though I do think some of those classes that you can play as are just absolutely pathetic. Like, I'm sorry, the mage classes in that game are boring as sin, and then you have the trickster class which i was just like what is this oh god why is it so bad oh i did not need to make a hundred and something of these this thing was already level two whoops because i can use it for analyzing other stuff um like you uh anything else i need to analyze yeah Okay, and now we just need uh, these two things. So, the ball and the other thing. You enjoyed potion craft because of the events? What's potion craft? Is that a game? Is that like, isn't there like a potionomics game or something like that? You're max level. Um, but I only have 35 of you. What do I need? I need bell and other things. Honestly, other than that, I haven't been playing a lot of games. Other than maybe um, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, I haven't played that pretty much since Dragon's Dogma 2 came out. And because the Lucilius boss fight that they added to that game in the last update, I thought was the most horrendous thing they've added. Um, I was like, I don't particularly enjoy a boss where I'm just mostly dodging 99% of the time. That is not enjoyable to me. Um, so I wasn't too thrilled on that one, but short of that, once they release the new Archer character, I will probably get back into that one. Man, this is the real teapot experience here when you've got like 99, uh, like speed up potions. And this is, this is what you just do in the teapot. It's like, yeah, just gonna finish my build real quick. Actually, I don't, now that I think about Relink, I don't know when they're releasing the new characters. Sometime in April, but April's tomorrow, so unless they're throwing that out, like, now, like, you know. Where my new archer girl? I want a ranged character that's not, like, mid-ranged fairy, so I don't have to deal with that one stupid thing that is in the lava and you can never hit. Chill indie game where you run your potion shop. Ah. Well, we've just maxed out all of these, so that's cool. What should we make now? Uh, next thing. Didn't they want wisdom, strength, steadying? Or do we want constitution, technique, and strengthening? I feel like we want wisdom, strength. Wisdom, strength, steadying, maybe? I have a bunch of wisdom stuff, though. Uh, wisdom, strength, steadying, and who cares what else ends up in there? Uh, wow, this is all technique. This is all the last thing we need. This is steadying, and it's strength, so there's at least that. Um...
Oh, you would, wouldn't you? Um, beginner wisdom. Hmm. Yeah, because this totally makes sense. This is definitely going to end well. Eh. That'll work. So it's intermediate strength, but we need wisdom. Uh, you think during the 10th anniversary Grand Blue Fantasy livestream, they gave a date for the next Relink livestream, which you think was late April? Oh, God. But they're supposed to know. The characters are supposed to come out in April. So that can't be right, because they, they there's two characters who are coming out in April, and then there's another character who's coming out in um in May. So no, that that can't be that that's that's unbelievable. I don't believe it. What did I need to make here? Because I already forgot. It's a steadying. Strength, wisdom, steadying. Well we have strength and wisdom. Now we need steadying. What gives us steadying? You give me steadying and a bunch of strength. Now you're advanced strength. And you are indeed steadying. So now we need advanced wisdom. God, I hate this. Let's try this one. No, this is the one I just pulled out, isn't it? There we go. Advanced strength and wisdom. It has steadying. Now we just stack buffs like crazy. April 30th is still early. Uh, or it's still April. I doubt they would actually push it to the little last day. I hope not. Because I kind of want to, like, play it again. But at the same time... Just pushed wisdom. Can we push strength now? Oh, this is the most crack-headed looking thing. This is taking up two slots. No real way around it is there. I don't know if we're going to be able to get this. Oh yeah, we kind of need it too. This is taking up two slots. It gives us expert wisdom. Wait, expert wisdom. We still need we need strength, Dingus. Expert strength and wisdom. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. 280% though, kind of eh. Look at all that dexterity that's being gained via wisdom and strength on that. Well, you mean, I mean, they're gaining a little bit of dexterity. Look, they're gaining some charisma and some constitution. That's what they're really gaining. Um, I can't really put anything else, though. Yeah, there's no way I can move this around in a way that's going to make it work. That's unfortunate. Uh, I mean, it's still expert, so who cares, right? Um, It's a chonky... But what did we make this thing for? It was wisdom, right? Here, this is a, a wise looking thing um yes very wise with the feather and all and we got lucky bonus nice and we didn't go up a level not nice The way like the little graph of like the triangles and stuff is set up reminds me of uh, Pokemon. What is it, Gen three or whatever? Introduced like the beauty contests and stuff like that that you can do. I remember doing those a little bit. 
I didn't really play a lot of Pokemon past Gen 2. Uh, I played a little bit of Gen 3. I, ooh, this is the one I just made, isn't it? Wisdom and Charisma? No, it's something else. Crap. Which ones did I just make? Um, but I, uh, I did play 3 a little bit, and then I played the other one. Um, I mean, I played Arceus. I streamed Arceus. Uh, market news. What are we going for here? Wisdom, strength, steadying is what we were going for. So where's their wisdom, strength? Bye. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. I don't know. A lot of the Pokemon past Gen 2 I just wasn't particularly interested in. Stonks. Not as great as Stonks, but definitely Stonks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Expert Constitution Potion is doing great. The Strength and Wisdom. Wow, the Expert Constitution Potion is doing wild right there. Yo, we're gonna get a six-star one day. Hi, you two. It's been a while. Has Give me the exam. Wait. Yep. It's time for the advanced exam. Let's if do we it. Don't pass this time, it'll be super embarrassing. We're fine. Don't worry too much about that. Lots of things in life. When I first okay. started working as Mr. Albedo's assistant, all sorts. Of yeah, I know you blow all... things up in your when animations. I was studying the properties of mist flowers. I accidentally froze all the equipment in the lab. I basically turned them into ice sculptures. You sell them. Our precision instruments were nearly ruined beyond repair. Another time. I had let a reagent boil for a little bit too long, and all the precious ingredients inside got charred to pieces. The smell was so bad, several nights passing by I thought the lab had caught fire. I had another misread this moment where I thought it said the smell was so bad that several nights passing by caught on fire. <laughs> like, the smell was so terrible they sniffed it and just combusted themselves. <laughs> Which would be so much better, Sucrose. Who cares if they thought the thing caught on fire? I want them to catch on fire. I want the actual night passing by to ca catch on fire. Another wonderful misreading thing. Back then, I would get really hard on myself whenever things went wrong. But eventually I realized that in order to make new discoveries, you have to accept the risk of failure. Uh-huh. A fear of making mistakes will prevent you from truly going after what it is that you want. You're absolutely right. Hey, you're actually really good at motivating people. <laughs> it's just my experience talking. I've spent a lot of time doing research. Oh, right. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Let's do this. What do we got? Okay, we need advanced or higher grade just wisdom. And it must have, and it must be fragrant. Wisdom and fragrant and use at least five different types. So I actually need more than five. More than five fragrant wisdom. Let's go. And so fragrant wisdom. This is more than five right here. I am in no way, shape, or form bothered by this. I have just changed very fun. I go to sleep. Don't worry about it. I take care. Um, wisdom. Wisdom. It's technique. We need to get fragrant. We need to smell good. Is it just fragrant? No. Ocean displays the fragrant. It displays the fragrant characteristics. It, it can display more than that, though. Oh, yeah. We got plenty of things to make it. This. And it needs to be what advanced was. Chief, we have everything right now. Like, but pretty much all we need now is just the fragrancy. Just make it smell good. Advanced wisdom is charisma. I have to head off to eat as well. Ah, fair enough. And this should not take that long, so don't worry too much. You will probably not miss a whole lot, I don't think. Yeah, I know this is not usually the kind of stream that most people come to from the TCG stuff. 
Um, and we do have Fragrant, and it's Advanced Charisma and Wisdom, so now it's just focused on the Wisdom. Um, but hopefully people had a good time. Expert Wisdom... It's Fragrant and Technique Expert Wisdom. Okay, now let's throw in whatever other random crap we can find. Shroom time! Look at that. Expert Wisdom and Charisma, Endurance, Technique, and Fragrant. And it has used at least five different types. They're in there, I'm pretty sure. One, two, three, four. Huh. Five. Shush. You did terrible in this event, really? I think this is five now. One, two, no, wait, we think we had this before. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we don't need this. We can go back to our shrooms. I forgot, we had the Sumeru Rose. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we have at least five. 305%, done. You think you completely misunderstood how to do it properly? I mean, I had chat kind of, you know, tell me things here and there, too, so that's fine. Nice. Sublime Mastery. There we go. Easy. Wow. You even breezed through the advanced exam. Ever thought about helping out around the lab? Um... No. No, I feel like that'd be a bad idea. It would go along again with the wizard allegations I get accused Drop of. Drop everything and pursue the path of an alchemy master? Huh. What do you say, Traveler? If we work together, I'm sure we can make something super amazing. Sucrose, you just want to make sweet flowers. By super amazing, do you mean you already have something in mind? Well, in the past, my research was mainly focused on the study of plants. But this experience has shown me that potions can have all kinds of effects on people as well. So, I started thinking, what if potions could have an even greater effect on people? Like, what if they could be used to help people unlock their hidden potential? Uh... This is again, she's just talking about juicing. This is just like, yo, the baseball industry has played this one already, Sucrose. It got outlawed, man. You can't just use roids. A memory-enhancing potion, for example. That'd actually be good. Help people memorize a whole library's worth of knowledge in a single breath. Okay, never mind. Screw it. Let's go with roids. I want to learn a new language, and this is going to help me memorize it. Let's Alternatively, go. Alternatively, a strength-enhancing potion could make it so that Paimon could take down an abyss mage all on her own. I mean... If I throw Paimon at the Abyss Mage and use Paimon like a weapon, theoretically she could take down the Abyss Mage on her own. It would just require me swinging Paimon into the Abyss Mage. Whoa. Paimon didn't know you could make potions like that. Sounds awesome! Well, it's certainly theoretically possible. Alchemy is, in itself, a way to explore the unknown. It's a discipline with endless potential. In fact... Current research has barely scratched the surface of what's possible with alchemy. Theory, though, is always easier than practice. And with alchemy, there are simply too many things that you have to take into consideration. Just off the top of my head, there's the theory of sublimation, the potion's mechanism of action, and the innate metabolism of the person consuming the potion. Yo, I have a really fast metabolism. Does that work? While you're streaming, uh, thank you for really uh, good TCG guides. Uh, thanks. Your favorite deck is that Nilu deck with Baizu and Can. Oh, I bet that deck is a lot better now. Um, because of... What was I thinking? 
Um, why was it better now? What was it? I was thinking about a Nilu deck of recent and like doing another Nilu deck. And I just I just forgot. It's like, why would the Nilu deck be really good? Oh, I feel like if you switch out Candice for Mona, you could potentially go for a uh Eh, never mind. I was gonna say you could go for like um uh Hanachi Sato uh build with like weapons and jet and stuff. And I mean I guess you could just do jet anyways, but because, you know, Jets and everything. But yeah, the Nilu deck was an interesting one. I, I figured the Nilu deck was interesting because it required me to actually, like, think of something that wasn't standard at the time. Like, because at the time, Baiju, I think Baiju is the one. Yeah, I think it was Baiju, Mona, Nilu is there. But the issue that I had, and I remember people complaining about in the comments, be like, oh my god, this is never going to be used because blah, 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 blah. It's like, what? Um... But the issue that I always had is that end phase damage. The entire, most Nilu decks depend on end phase damage. In fact, we ran into one earlier today where I just slapped it with, um, I hit it with a controlled detonation or whatever it was. And basically from then on out, they were on the back foot. They weren't coming back from that because they missed a whole round of any significant damage. Um, so... That's the thing. That was the issue that I wanted to resolve with Nilu decks is, okay, how can we put main feign, feign, what? main phase damage into the equation here? And the Baiju Candice combo, I think, really worked out pretty well. Even though, again, I know there's some people who are like, well, we, we don't like it. It's not blah, blah, blah. It's like, whatever. Because originally, I used to also post these videos in both my Discord and another Discord that I was invited to, like, post videos and talk in or whatever. And I just realized that other Discord kind of brought a lot of toxic people. So I just figured, hmm, it's not going to anymore. I don't really need that. Like, does it hurt the views? Eh, probably. But I just didn't want to deal with it. Uh, Paimon didn't quite catch all that. Oh, well, you see, Paimon, I was talking about the Nilu deck video and how... <laughs> <sighs> My bad. We can talk about the details some other time. If you're interested, just stop by the lab. But yeah, I think the Nilu video might have been, like, my first video that I had posted in that Discord. And, yeah, I noticed I had gotten a lot of, like, toxic people. Sweet! Watch out, world! With a cool potion from Sucrose, Paimon will be able to become the strongest guy in Tibet in no time! Paimon, you're shouting. And it's like... I was gonna say something off of that, and I don't remember exactly what I was gonna say. But, yeah... Anyways, well, still be more videos soon funny. enough. Only one more exam to go. I imagine you and I will both have some final preparations to make. Oh yeah, I think it's because that Discord was more about like, oh my god, how do we, you know, how do we make like meta this and meta that? And I've just, I've, anybody who knows me knows that I do not care about the meta. Is it still the same stuff in this market? I'm not changing any of these potions. I'm just gonna harvest my weed and then like I have no need to make new potions here really you will be on the lookout yeah I, I do have because we did some matches earlier today I'm just, right now I'm just kind of trying to finish this um I mean, this stuff looks pretty. The shop decoration, but... Shop decor has been updated. Whomst are you? Oh, Lord, and you're back. Okay, Merchant from the Wii Okay, this is invoiced. Yep, your store is pretty or something. You don't sound confident. Okay, you're selling some stuff. What do you want? Oh my god, he's talking. D just... just give me a thing. What are you looking for? Potions with wisdom. See, I swear wisdom is like the number one like potion here that you want to be making like it's always potions okay strategy um academia certification and um
bulk purchase discount go? What do you want? Posted earlier, sold out. You've organized a sale for you. Okay, what do we get? Impressive results. Mediocre results. The limited time batch didn't really matter. Um, we're getting good results for strategy, but we can still do better. Don't tell me that. I mean, demand exceeds supply. Deal with it. Strength efficiency. Strength, strength, and... Well, this is constitution. Whatever. But I'll hold the strength. Okay, what did we say? Previous plan. Good. Um, celebrity endorsement. Um, Hundredfold guarantee. Let's go. Get sw oh! We're selling the roids now. And we got a bunch of money from that one. Oh, never mind. We did not get that much money. Again, I don't feel like I have a need to make any more potions here. I feel like that's just time-consuming at this point. Like, we're still doing everything that we need to. Like, I guess I could sit there and upgrade these if I really wanted to, but these things are doing God's work here, so... Oh, look, it's Sing Cho. Thank you for all of this stuff. Bro wrote me a novel. Ugh. Who says you have to use scissors to cut clothes? Now we have to think Leave about those stuff. those rigid rules behind. I much prefer using my own cutting tools. Okay, we need focus, we need strength, and we need stimulated pursuit. So, dexterity and like something... Um, okay. Uh, having more strength. So we need swole and we need focus and it's ministry. So maybe like focus perception, maybe? Strength. Um, constitution and strength. Healing technique steadying, I guess. Hold on. I like how there's a market news down there and I just keep missing it. They want to be able to process widgets more efficiently by having more strength. So, what is the strength? Healing, technique, steadying? Probably perception, focus. Um, market news, what else? So, that's strength covered. Stimulated pursuit is probably going to be dexterity. And then... Shop decor has been decorated, Chief. I don't see any of this. <laughs> like, what? Nope, wrong thing. We've maxed all of this. See, this is the issue that I have with these kind of events, right? Like, I like them, but they do kind of overstay their welcome. Th this should have ended, like, 30 minutes ago or, or more at this point. Like, I, I do feel like we are, at this point, just kind of beating a dead horse. Um... I'm going to go with dexterity here and maybe put in, like, focus and stuff as well. Dexterity, uh, focus, perception. Relaxing. What is this mess? How am I getting anything in there? Um, your perception balanced. Oh, you're mint. And now we need dexterity. You also have perception. Relaxing, relaxing, endurance. Are you my only endurance? There's no way. Perceptions, it's constitution and dexterity. Huh. 
I not have any other dexterity? Really, just that, huh? How did you get here? Oh, why do I have steadying here? Did I change that? Oh, whatever. There's also perception here. We need dexterity and charisma. We really need the dexterity, though, more than anything. Though that does kind of fit really nicely. Okay, dexterity time. Focus, focus, focus. We need focus. Advanced dexterity and strength. Oh, uh, we really need to get that dexterity up more. Expert dexterity. I guess we can throw in another strong. Perception, steadying, relaxing. We're losing the focus now. I kind of want the focus, though, but we don't have a lot of focus, do we? You're our only focus in this? Interesting. Okay, we got focus. We do need to get that strength there, though. So maybe we take you and just, like, move you. Well, why would we do that? Derp. So you get the focus, and then we get... Just sitting relaxed. I need I need focus. There we go. 305%. Dexterity, strength, focus, perception, relaxation. Uh oh, it's a very dexterous bottle. there and then you can fly like the wind here orders that nah this works level 11 nice hit max level there improve the appearance of alchemy charge to unlock quick concoction function what have unlimited potion concoction chances during each operation cycle ah. so i can just make potions just it, 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 just constantly Enhance potion. We just made this one and we're enhancing it already. At this point, we're close to a six star. Okay, I guess we just upgrade everything just in case. Not that we need some of this stuff, let's be real. I assume we're pretty close to being done here. Like, I think this is just like the last series of days and I'm gonna pretty much just try to rush through them because I feel like, again, most people have probably fallen asleep to this by this point. What is quick concoction? Um, save the formula. Oh, we'll be automatically placing the cauldron to the ingredients. You don't have to, why do I care about quick? I can just... I don't care. It's not like I can put two of them on at once. Okay, so what's the new one? Strength and dexterity. What else did we need? This gives them focus. As well, can we filter out anything with focus? And then relaxing. All of that has that. Um, this technique and relaxing. What are you? Your focus is endurance. Your focus perception. 
Eh, you're worth more money. Okay. Like, we have everything. We have no more... Get down. We, we are also, like, maxed here. We're, we're good. Yep, spiking there. Profits are going wild. The expert strength and constitution. Let's see. Strength and dexterity potion. The one that we just made is doing great here. Awesome. Okay, who's the request for? Anyone I care about? How are you oh, two? Oh, so they you're the ones behind the potion shop I've heard so much about. When it comes to fulfilling requests, I heard the customer's wish is practically your command. No, it's not. And you're wrong. I'm like Chiori. I will kick you out. Also, no pets allowed by both of you? Actually, we'll let huh? Diona in here. Goro? Where did you come from? Oh, and Kirara's here too. What are you guys doing in Mondstadt? I look at her just being dopey. <laughs> Comania Express operates all across to that, so I'm always on the road. Again, look at her being dopey. I'm actually pretty familiar with Mondstadt from my trips here in the past. General Goro, on the other hand, seems to still be getting the lay of the land. He got lost not too far from here. Should have used your dog nose. I like Kirara too. Kiwawawa here is she, she's cute. Um, she never really shows up for anything important though like i swear the tcg event was probably like the most important thing she's been in like she's just like yeah i'm here she's not really doing a whole lot nor do i really understand why she has a dendro vision because that doesn't really make sense to me also where's coco me if you're here <clears throat> well i would normally be provided with ample intel before carrying out an operation in a foreign territory but watatsumi island isn't exactly home to many people who've been to mondstadt I wasn't even able to obtain a map of the region. Has Kokomi never been to Monsta? I guess not. She hasn't. She, there hasn't been an event where Kokomi was over here. But Kokomi's been all the way to Sumeru in the desert, because figure that out. I basically had to perform initial reconnaissance in the middle of a formal operation. Not exactly ideal conditions for an air-free mission. <laughs> Affirmative, General. Next time, I'll procure the most detailed map available and make sure you have it at your disposal from mission outset. Over and out. Wow. Uh, you can drop the formalities, Kirara. I don't expect you to report back to me like I'm your commanding officer. We hired you as a consultant. We're joking, it you wouldn't clown. treat you like one of my soldiers. Hey now, it's not like this is some one-sided partnership. We agreed, right? In exchange for my services, you'll help promote our business to the people of Watatsumi Island. Your good word will be integral in helping Komania Express become people's first choice for all their delivery needs. Can we get, like, her little, like, hairpin on our bottles? Our future business is counting on you. It's quite cute. Back to Paimon's question, and though. That. You still haven't told us what you're doing in Mondstadt. You mentioned something about a mission? Ah, uh, yes. It's a funny story, actually. No, it isn't. Recently, Watatsumi Island has been looking for ways to increase transportation efficiency. Potions will Basically, not do it. This means improving the operations of our cargo ships. So we decided to send teams across to VAT to learn about the most advanced techniques what different nations pain. have to offer. We had just wrapped up our trip to Liyue when we heard word of your mysterious potion shop. So turns out it was the right choice. Well, Paimon's gotta say, you practically hit the jackpot by coming here. Uh -huh. We've got Oh, more customers from abroad. Oh, God. This <laughs> is just going on for too long popular. now. Now I actually do you just really want to end it. You do have friends all over to that. Hmm. Looking at your two friends here, I can't help but be reminded of my dear little wolf cub. Oh, no. You know what? Run, I should Goro. introduce you sometime. For some reason, I have a feeling the three of you would really hit it off. I feel like you're being a little... A little stereotypical, Lisa. It's a little discriminatory now. I don't know how I feel about this. In fact, once you've wrapped up your potion purchasing, why don't you both join me and my cuties for afternoon tea? No. Afternoon tea? Sounds great! No, I don't listen really to her. I use some refreshments. Uh, something tells me you're not going to take no for an answer. Yeah, Wait, exactly. Why does this feel so familiar? Yeah, no wonder I don't like Lisa. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, Traveler... Care to make some introductions? Um. Nah, I don't actually. Bye. G G Guardian Mage? Wow, what an impressive title. Oh Wait, my god. Could it be that I'm in the presence of someone as high ranking as Her Excellency, like Lady Sangonomiya herself? No, no, I assure you, you're not. Wow, this is the only. 
it's been how long since we got Kokomi footage since the 3.8 Bottle Land event? Kokomi has shown up in Goro's mind. That's what we get. Elisa calling me a cutie gives me the creeps. I'm glad I'm not the only one who doesn't like it. I'm like, Elisa, stop talking, please. It is unpleasant. Honestly, Traveler, you're gonna give the guy a heart attack. Good. I'll end this conversation sooner. Don't be nervous, Goro. That's just, uh, a nickname. Her real name is Lisa. Oh, this is shush. Goro. He's a super powerful general from Watatsumi Island. And this super is powerful? No, he isn't. Kirara. Hmm. The name sounds familiar. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm reading this in my head again, quickly to say it. I hope you'll consider me for... As for my cutie's other acquaintance... No. I believe I've read a few articles about you, General Goro. I have also I seen you feminized. Let me guess. Your troops are also the focus of your potion... Exactly. Commercial activity between Watsutsumi Island and other regions has been on the rise recently. The workload has increased so much, what would really come in handy would be a potion that could help them handle their intent. <sighs> okay. okay, just give me the deal. I potion like that as well when I'm out on a long delivery. You wouldn't These guys just want Red Bulls. They want like a five-hour energy. Don't have this. Potion by now. Yeah, Don't. Energy drinks well, are bad for you. To it. Like, legitimately. <laughs> Once my cuties are done brewing a potion... I had a student just the past couple of weeks, and she was drinking <laughs> tea on the banks of Cider Lake. Oh, wonder what that'll be like. Oh, I can't wait to find out. I had a student who was she was drinking some sort of like energy drink, and was like, "Hey, can you figure out how much caffeine is in here?" I had a coffee before this. I'm just like, um, found out that it was like way above your like daily recommended intake to the point that it could be very bad for you. It was just like, yeah, you're like killing yourself please don't huh. i'm just glad i finally found a way to help my troops energy drinks are horrible and if you drink them you are legitimately going to damage your heart okay what do you clowns want i, I assure you i already <laughs> have it i thought i told you this before Nuh uh that's not gonna happen i can't stand my tails wet i'd be better off uh, tying them in a knot or something Okay, or I can be arranged. Better yet, improving my fighting skills so that I don't have to sneak by them in the first place. Oh, you're here. How's the potion cup? Yeah. Okay, what do we need? Strength or endurance? Sure, whatever. Go for it. Your post Wonderful! You yeah, drank the drugs. <laughs> what are you doing? He's just like looking around hmm. lost. Wow! My right shoulder was acting up from using my bow so much, but a few drops of your potion and the pain is completely gone. It's not how medicine works. The, the pain from walking on all that rough terrain. It's like it was never there. I thought you dealt in potions, not magic elixirs. Same With thing. This in my arsenal, I bet I could deliver 200 orders in a single day. Looks like we've got another hit on our hands. Guess we can. Well done, me. Well. Now that our work is out of the way, there's nothing standing between. I don't want it. Oh no! Oh no! I don't want to be around her. No. Report, my little wolf cub appears to be busy. Thank Christ! I sent someone to fetch him in Wolvendom, but he wasn't uh -uh. there. Okay. But I'm sure you'll have He's the chance out to in the future. Doing whatever fact, the furries the are doing. Please stop talking. Again, Genshin, your events I, I I I don't mind long things and I get that this is not meant to be done on the very last day, but oh my god, this is going on for too long. Wow, you've placed quite the sizable order. If feedback on the potion is favorable, I hope you'll consider Of course! I have a feeling. Absolutely. I'll be sure to collect detailed feedback from my troops. Bye. Bye, Goro. Bye, Kirara. Hmm. The next time I'm in Mondstadt, I should make it an official visit. A formal meeting between the Kirara's Excellency gone. and the She's like, I ain't Guardian Mage the... is sure to be a momentous yeah. occasion. Oh, seems like that made-up title really had an impression on him. It's given him all sorts of funny ideas. Thank you for the massive amount of money that I don't need anymore. 
Yeah, look at this. Strength, dexterity, focus, wisdom... Te We're done, Chief. We're done. Oh, no. The sales went down a little bit. Who cares? Who now? Wow. I have to hand it to you, cuties. I never imagined that you'd be able to bring in so much more in such a short amount of time. Chief, I could have funded all of this myself from my pockets. You're practically geniuses when it comes to business. Uh-huh. Hmm. A testament to your ability to learn on the job. If I had your help all the time, I bet I could take... With nope. all of your hard work up to this point, we've already collected enough... Of nope. course, if you're interested nope. in continuing... In either case, I should already have more oh, than... Oh, great. Traveler, Paimon. It's been Another a long character time. I have no interest in. Jeez. I'm sorry. Number one, she has ruined my pity, my 50-50s too many times. She's my only C6 standard five-star. I don't like her for that. Number two... She is literally the most generic, boring... She is like Genshin's soccer mom. Like, she's so boring. I'm sorry. I don't like Jean. Oh, you're here. I wrapped up some business with my cuties and was just about to go report back to you at headquarters. You only have Jean at C0. I'll trade you six copies of her for, you know, some Mona. I mean, I have Mona, but I'd like to get my Mona higher. No need. I already talked to some other knights, so I think I have a fairly... <laughs> Looks like you've yeah, been doing everything. to help you once. <laughs> yep. <laughs> How could I not? When it comes to work as important as this, a smart and capable partner is simply a must Please have. give you Mona. No, Especially you give me Mona. I want the Mona. Even though I have like a C3 Mona, I think? I Look still want more Mona. Of the shop. I could have never produced that kind of result on my own. Yeah, we know. It would require you to have done something, Lisa. Like, Mona was my very first five-star. Well, I do have to admit, your success is remarkable. Uh, you don't have even C-Zero. Oof. You'll get her event. Mona is, like, I swear, like, the rarest standard five-star to get, I think. I've been meaning to come see you for some time now, but work kept getting in the way, and it's yep. truly reassuring to have such out. <sighs> Once this yeah, is all it's, over, yeah, it's truly reassuring that we at least have I'm one competent person. I've lost quite a few strands of hair to all the stress. Shut up. Of course. Thank you for all your hard Don't work. Don't listen her. She hasn't done diddly squat. Seeing you cooped up in that library all the time, I was worried you might be bored. Perhaps I put too much on your plate at once. It wasn't that bad. After okay, all, they're talking. Like Can we leave now? Plus, it was fun to get back into research. It's not. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you again for all your help, traveler. Please take this as your compensation. What is it? it what? Oh, what did you do? Speaking of compensation, I it can't be a lot a if it was only one hand. You. Here, I hope. I don't trust it. She just gave me drugs. I ain't drinking that. Uh-uh. Ain't no way. I thought that was a cake they just gave me. Did we, did we finally do it? Is it finally over? I believe it is. We've maxed out everything. Again, the event is fun. I can see why people would really... What do you mean? Past the expert. Oh, for Christ's sake. Hold up. I can see why people actually, like, really like this. Okay, hold up. What's up? Seems like we could do a bit more research. To come okay, nobody liked the stuff. Mediocres on everything. Like, I care. Well, you want dexterity, dexterity, dexterity. What's the most expensive one? More dexterity. Go. Okay. Not a good idea. Um, limited time batch free samples. Go. What did you give me? Okay, we went up a little bit. Demand exceeded impressive mediocres still. This is such a check and guess. 
A dexterity. Oh my god, you guys love dexterity. What? There. Celebrity endorsement. That isn't one. That isn't one. Academia certification, because they're in Sumeru. Wait, how do we get the last... How do we get the last thing? What's the last... We have to take the last exam. Pass the expert exam. Where is it? Sucrose, where are you? Sucrose, I don't have all day, Sucrose. Sucrose, please. Gene, get out of here. Yeah, this is going to be about the same. Sucrose? Sucrose you're oh, thank God. Our alchemy skills are improved. Your progress has been very... We could start uh -huh. to teach them. Paimon's totally going to start a class. Well, all Paimon oh God, does right Paimon. now is that... For homework? I'm sure no, this Paimon. will go just... I'm ready to begin whenever you are. Just, just get to it. We're done here, guys. I want to be done. Expert grade charisma. Potion grade expert 8 plus. Ooh, perception and steadying. Tuning rate reaches 180. Okay, this one's going to be a heck of a one. Okay. So we need perception and steadying and expert charisma. So just charisma. Where is it? Steadying and what? I already forgot. Perception. Wait. Yeah, steadying, perception. Okay, and it's charisma that we need it. Oh, that sucks. We need 280, I think it said. That's gonna be a heck of a one, ain't it? Let's see if we can manage these shapes a little smarter. That isn't smarter. Probably isn't either. Okay. I think we can deal with this by just slapping you there. Um... Get rid of this. Huh. It's strength and charisma. Why is it strength and charisma? Why is so much going into strength? We have... Oh, because your strength. That might be... Yeah. That might be a thing there. Hmm. Why is it going into strength, he says, as he proceeds to place down the object that indeed is a strength object. I do wonder. It's only 120. Perception fragrant, but I need steadying. So we do need these. I need another one of these. That's, ooh, it's only 60. We do have expert charisma. It needs, eh, expert needs to reach plus eight. Time. It might be shroom time. That might be a thing. 
But I don't know if we're going to hit the plus eight on it, honestly. That's what I'm a little concerned about. Oh, there's the mint. That's 70. Turning rate is how many boxes filled. Yeah, but I'm I'm looking for tuning rate is 280. Yeah, oh yeah, so we have that then. I'm just looking for the plus eight. That's the thing. I don't know if that's gonna give me a plus if this is gonna pull off a plus eight. We do have expert charisma. It does have perception steadying fragrant. Perception and steadying. And it's expert charisma. Let's roll for it, see if it works. What was I worried about? Plus 13. Each one, easy. And people doubted my puzzle-solving skills. Even All though it's just literally right. just placed stuff on top of each try. other. Yep. The effect looks good. The quality of your potion is quite high as well. Your talent in this discipline is truly remarkable. Let me give your potion a try. She just wanted the drink, the Riz drink. That's it. Clap. Yeah, so one one clap. We ask? Can we teach alchemy now? What an amazing achievement, cuties. Okay. <sighs> Congratulations. Yep. Now is not the time to be humble. You mastered potion making in such a short amount of time. Yeah, only seven and a half hours, no Lisa. Exactly. I was also really surprised at how quickly you picked it up. Anyway, thank you so much for your help. Your participation has allowed me to... This is sure to be a critical moment in the development of the alchemical potions industry. Paimon feels like she just took part in something super important. You didn't, Paimon. Of course. You didn't do anything. You two are practically pioneers. What you've been able to contribute to the field of... Anyway, I should probably head back and go over the data I've collected. Traveler, Paimon, thanks again for your part... You, uh, your lab doesn't exist, Sucrose. Some grand... Uh, uh, I don't care. Sounds like a them issue. Grand Narukami Shrine people are feeling unwell. Sucks to be them, eh? Why don't you go pray? See if that helps you. See if Raiden decides to do anything for you, huh? Go to the shop. You've already... Oh, yeah, I'm already in the shop. There is nothing else for me to buy. I think this is everything... I never even had opened this menu up. We've got that. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that's the entire event. What is this? Oh. I guess because I did that, I did that as well. Okay, cool. And I just need to go report it to Catherine, I guess. Oh, Goro went up some friendship. Isn't that fun? Goro was in my team the whole time, guys. He, he was here the whole time. How did he get lost? Sweet, solid structure and great... Okay, I haven't done that event. I'm not doing that on stream. Sorry. Um, I think I need order for what I'm doing. Yeah. So low on fates now. It's, it's sad how few I have when I used to have so many, but I also have a C6 Shuri, so it's all good. Okay, let's look at... Oh, that thing's ending. Yeah, I gotta remember to do that. Whoops. Don't pay attention to the resin. You saw nothing. Let's turn in our commissions. Astra scared the crap out of Catherine. She's like, oh my god. Thank you for comp Ad Astra. See ya. And ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be everything here for the old Genshin stream. I'll eventually do that. I don't care. Um Thank you guys for being here. I know this was not the most exciting by comparison to a lot of my other ones. We, we really didn't have a huge amount of people here. Um, but that's fine. Hopefully we had a decent time. And um, 
Uh, yeah, tomorrow, or tomorrow, what? Tomorrow's Monday. I, I guess I'll probably work on video stuff soon, so, you know, there'll be that. But that's about all, really, man. This is a long one. I didn't expect it to be this long, so I do apologize um, that this went way longer than I expected. At the same time, hopefully, um, if you, you were here from the beginning, hopefully you're still awake. But also, thanks for sticking it out for that. And like I said, there should be at least another video or two. We've seen a couple of decks I'll work with between the Hat Guy deck and the Noob deck. Um, we at least seen that. I'll see if I do the Noel deck or not. I think we're kind of tired of Jet. Though, interestingly enough, we barely got the Jet combo off in like either of those um, tests that we did, which is kind of funny. We only got it off like once and we really didn't need to do a whole lot with it. Um, but anyways, uh, thank you guys for being here and, uh, videos will be out soon enough. So, uh, take care, enjoy your egg day for the rest of the, the time that it's here and we will be, we'll be back with more stuff eventually. So take care.